What's up, guys? Hold on one second. I always I hit live, and I'm like, wait, I gotta put chapstick on and take my medicine. But you know what? Oh well, it gives time people time to come in. So we're gonna finish it up, and I'm glad that we actually had to continue it and um put it off till today because I found some more stuff. So I actually found found um Paul's uh, TikTok. So interesting he has a video on there with well there's a few pictures well no, it would be a video yeah with him and timothy is on 2021 so now we have a picture of uh we have like a what he looks like in 2021 um and uh yeah there's some interesting stuff there's some stuff that's just i mean you know he has a lot of videos so i'm kind of glad because we could go through that too um yeah it's interesting I was going through some of it. Uh, I went through a lot of his videos just sitting here getting everything ready. And I'm not going to be able to play audio on a lot because a lot of them are music. I was trying to make a memory of like which ones are him talking, which ones are music. Nine out of ten of them are music. You know, there's pre no probably like 80% or maybe even 90%. They're just like music background. But there are some where he does talk. So we will go through those. Um... And then we'll go through the other ones too, some of the other ones too, but I'm just going to have to mute it because I'm not doing no cop, not taking a chance of doing a copyright, copyright now. Now I'm worried though, do you think there's a chance that there's other people, like that it wasn't Shonda that copyrighted it through Rumble, but it's just other people that have accounts through Rumble that are playing this, this material and then copyrighting it? You know what I'm saying? I wonder. Because what I, why I say that, if that's the case, I hope nobody did it with the Pauls. Uh, but if that's the case, I will freaking fight it because we know if Paul's comes up that way, there's no way he, I don't think he would have done that with Rumble because I, I don't know, I guess I, I guess he could have, but, um, if that's the case, I might fight it though, because I, I would think that it's somebody just like me that doesn't own the rights is using it for fair use and then taking credit for, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see, hopefully it doesn't get shut down, but we're going to, just to be safe, I might want to do that at the end i don't know guys what do you think maybe i'll show the one with tim timothy and then um and then we'll go from there i think i'll be all right i really think it was her that had a rumble account i couldn't find a rumble account i tried to look so she must have it under a different name than law law or law whatever the name of her youtube channel is i typed it in i I tried to find her on Rumble to see, okay, let me find her Rumble account. And I could not find her name. I typed in her name. Maybe she put it under her name. So I don't know. It could just be somebody freaking using the content and then sign it, set, setting it up with Rumble with that 90% thing that sucks. Anyway, all right, hold on one second. I'm going to let type people come in. I'm going to put my chapstick on, take my medicine, and we are going to get into it. Okay. Hey, y'all saying what's up? Hey, Steve. Oh, hey, Soul Kelly B. Oh, so I didn't think you're gonna go to make it. Yay. Um, Ashley, what's up? Lori, Annabelle, Judy. Hey, real quick. I would have loved to have time to do a live on this too. Maybe. I was thinking about doing a quick one earlier on it, but just quick update. Well, you know what? I'll wait though, because we only have thirty-five people. But there's another case I've been following that there was an update that I would like to maybe do it here but i'll wait till we get some people in here so i don't have to repeat myself even though i can i only freaking feel like i need chapstick when i do a live because i don't feel like my lips are chapped but then i look and it looks like they are <laughs> um okay how's everybody doing though um Hey, K9 Dream Dog. 
Annabelle. Who else do we have? Mr. Rosebud, Steve, Linda, Derpstein, Kimmy K, Judy. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, let's just go. We could start off by uh, showing that to, uh, so we could have a picture of what Timothy looked like in 2021. I'll show you like uh, Paul's TikTok and then we'll kind of go back and forth like we did uh, last time. You know what though? Maybe it would be better to do the TikTok first because then if it does get shut down and somebody copyrighted that, then we could just start over and it won't be so late. Yeah, let's go through his TikTok first, okay? Then we'll do the rest. I'd rather do it the opposite way for some reason. Watch though, my decision. <laughs> I'll probably regret it. I'll be like, why didn't I do it this way? <laughs> <laughs> uh but let's just hope nobody copyrighted it and or did it with like they do with that bumble i don't like that idea that's smart i mean that's really smart for bumble to uh, bumble rumble i keep saying bumble rumble bumble's the dating site <laughs> i've actually used it before rumble um they're they're actually really smart because if they get a lot of people to do it they will like start to take over youtube that's like a really smart thing because they're getting 10 percent for just for free but by doing that they're taking over youtube's ability <laughs> to make the money off of it and you know what i'm saying they're getting a little piece of youtube and you know what I, you know like in into to uh people that are creators it sounds good but in reality if you depend on youtube it's not the best because you won't get recommended that much it'll screw up your algorithms but if you are more dependent on rumble or you don't you're not only dependent on youtube you have other stuff equally it might be a good idea for me it's not because i don't i only have youtube and then rumble which not, you know make crap off of that um because i'm not big enough over there anyway all right so but we'll still go over there for fun times guys all right so let's do youtube so Hold on one second, though. One, one, one second. I'm going to do something really quick. I just want to get it over to my other thing. So when I want to share my audio, I can. Because I, I, I have to invest in a new computer. I'm just going to have to suck it up and do it, you know? Okay, so I have that over here now, so we are all set. Um, all right. all right, so let's do, like I said, I'll do ones that we're not going to need to hear the audio right now because I'm on this side for right now. All right, we can go back and forth, but I'm going to do the one with Timothy first, if I can remember which one it is. I think I do. It's when he's about to cut open that Amazon box. In the, it's in the thumbnail. He has a lot of TikToks. I tried to, I was hoping he went back farther when he was still living with his dad so we could have saw, but he only goes back to 2020, which is when he moved in with his mom. But I was like, man, it would give us a good look at what it, his, or kind of a look at maybe inside of his dad's house, what it was like. But like I said, he doesn't go back. He started doing TikTok uh, in 2020. So, unfortunately, we will not have that to look at. Here it is, right here. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'll do I think this is the one. So, this is Timothy in 2021. You see, 710. So, it'd be a couple months after he moved in with his mom. Because we found out he moved in at May 27th, 2021. Probably after, because she that's when she graduated from law school. And then, yeah. So, this probably wasn't that bad. And there was another interesting one. So, in about, it was sometime in 20... Uh, hold on, I gotta see what date. So, he does this video where he goes into the freezer. It's really hard to see, but I was trying to see if the locks were on there yet. And from what I could see, it doesn't look like the locks were on there yet. And I forget what the date was. Hold on, let me find it. I'll play it one more time and then um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hold 
So that's Timothy. That's the only one that he's in it. But we do have some interesting ones. Like we have some. This one where his mom's in it. But that. That's actually. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to play. I'm going to do this gusher. This one right here. Uh, watch. Right here. I'm going to do this so we can listen to audio. So right here. Watch. Look at the freezer here. We're going to try an experiment. Freezing fruit gushers and see how it goes. It doesn't look like there's locks. So this is at. This is. Uh, I really oh, shoot. I screwed up. Ah, gosh darn it. <laughs> so, We're going to try um, this an experiment. Is, freezing fruit gushers. And so this is January 10th, 2022. Which it does make sense because this would be two days before uh, Adam had his stroke. So Adam had his stroke January 3rd. So this is two days before. So I guess it would make sense. But it's still interesting because it's like, did the locks really start after Adam had a stroke? Or were they on lockdown even the whole time? And you can't, you know, because we saw the, well, I don't know, maybe not all you guys saw. But if you watch some of the trial, they showed pictures. And it's like, it's those locks that you could see there's, you, there's one on each one. And then there's the string, like this. The, or whatever you call it and watch i'll show you what i'm talking about you have to really yeah, look but i don't think they're on there like i said which does it does make sense because they said it goes along with it not start until after what you call it so if you look really close to the it would be on the left side like right here you could kind of like i i paused it and we'll let that freeze overnight now we're gonna see how they've done You be able to see the rope hanging down because it, it you will be able to see, you would be able to see it hanging down because it connects if you guys have seen pictures the way it is so yeah time for a taste test mm, that's good <laughs> that should definitely Okay, so let me go back to. Hold on, I'm just gonna go back and forth to the audio ones and the non-audio. Er. I guess I don't need to do it that way, but some of them I, I have to test out to see. Hold on one second. All right, so let's watch a couple more because we're gonna do these first. Okay, so. I'm going to watch some with the audio. Um, well, we could start. We'll just watch a couple old ones and then. Oh, that one he actually. Hold on a second. We're going to go back to that one because that one I will play the audio. Sorry, guys. And that one I'll play audio too. Okay. I'm just gonna have to go back and forth because I want to be able to test the other ones. I know it's not making sense to you guys, but it does make sense. I have to test the other ones that uh because I don't know all I didn't memorize all the ones that had the music and I don't want it to get caught with the copyright. Okay, so I just want to play those two where he actually talks in them. That's all. How do I go? Man, it doesn't have a little scroller like on my this other screen where I could just scroll all the way down. This one you have to like sucks. Sorry guys. Come on. Oh, here's one where he talks. Hey, I just wanted to say congratulations to Santa Fe hey, High School so Classes 2020. Hey, I just wanted to say congratulations to Santa Fe hey, High School so Classes 2020. Hey. What are they saying in the background? I don't know. There's this one. Well, I want to find the one with his mom. There's the one where his mom's like, I don't know, it's real. Maybe this one doesn't have music. Which came first? The color orange or the fruit? Bro, you good? 
If I weigh 99 pounds and I gain a pound by eating nachos, does that mean I'm 1% nacho? This is from... Can you question life? If I'm about... 2021. Why are cookies called cookies and bacon called bacon? If you bake cookies and cook bacon. Bro, what? I'm sorry. Oh, what? Everything is made of atoms, but atoms never touch. So are we actually touching anything? I. That one's a good one, actually. No, we're not. I remember taking <laughs> physics, how there's a layer. It I, just blew my mind to learning that. How you're actually not touching really anything. I clean a vacuum cleaner. Does that make me a vacuum cleaner? I swear one more question, I'll start questioning life. Which day of the week is hotter? Sunday or Friday? Which came first? A color orange? Okay. I'm trying to find the one with, because it has its mom in the thumbnail. I was going to play that one. Where is it? Is this the one? Oh, that one might even get copied. I mean, who knows what's how stupid they are. So this is from 20, June, or February 13th, 2021. Hear me, I'm not sure which one you were asking. Hey, CJK, because I caught your comment late, so I don't know which one I was playing when you were asking. This one might be the one. Ah! Hey, you scared me! Got him! <laughs> Scare him. Ah! Hey, you scare me! So that's January 9th, 2021. I'll try to remember the ones I know for sure that doesn't have music that I could play before I switch it over. I'm really, where's that one with his mom? Oh, there's a couple with his mom. There's one, the birthday cake one. You see her, and she seems so nice to freaking him. Like, yeah, she's a stern mom, but it seems like she's, like, real sweet to him. So I think it was, well, then I don't know why she lost the custody, though, so there has to be more to it. But I was going to say I think it was just Timothy, but, yeah, for her to have not been able to have them, there has to be something more that she was, like, doing to all of them, I mean. Um, but I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Like, there, this. Help me. Ugh. Help, help Timothy. Why did that just stop? Hold on. Why did that just stop playing? Take that, Wait sir! A help me! Fear not, young mother. I have a pickaxe. You stand no chance against my sword. Sorry, Mama. I don't think I'm going to stand a chance against this guy. Help me! Fear not, young mother. I have a pickaxe. You stand no chance against my. Okay, let's see what other ones. And I'll click on more once I have it on the other side, because, like I said, I don't want a chance. Okay, these ones are the ones. You're talking Hello, Fergie Eater here, and I just wanted to show you something before I went to bed. This is my dog. His name is Aslan. And this is my younger brother. Oh, so this is uh well, for you before here. Timothy would have got here. This is show you something July before July first, twenty twenty. This is my dog. His name is Aslan. So and this I don't know, trial, Tammy. I know I want to find that out. Actually, Wait a minute. I had some no, documents. What did I do with them? Where it, show it showed the documents, but it didn't really. This is it my didn't give that much information. So I don't know if they just. So the thing about my dog Aslan is, I put him. if you if you if you want to see to pet him, you'll nudge your hand like that. Good boy. He needs to cut his nail. If you so stop, Freddy Krueger, and he'll nudge it again. Such a turn off to me for some reason when you see guys. So like, the thing about my dog Aslan is, if you if you, if you want to see to pet him, he'll nudge Especially your hand like dirty. that. I mean, and it's one thing stop, to have him. He'll nudge like, it again. Like you, you're, you're, you know, 
a day you did get, you got into something they're dirty but it's not the case with him because every freaking time you see his hands his fingernails are dirty so it's not like uh oh you know i was in the dirt playing today or i was working on something and it, you know what i'm saying this is like he just doesn't have very good hygiene i hope i don't sound mean i'm just saying it's it's like kind of a turn off for me when i see guys with like long dirty nails i don't know it grosses me out for some reason um All right, so let me go to this one so we can just click on more and I won't have to worry about the music coming up. And I can test till we see which ones. Because it went over here, the other computer, I can't test them because I can't hear the sound unless I share it. So that's why it's I, on these one, I, I could test it before I let you guys hear it. So there's a reason for my madness. Okay, so. Oh, this one, this one didn't have music, but I can't. See, these ones do. Hold on, hold on. Just try to be patient with me here. I'm just going to go back and forth because I know now I can see which ones do. Okay, so we can play this. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Ferginator. You know where I am right now? I'm in Lake Michigan getting ready for a swim. See you later. Yo, what? We could play this one. Hey guys, P. Fergie here, and I just wanted to wish you all a very happy 4th of July. We're probably going to be going to my grandparents today to set off some fireworks. So <laughs> I've seen that. I was it like. I've seen hey guys. that RV. Um, that wouldn't bother me as much. Cause, like, I didn't feel like that was gross. And I always knew when I seen the pinky nail, I, that's the first thing I always thought. I was like, oh, you're a cokehead. <laughs> that's funny. That's so true, too. I've seen it because I was in, you know, a drug addict I was. So, like, I was around, my whole life I was around drugs, you know, and, like, people that used them. So I would come across, I mean, most of my friends didn't do that. But, like, I would be around those type of people that you'd every once in a while have one of those guys that has that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, hey, Patty. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm going to take a chance with this. All right. So, this is the Vander Ark family gross chart on my grandma's tree here in Michigan. If you notice right here, this is my little half brother. All right, so this is the Vander Ark family gross chart on my grandma's tree here in Michigan. If you notice right here, this is my little half brother. All right, so this. Oh, these are 2020 guys, sorry. Uh, July 4th, 2020. There's this one I want to find um, where she's like bringing him out his cake. It's up top though. Yeah, more. Probably doing the other place. Oh, okay. I was going. Look at the This is July 4th. Boom. It's in the. July 4th again. I guess this is just over there. Yes, you are. Sleeping over there. I want to go back. 
who was that? It was too big to be Gabriel back in 2020. Over there with the dog, look. What is that? Hold on, where's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, not too far. I didn't go far enough. That. Right back here. Who is that? I wonder. I think it's too big to be Gabriel. I don't know. Yes, you are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's like an adult, maybe. I don't know. It might be an adult. All right, so let me do some over here so I don't, because I don't know which ones else are going to be. That's no big deal. He just talks about an awesome sandwich. Okay, so they're all, hold on, I want to see something. Okay, these are all, he must not have started using music for a while. So hold on, let me see how far up and then we could go over there. Yeah, these are all, oh, not that one. Hold on, we're going to go back. Yeah, these are all. They're all, um, okay. I hate, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why I love Rumble. I don't have to worry about this stupid copyright crap. <laughs> so stupid. But you know what? I might try to see if I share my TikTok, if that'll work that way. Let's see. I might be able to do it this way. Hold on. Because I, then I won't, if I don't ever switch screens. Do you guys, guys want to see an awesome sandwich? Mm -hmm. Boom, awesome sandwich. Um. Mm -hmm. You guys, guys want to see an awesome? Can you hear that just real quick so I know? Like, can you hear this? Any last words? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What? Yes or no? Jake from State Farm. Any last words? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What? Oh, thanks, RV. There they are. Jake from for State joining. Farm. Oh, Any last words? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What? Jake from State Farm. Any last words? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What? Did you guys say you could hear this or no? You're gonna make me check on mine. Hold on, let me check. This is July 15th, 2020. Woo! You get what? that? I wonder whose pole that is. Interesting. Get it, ball! Seems like he's a happy kid. So, I say there are three types of Nerf guns. The beginner Nerf gun, pretty basic. The pro Nerf gun, not bad. And then, there's the hacker nerf gun. It's a bad boy. So, I say there are three types of nerf guns. The beginner nerf gun, pretty basic. The pro nerf gun, not bad. And oh, then, thanks, Susan. And thank you again, there's the RV hacker nerf joining. gun. That's awesome. That helps a lot. Hey guys, Fergie Nader here. I just wanted to introduce you to the newest member of our family. This is Bear. Isn't he adorable? Hey guys, Fergie Nader here. 
I just wanted to introduce you to the newest member of our family. This is Bear. Isn't he adorable? Ebon Bay! Ebon Bay! Ebon Bay! Ebon Bay! Wakanda forever! This is August. Ebon Bay! Ebon Bay! So it's my first day here working in covered quality services and I am sorting. I have to sort through 480 of these. I've already done four boxes. Or three boxes. Uh, so it's my first day here working in covered quality services and I why is his teeth did he lose a tooth or something because now it like sometimes he doesn't have those two front like one of those front teeth or seem like they're behind or it's not there or something i'm really confused his teeth don't always look like that wonder if he loses one sometime or i don't know am i like hallucinating here <laughs> um what's that on your face it was pain. Quick, stab me in the face. No, yeah. it's sore. As far as what I figured I out, Tammy, is he moved in, tw in 2020, is what we are tr uh, gathering, is when he, Paul, moved in. Um, and I, from little tips that I've read in his, you know, his posts from Facebook, I'm guessing, and this is an estimate, but it closed to around February 2020. But I could be off a couple months or a month or two. But um, just from what he said, he said a couple things in the post about like a year and a half or something like that. So I did like estimates. So uh, yeah, I think February, I'm pretty sure around, well, 2020, but I think maybe around February is my guess. And then Timothy was May 27th, 2021. Like I said, G stroke January 3rd, 2022. Um, so, and then... I put, oh yeah, so Timothy lived there a total of a year and two months, if I did that, if I did that right yesterday, um, so yeah. Preston plays. So I was watching a press and play's Minecraft video and I found this. So we're not gonna go watch all these. He's got so many. I just gotta decide which ones. I know there's a couple up top I definitely wanna play because his mom's in one of them and then uh his Adam's in one of them with I think Gabriel. I just gotta decide there because there's freaking so many. Trying to find the ones that he is actually talking in, maybe. Oh, that should be muted. Cause, yeah. No, that's a song. All right, I'm trying to see you as the weirdest talent on TikTok. Uh, I can kick myself in the head. That's mine. All right. All right, I'm trying to see you as the weirdest talent on. Sorry, I'm just te testing them to see which ones are going to have music. All right, so let's go back. Am I still here? I'm going to go into the avatar state. Not 
no rumble for, uh, copyright yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um. Dang it, I don't know, guys. Do you want, should you want me to go up more recent, or what do you want to do? There's so freaking many. I mean, you don't want to watch all of them, do you? I know this is muted because there's music. It's that, it's that song that all they were doing that dance to. Everybody was, <laughs> everybody was doing that dance to. <laughs> oh, my, my nephews were doing it a bunch. Probably in about tw around 2020. So these are, this is uh, September 9th, 2020. You could tell, you know, he's making swords out of cardboard and tape. That it just made me go into buy. Well, I mean, I guess if you're broke and you don't have money, I mean, you make do with what you got. I know, like we used to do that when we were younger, but he's he's pretty much already an adult at, on these because he in 2020 he's at least 18 by then, right? Yeah, because he was born in 2002, so he'd be 18. So, I mean, I have nothing wrong with you know people having fun, being silly, but I don't know. All right, so let's another sword one. He's got all kinds of little made contraptions. This is the end of 2022 or 2020. <laughs> Sorry, the way I said that, it sounded like I could have said something else. All right. I do want to find uh, this one that was his mom. I know he's still, he just lit, not talking, it's singing. He just has music where, you know. Okay, let's try to find something. So we already watched that one. There's a little dancing. Remember, he's he's eighteen here. Um, a lot of food videos. You know, we we noticed that in uh, on his uh, Facebook too. Oh, there's this one where he's like eating this food like he's freaking starving. I'll have to see if I can find it. It's like, holy crap. I don't know if he's just purposely try doing that or if that's how he eats. I eat fast, but he took it to a whole new level. I'll, hopefully, I'll find it for you. Not this, but... This is 2020. So, this is before he... Would have moved in. Wait, actually, now since we could kind of look, I should have paid attention January 2020 to see if he was, if we could tell if he was with his mom then, to see if it was really February. Oh, thanks, Soul, for gifting one. Um. All right, I'm just gonna do the ones that I wanted to find real quick. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Where's that one? What's this? I'm just going to watch a little here and there as we go through it. What's this? I got the dudes. It's 10 2020. All right, let's try to. Wait, wow, look how skinny his shoulder blades. 
I just think though his bill like I don't know if that's necessarily oh is that a black eye kind of has a little eye something below his uh eye there so this is 12 15 2020 I mean, he could have just all the all the messing around and how he plays he definitely could have just done that somehow you know what I'm saying he could have had an accent because I mean with how he's I could see how it could happen but who knows it does it definitely is a little mark under his eye All these have music still. Twenty twenty one. Let's go into twenty twenty one now. So Oh, we already did this one. We already looked at that one together. Like, wait, did he hit somebody? No, he's definitely just faking. Okay, hold on. I'm not annoying anybody how I'm just stopping them and not watching them all because there's no way we're going to be able to watch them all so I'm just trying to kind of pick ones I know there's some newer ones that I the newer ones that I definitely want to watch though just got to try to remember which ones Coronavirus! Bless you. Coronavirus! So what do you guys think so far? No, dude, I would love to do that to Zeke. Because <laughs> you know how, like, they don't know it comes from them. That's the fun. Like, the crazy thing is that they have no idea. Dogs don't know. I mean, they do, but they don't understand. So, like, every dog I've had, they'll fart, and they go, they're, they put their nose and sniff their butt and look at their butt. Like, what, what the heck is that? What, what, what came out of my butt? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Okay, he thinks he's like sexy or something. <laughs> I'm so mean. But I don't even feel bad being that way about somebody like this because of what he did. I don't know. I mean, the more that I'm I'm learning about this case and the more I'm I'm looking through everything, I do there is a part of me that does kind of feel bad for him, but I don't believe he has a pass. I don't believe he, he should get a pass. Like he needs to do a lot of time in jail in prison um but that soft side of me does you know now that i'm like going through all this stuff and learning more about the case and just l learning more about him and her i do there is a little part of me that feels bad i mean i feel horrible for timothy like he should have stopped it but like do i think he would have done this without his mom like do, you, do i think he would ever have had been able to kill somebody without what his mom was making him do like would he have ever done that on his own i don't think he would you know um so that part i do kind of feel bad but i don't i'm also mad at him because he was an adult and he could have stopped it but then could he have mental like his mentality and like 
and the tools that he had could he have though would he have had the meat i mean i know he could have anybody could have but could he have from what he was dealing with you know what i'm saying like i don't know yet i'm trying to figure that out did he have like i know he had the ability but i hope you guys understand what i'm saying like i know he had a choice and the ability but did he really in a way like because of maybe he was like how he was brought up and limited like was he felt like he had no other toys i don't know i really don't ten thousand more I spent ten thousand hours and ten thousand more posting <laughs> on YouTube. I don't do much more. I might not get this, but I'm gonna try. How are you? So if you see this. Sorry, I stopped it. He did add he did own, he did add his own little lyrics. He said so if you see this, like and subscribe. So he kinda like altered it a little bit. I stopped it too soon, sorry. Oh. No duh. Happy. Now, what do you tell yourself, Deku, when you're having impulses to punch Bakugo in the face? Yeet. No. Now, what do you tell yourself, Deku, when you're having impulses to punch Bakugo in the face? Yeet. No. Now, what do you tell yourself, Deku? when you're having impulses to punch Bakugo in the face. Shoot! I was on mute. This is May 10th, 2021. So I said it's a few weeks before Timothy came. Uh, wait. He had a girlfriend though? Somebody said a girlfriend? I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Okay, so this is from. Whoa, be careful. Okay, I'm gonna um. This this gets loud, guys. This. Is... <laughs> so this is from um. Mute it. This is from. Well, maybe not because you're gonna hear it through my headphones. This is from um. Sorry, uh, June fourth, twenty twenty one. So he should have. Timothy would have just got there three days ago if he did indeed get there May twenty seventh.
This is July 5th, 2021. This is the one with Timothy. We'll play it again. In case you guys, some, some people weren't there. This is uh, July 10th, 2021. So it would have been a couple months after he got there. Uh, or like a month and a couple weeks. All right, so. I want to find the one where. This is uh, July 11th, 2021. Which came first, the color orange or the fruit? Bro, you good? If I weigh 99 pounds and I gain a pound by eating nachos, does that mean I'm 1% nacho? Are you trying to make me question life? Because I'm about to. Why are cookies called cookies and bacon called bacon? If you bake cookies and cook bacon. Bro, what? I'm sorry. Oh, Somebody already played What? This. Everything is made of atoms, but atoms never touch. So this. are we actually touching anything? I... That one's a good one, actually. When snakes have to sneeze, how do they? I... Huh? What? If I clean a vacuum cleaner, does that make me a vacuum cleaner? I swear one more question, I'll start questioning life. Which day of the week is hotter? Sunday or Friday? Uh, it's August 6th, 2021. August 10th. Oh, who's that? Who was that? It didn't look like Gabriel. Maybe it's just step kit. Was that him? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It must be. Wow, wait. When we were looking at old pictures of him, it, that doesn't look like him. You know? But it must be from what he says, right? I mean, what that says, it would only make sense that that was him. That's him. He looks... Huh. I'm just saying from some of those old uh, pictures we saw of him, he kind of looked different than that. Anyway, okay. This is August or er, September uh, 2021. What does he have on his hand? Is that like a, a bruise on his hand? Or a cut or something? And it almost looked like he had one on the other hand too. On both hands. Look at, I think. Look at his left hand too. Let me see. I might have missed solid or maybe I was seeing. Yeah, dude. He has a sore right here. And then he has one right there. What the heck? Yeah, it could just be a burn, because if he does... Well, I don't know. He works in restaurants. I don't know if he was. I don't know when he got his job at Applebee's, because I know he was working. He saw, like, a pizza place, and then he was working in that factory. So I don't know. At Applebee's, they said he was a dishwasher, so he wouldn't be, like, cooking or anything. So, but, I mean, he does seem to uh, be cooking at home, you know, when his mom's away. But, yeah, maybe it is just a burn. But he's got it on both hands. He's got one here and then one right there.
It's kind of creep. Ooh, it looks creepy. Like, you know this move, that one movie? The Ring? I feel like there's another movie, too, like that, where it's like... Ugh! Like a horror movie. Don't worry, we won't do too much more. We'll get on to the other stuff. But there was a couple more. I just want to go through. I think we're... This is July, August... Or September 28th, 2021. August still. Or September still. Mountain Dew Major Melon. So, September today I'm going to give this a taste test. Mountain Dew Major Melon. Apparently it's a limited time offer to come out. It actually smells like watermelon. So. Okay. So. There's a lot of watermelon sodas out there. They don't really taste like watermelon. That does. It's more like watermelon soda with a hint of the Mountain Dew. It's really, really good. I do want to enjoy this. It usually takes me a while, but you know, this is a video, so you gotta get it in. How to get it in? Enjoy it, man. Yeah. So, all in all, I'd honestly give it a 10.5 out of 10. Basically, more than a 10 because it's really good. I've, I've been wanting a mel watermelon soda for a while, but. All the ones were crappy, but that, this was amazing. They should definitely make that, this Kelsey? into a permanent one that's not just limited time. It's making me want to try it, actually. That look, so. does look kind of good. I'm not a big pop. It's bussing. So. All right. This is just one of those old filters. And then he, it's like, it says, it talks about, like, you would, you could look like your dad, and then he puts a picture of his dad. Doesn't look anything like him. He doesn't really look like his mom either. That much. All right. So this is uh this is still September because he posts a lot. He's like almost posting every day. It seems like. Sorry, that was October 4th. Sorry, I had it muted. That was music. This is music. Um, and he says, right under here, it says, for, for people with ADHD, you know this perspective. But it's just music. Let me see what it's saying. Hold on. Saying day by day something I go is in the same talking about like they will never harness my energy. It's just a song I've never even heard of. He says I'm the poster boy for hyperactivity. Like I said, it's a song though, so I don't, can't play it because I'm sure it's copyrighted.
it's not my fault the world's not keeping up with me all right does he he wasn't he never said he had adhd though did he his mom supposedly said he had it or said she had it all right we can't like i said we're not gonna be able to watch Ooh, what do we got here no sound who is that who is that this is t october 18th this looks like his dad's side to me because uh this this girl or guy i don't know what she goes by but she's on some of their pictures on the dad's side so i'm pretty sure oh my brother's wedding my sister getting funky yeah this is on the dad's side i'm gonna say i almost recognize her too definitely recognize her um so it must be nolan's wedding or i guess it could be could also be one of his stepbrother's wedding i don't know if nolan got married or not but this is october 18th so wait 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 this is what i was curious about you guys tell me if anybody knows this did his dad see that like did they see him throughout when they were living there did they ever go back and see him or does dad ever visit like i wonder that like um for instance now this is in october did and he was living with his mom and then timothy would have just moved in well 2020 yeah a few months ago well no like almost six months ago but did they go back for this wedding and get to you know see them i just wonder if how if they were able to see each other a lot because he lives in florida they lived in michigan so just just something yeah petty but i don't know if any any of his stepbrothers are married so i don't know whose wedding this is it might be nolan's but is his other stepbrothers because he's got like all these stepbrothers and sisters too so i don't know if, if they're married too all right so so I can't say for sure whose wedding that is. I'm sure once, I'm sure I am, we're going to go through Nolan's Facebook page. So I'm sure we could see if, he, when he got married, you know. All right, let's see what this is. So this is. This music, but this is uh, August or October again, the 22nd not sure what he's trying to do my nose is itching it feels like i have like a if you keep seeing me do that like have you ever felt like you have like a bug on your nose i think it's just a tickle but i almost feel like something it's crawling like a really small bug <laughs> well, i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about all right let's see I'm going to unmute it because he's talking. All right, so you're taking salt and melting it at 300 degrees? Wouldn't it just burn away? I keep forgetting I could, uh... Wait, what? Highlight comments. Sorry, guys. I think he... Wait, sodium and... Nice, well, that... I think you might have burned away all the chlorine. I know. I think that's too. just pure sodium metal right there. Because, yeah, because yeah, it's catching on fire. I think that's pure sodium liquid metal. Better keep that away from water, dude. Don't want to boom. Yeah, it's oxidizing. That is uh, sodium. Pure sodium. So you're taking salt and melting it at 300 degrees? Wouldn't it just burn away? Wait, what do you, wait. That's not making sense because, T T Tammy, September 2022, he would have already been arrested though. So I'm confused. Do you mean, tw I don't understand what you're saying. Because it was July 2022, so by September, Paul was already in jail. I don't believe, I don't know, what it, What are you saying? Are you talking about that one video I was saying? Look how much bigger, he, like his face is full compared to him at trial? Are you talking about that? 
Or are you, are you referring to something TikTok? Because I know um, when they first... No, that was when they... So weird, though. That one where they were talking to him, it was one of the news clips I played. And we were talking to, they were talking to him, and his face looked so full. But then his body did look thin, but his face looked a lot fuller than when he was up testifying. His face looked more sunken in. But then... So I was like, oh, no, he used to be thick, a little bit thicker. But then I saw his body, but I'm like, his face looked at least fuller. And now I'm watching these videos, and he's just thin every time I see him, I feel like. But I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not understanding what you're saying. Oh, you guys, you know what I forgot to play yesterday too is I'm gonna play the where the lawyer after what the lawyer says. Remember I was talking about that. I have that clip ready too, so we're gonna be doing that. Anyway, we'll finish this. This wait, is what? November eighth, twenty twenty. I think. He, wait, sodium and. I think you might have burned away all the chlorine. I think that's just pure sodium metal right there. Because, yeah, can, yeah, because it's catching on fire. I think that's pure sodium liquid metal. Better keep that away from water, dude. Don't want to boom. Yeah, it's oxidizing. That is uh, sodium, pure sodium. So you're taking salt and Okay. November. You So this is November 19th, 2021. His mom and then the dogs. Oh, we already watched this. Oh, we watched this. So this, oh, this is January 18th. So this would have been after Adam Stroke uh, 2022. So now we're probably going to be going into after. So here is, this is January 19th, 2022. And then January 21st. So now these are all going to be 2022. So if I forget to say 2022. Um, okay. I don't know if I accidentally... Did I heart something? Why did that heart pop up? That wasn't me, was it? Okay. Oh. This is February. Okay. We'll look at some pictures. So we have there him and his dad, him, him and his stepmom. Him and probably his stepbrother. I didn't recognize the him. Him and Tim. There we go. So this is from... Dude, this might be the most recent picture of Timothy. Because look. Well, we don't know because these are pictures. So they, just because he's... I guess just because he's posting it March 12th, 2022. Does not mean that's when it's from. I don't know. But... I'm wondering if this is from the wedding that they were at when we were watching that. And that was, when was that? October? Remember when he said that my brother's wedding? That was, uh, shoot. It was, a, no, I think we figured it out. Like, wasn't it like a couple months? I don't have to go back and look. Because wonder if that's when these pictures are from. Um, But look, he looks very, 
Wait, hold on, January, February, March. So that would be two. But yeah, um, he looks very, his face looks nice and full. He looks really healthy, you know, right there as far as like weight, weight wise. I don't know who those people are. Must be his stepmom's parents, maybe, I'm guessing. I don't know, though, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it says my brother's wedding right up there. Oh, my God, I'm a blind. So, actually, now that we know that, let me see when he posted that video of his brother's wedding. Because that would probably be a little bit closer. At least we'll know it's at least that far back. You know what I'm saying? So, let me see. Right here. Hold on. Oh, sound isn't available anyway. So this is 1018. So we know it's at least 1018, 2021, um, which would be if it's around this time. And we're going to look up uh, when Nolan got married, if this is what that is. Uh, it probably is Nolan because he didn't say stepbrother. And he does usually, when he's talking about his different brothers, he usually is very precise when he's talking about his stepbrother or his brother. He'll say, like, stepbrother, I've noticed. So this probably is Nolan. So we'll have to see when he got married. But let's say it's around that time. So this is for sure... Wait, 10. So this would be after he was living, you know, at his mom's, Timothy. And then maybe he was living at his mom's for... Like five months, four, no, about five, maybe around, around five months. So, but like I said, this would be before Adam's stroke. But I don't know, it could, this could have even been before October. He just posted it October. But you know what, actually, let's pay attention because we see some kids playing in the background. Let's see, now I forgot, did it show what Timothy was wearing in that picture? Because we could kind of look for him just to kind of see his body and just see. I don't know. You know me with the details. But there was some... So we know he went to his brother's wedding. He's there because there's a picture of them together. So... I wonder if he's back there playing with them. That's Nolan? Are you sure? Really? Why does that look like Timothy? Nolan looks so young. Because you know how sometimes Nolan looks like he, his hair is darker in some pictures, I've noticed. Hold on, let me go look. Wow, then if that's the case, they look a lot alike. My brother's wedding. Did your brother call? Clash. So I wonder if his... Oh, I guess it is no. No one. Man. But I want to show you a compare picture. They have the same nose. I don't know, man. I still want to see, though, what, who those kids were in the background playing. I just want to see something. There was this one that I, I don't know if we'll be able to tell for sure, because it's, but you'd think if he was there, he would probably be up back there playing with the kids, you would guess. Is that, no, no, duh, I'll freaking puzzle him, uh, filming.
the plan. No, I don't know. I swear there's another. Hold on, come on. I wish I could do this in fast motion. Come on. There's this one part I wanted to. Oh, yeah, like, who is that? Hold on. See, I don't, I can't get on the exact. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not going to ball tell who that is. I mean, he looks like a kid, right? But they have so many freaking brothers, like stepkids. Stepbrothers and sisters. I don't know. Yeah, right there. Who is that, I wonder? Well, not very many people are on the dance floor. <laughs> you guys, who, um, are you guys dancers? Like, when it comes to weddings, who would, would you be on the dance floor or no? All right, so. This is the one I was talking <laughs> Watch how he eats this. Watch how fast he eats this. And I've never seen salmon. I don't. I know it says beef salmon. I don't know what the heck beef salmon is. But what I do know is that does not look like salmon at all. <laughs> so I don't know. But it's like makes me want to like almost sick watching him. Ugh. <laughs> it's like chow down. Um. Like you're starving, but he might have just been doing that for the video, you know. Oh, this is uh, April 15th, 2022. Wait, I gotta, where's the one with the birthday cake? Hold on, I gotta find it. Okay, I want to find it because her mom, his mom's in it. Okay, hold on one second. That'll be the last one, and then we'll move on to something else. Still playing, so I bet you the copyright was. I bet she copyrighted him. I just have to find her on Rumble, but I still want to try it. All right, you see a cake because I want to watch that. Like I said, because it has her in it. Uh, Shonda. Dang, I don't remember where it's at. I'm hoping the cake's in the thumbnail. Does anybody know for sure where? Come on. I would think it would be. I don't know. Am I overlooking it? Keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Does anybody know? <laughs> Send it to me if you haven't. No, it's fine. 
I'm gonna go up one more time and just see. I wish. I'm not gonna. I don't want to sit there and play all of it. Like, like this. I won't be able to do it all, but we should be able to tell a little bit by the thumbnail. Maybe the cake's not actually in the thumbnail, but it's got to be some kind of a uh, thing that that makes it um, obvious what it is. If I can't find it on the way up, then we'll just move on, I guess. And then hopefully by the end of the night, I'll end up popping back over here and it'll just pop up. Come on! All right. Like the shoulder blades. I mean, he just has a really skinny build, basically. But yeah, probably almost to a point where it could be unhealthy. But I'm hoping, if not, well, like I said, we'll move on. But I really want to find it. Like, where? I don't understand. I mean, we're going through, we're seeing, none of them look like it's it. Oh, maybe this one. No. No. No, because we went through all those. What the heck? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, 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 no. No. You got to be kidding me. It's got to be here. Oh, right here, maybe? No. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Wow. 
want you to eat some. So this is uh, April 5th, 2022. Does anybody, have anybody seen that one? Oh, yeah, Halo, he does. He definitely does. Hey, Crystal, he looks happy in all of them. He looks like a happy kid. He really does. Here it is. Yay, I found it. But, which, it doesn't mean, you know, he is. I know, you know, like, how they, you hear the, you know, people making jokes or whatever. Like, you put your best stuff online so you could, like, you know, put stuff out. You look like this happy family and everything's perfect, but... It's all a lie, you know. But with that being said, I feel like the videos he's putting out and then, you know, his mentality is like a young kid almost in a way where it's like I don't even know if he would think to fake it or whatever. Like I almost think that it's sincere. Like he really is a happy kid. Um, like I don't think it's like, ooh, I'm going to make it look like I'm all happy or I'm going to, you know, I'm going to act like this. I think that he is. I think he just, it's the way he is, it seems like. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get this on. And then... Oh, hold on. Happy, Happy birthday to okay. you. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh, it's Preston Plays. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> to you. Where's Timothy? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Oh, oh my gosh, it's Preston like, Plays. This is before. Oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Wow, wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> to you. Happy, Happy birthday. If he had a stroke January 3rd, so it would have been three months after. This is three months after, so yeah, this would have been the time where they started their crap with uh, Timothy. Yeah, because, I mean, where is he? Nowhere to be found. And, yeah, wait a minute. That's the grandma, right? I'm sure that's her mom. She's there. So... But here's the thing, this uh, this doesn't look like their house, so maybe, yeah. But wouldn't wait, wait, wait though. That'd be weird because wouldn't she wonder where Timothy is if they go? Let's say they go to her. You know, this is their grandma's like cabin type house or whatever. I think this is the one that's probably on the lake. I'm guessing. I don't. I could be wrong. Um, but let's say they go there. Wouldn't she wonder, like, hey, where's Timothy? If they just let Timothy home alone. And no, there's no way that they would leave Timothy home in the house alone, would they? Because the way they were so... every Somebody had to be home because he was going to get into stuff. Unless if they were just there for a little bit and it's close. But it just then goes to say, how didn't the grandmas be like, wait a minute, why wouldn't Timothy be here for the birthday? Unless Timothy is there. And then if Timothy is there didn't they notice anything but this would only be a couple three months into when, when the abuse started supposedly dang it hold on hold on a second that's why shoot hold on a second dang it i screwed up real quick hold on mm. How long have we been like, dang it. Hold on one second. I just screwed the, the way I had this set up. That's probably why it didn't. Get recommended. I usually set it. Dang it. I'm so mad at myself. It's okay. But. But there goes to show you, though, if YouTube isn't able to make money off your videos, they're not going to freaking recommend it. Just because, like, with this case, we've usually been getting a better, bigger crowd. But since I didn't monetize it, it I forgot to monetize it at first, so they probably weren't recommending it. 
YouTube's weird. It's like, well, they're not weird, but if they're not making money, they're not, they're not going to freaking push out videos. So that's why I like to make sure I do that. Cause you know, you want to be able to have as many people a lot there. Right. But hold on. I hate when I forget, it's, you know, I gotta stop being so freaking in a rush. All right. It might be too late for the algorithm to pick up now since I didn't have it at the beginning. Oh well. Oh well. I always make some kind of mistake. <laughs> all right. Well, let's. We're gonna get into. I think that's all I wanted to do for his YouTube or for his TikTok. But let's move on to other. Should I put on subscribers only or no? No, I'm just going to keep that open. I, I I was doing it a lot, like, recently because after the whole thing with the autopsy and stuff, I just figured I did not want, um, tr you know, like, people that came, was coming in here just to cause problems. So I put it on. I would like to, I always like to make sure I had it on. So you had to be a sub to, to uh, chat, but we'll be all right for tonight. All right. Let's see if that makes a difference. I don't know. It might be too late to get caught up in the algorithm since I didn't have it on. All right. So what do you guys want to go to next? You guys? Yeah, I figured. We'll have... Wait, why would every time I try to freaking hold on a second? Oh, okay. Every time I was trying to like uh, go from page to page, it kept. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Wait, Wolfpack. Um. No, oh, I did. Okay, never mind. All right, so let's do. Well, no, Shonda, Susan. So yesterday, we tried to play her videos. Well, from her YouTube, and she has them freaking set up where she must have a Rumble account, and then, so they copyright it. We're not only copyright, but they don't let you play it, so we couldn't even just watch them. They shut it down. It's one of those where they shut them down. If you, like, if they can't, they'll catch it, and they shut it down. So our live stream got sh just shut down yesterday until I stopped playing them. Um, so, yeah, I would have loved it. Well, we watched some of them, but I would have loved to watch more of them with you. I'm so mad. So I was, we were, hopefully we're going to sometime um, watch them over on Rumble and see what happens since they own the copyright over there. We'll see. I don't know how that, since they don't, what I think is going to happen. I don't think they're going to copyright like strike or what they just won't let that be monetized, which is not a big deal over there because <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. It's not that big. What do you mean, move on, Zavril? Huh? Wait, wait, what do you mean, move on? Crystal, I don't understand what that question is, mean. What? I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> what do you mean, move on? Um, oh, let's watch the lawyer talking about the case after her lawyer which is interesting to hear what he says all right hold on i have that oh i'll put it over yeah I wonder though. I mean, I should tell you know what? We should do some tests, just some fun lives, just to kind of test out everything so I could understand how it works better. So, for instance, do like, don't worry, you guys, I'm looking for the, the video I want to play next. I'm just talking while I'm looking. But do like, um, it should be the last one. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, do them like the same title, the same thumbnail, and then do one 
and don't monetize it and do like an hour then come back and monetize it and do an hour and just see if we can notice a difference on how much they were putting it out because we might be able to notice a difference about like how many people just to see it, like if we could just i mean it is a different i mean from ex seeing it like for having a ch uh, this channel for four years and seeing it i mean it definitely is a noticeable but it would be interesting to see if uh no, that's not how I would do it. I know that is. No, I'm saying I screwed it up. Start it halfway and then mo then in the middle of it, monetize it to see if it picks up. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's all too late if you do it halfway. Dude, I could probably like do a channel um, talking about Or if it's all too late. If oh, you do it shoot. Halfway. It's echoing. Hold on a second. Oh, it's going to be one of those echoes. Uh... Like talking about like different in, like things that I learned from having a channel. Like don't do this or do this or this will screw up this. It could actually be a good thing to help people. Because I feel like, I mean, I have some experience. I mean, I've been doing it for, you know, four years. And um, I've really paid cl close attention to all that because I am a channel that needs to because i'm not like this huge channel that gets all you know what i'm saying so i do have to try to figure out that to, to get the best possible thing all right let me try this again guys i hopefully i'll be able to do it without the echo but if i could help other people like especially like i you know when i got that thing where they i had to appeal the the one thing that people are getting and i was able to learn how to do it and get my channel back up or back uh monetizable when they took it took it off it only took me a day all right so let me try this all right let's see if not i'm gonna have to do it the sucky way because sometimes it does an echo and i don't know why Ooh, i think we might be good Okay. All right. Let's see. If not, or not. Figures. Can't just have it work out. The stick. Don't leave, guys. Just give me one minute, okay? I need y'all. Is that that is that side? It's this side. This one's like. Is it this? Yeah. What is that? Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what. Do you see that little? Sh I'm trying to figure out what that little shine on thing on my head's coming from. It's not making sense. So what I'm going to do, where is that? I can't figure out the light source for that. This makes, this is making no sense because it doesn't appear that it's any of those lights that's making that big light thing on my head. It's so weird. Huh. Anyway, um, okay, I'm going to say, let me restart this other computer. Or no. Everything up. Weird. I'm just gonna try it one more time, and if not, I'm just gonna have to do it the long way around and have to switch it every time. Oh, can't it just all work out? Dang it. Keep your fingers crossed that there's no echo. I don't want to have to do it the other way, guys. I really... I don't know. I think it's... Yeah, it's not going to work. Or is it? Wait a minute. We might be good. Yes. Okay. All right. You ready? All right, so we're at seven. Uh, 
Okay, so. Now this is, so those of you that didn't follow the trial, this is her lawyer, okay, after the trial. And he did a good job. Like, if you were just watching him, you would think that he's freaking, like, believe in her and, like, I don't know. You would just think that he thought it, you know, was Paul or, well, I don't know. Just listen. <laughs> I think this gives you an idea of the impact a case like this can have. And, and it's not just, um, it's everyone that touches a case like this. Take a listen. I passed the bar in 1986. This is the worst case I've ever handled. It's not even, I've, I've handled cases with serial murders. This is the worst case I've ever handled. Uh, you do you do your job. You you the the facts were terrible. The the outcomes were were worse. You do your job. You come in there, and your job is to represent this woman and to to press for her point of view, and that's what you do. If you do that, and the prosecutor does that, and the jury does their end, and the judge does his end, justice gets done in the end, and that's the objective. Uh, it, 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 now comes the time we have to sleep after the end. I mean, once you once you do all the intellectual stuff, the emotionality of it kicks in, and you gotta sit down, and you gotta sleep with these facts and those images that are for, forever in my mind. Oh, hey, He's gonna hey, carry those images as well. Um, I want to bring in our special guest joining us tonight, Chief Trial Attorney from Muskegon County Prosecutor's Office, prosecuted this case. Uh, Matt Roberts is with us. Uh, Matt, great to see you tonight. Um, g give me where you are going through a case like this, you know, and when you prosecute a case, I mean, you dive deep. You've got to live it. Um, where are you emotionally uh, right now? Well, thank you for having me, Vinny. I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, you really hit it there. Emotionally, this is, and I don't know what Mr. Johnson said there in that clip. This is, I've been doing this for 22 years, and this is the most difficult case that I've ever had from a, from an emotional standpoint. And uh, I can tell you that when that verdict was was read, uh, there was just a sense of relief, a sense of, of just that, that relief washing over. Dude, do you guys hear that in the background? It's on their video, but do you hear that? It sounds like a pig almost is honking or like it almost sounds like a burp at one point, and then it's like like a pig like <laughs> it's so weird. Over, I know the entire team, my trial partner and Jennifer, who I could not have done this without, and Lieutenant Duxma, who was right there with me from the Norton Shores Burp. Police Department, and the detectives. Uh, we all had a, a moment there afterwards. It was there was a lot of tears. There was a lot of emotion, uh, but uh, it, it, it was it was great to get it to this point. But we can never lose sight of the fact of, of why we're here and the, that a young man lost his life uh, just senselessly to get us to this point. So let's go back a little bit as you're first getting this case and going through and and revealing and getting the evidence and going through it. What's going through your mind as you're digging through, figuring out exactly what happened and how it all happened? Well, first and foremost, it was the hard work of the Norton Shores Police Department and the detectives involved here in bringing it to us. I actually first became aware of what was happening in the case when a good friend of mine called me. She actually conducted the interview of the minor child, the child that we referred to as G., uh, called me up the night this had happened and said, "You just, you just won't believe the the things that I've just heard from this child." And 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 she she told me the the details, the, the gruesome details, and she I I didn't believe it. I, I said, "This this just can't possibly be true." And uh, then as just as things unfolded that next day, and talking to the medical examiner and talking to the detectives and deciding to make a, a charging decision here, uh, it was all true. And frankly, it was it was that was just the tip of the iceberg. Um, and as, as we prepared this case moving forward, each time we thought we had reached the the bottom, if you will, like that there was no, it could not get any worse. The, the, the behavior here, the, the conduct just couldn't get any worse. It, it did. Uh, and, and it was like that all, all the way up to trial and, and preparing it. So it was just gut punch after gut punch. Uh, Dude, I can't even focus on what he's saying because of that sound. I don't know why I'm, I'm it's like distracting me so much that I can't even, un, like, I'm not even absorbing what he's saying. As, as we were doing in this, but we never lost sight of, of what was important here, and that was to try to get the justice we could for Timothy because he had become essentially yeah, Mel. 
a, a prisoner, a prisoner in his own home, and, and there was nobody that could could speak out for him. There was nobody that could say, hey, you know, what's happening to this child isn't right because of the, the efforts of, of his mother and in part the efforts of his brother. How long, how long was Timothy tortured for? What's your, what are you gathering from your investigation? As near as we can tell, the, the first real reference to what is happening uh, happens in, in February, early February. Um, that's approximately a month or so after the stroke that, that unfortunately caused the um, uh, caused the caused the minor child G's father to be uh, out of the home, unable to be in the home, leaving the defendant uh, with the three boys in the home. And, and and all we can piece together really is is through the text messages primarily, and uh, we we went back and forth over those text messages. Uh, Kristen and I split those up and, and just went through them line by line, looking for it. And and we started to identify in early February um, references to locking up the food, references to the restraints, references to first the zip ties and then later the the, the cuffs. Um, and so, so it looks like early February, I, I, I wish I could say that I, I don't think Timothy was suffering all that time, but unfortunately I, I do. I think that's really when it started. And in, in, as the investigation progressed, it was obvious that she had gone to such great lengths to make sure that Timothy uh, was not seen by anyone. Uh, not, he, he was homeschooled. He, he never was enrolled in school. He never went to a doctor. He was not, essentially was not even allowed outside. The, the only time he was outside was for punishments. Um, and it was in the backyard. And, and frankly, the neighbors, the, the, the folks in the neighborhood didn't even know that, that there was knew about the older child, knew about the younger child, didn't, didn't even know that Timothy existed. What did, she was working as a law clerk, right? I mean, so what did people who were interacting with her outside of that home have to say about her? Did you get a picture of, of what sort of life she was leading there? And was there anything about that that would make anyone think that there could potentially be some, something of the level of that darkness happening in her world? Well, nothing that was uncovered during the investigation suggests that any of the neighbors had any idea what was taking place. Um, I, again, the, the only other adult that had been in the home, um, Adam Vander Ark, who tragically passed away earlier this year, uh, was because of the stroke, was out of the home, so he was not able to see what was taking place. Uh, Timothy's uh, biological father and stepmother actually lived in Florida. Um, so, so they were not able to, to, to see things. And, and the defendant went to some great lengths, as I indicated before, to make sure that, that even the grandmother, even Adam's parents, when they tried to come and see G, that they were, no, were not allowed into, in, into the home to the extent that, that, that she was literally tracking them on their phones and, and trying to make sure that she beat them to her house and made sure that, that G would be outside uh, to, to be picked up so nobody would come into the home. I personally actually uh, met her when she was working in her capacity as a clerk for uh, one of our circuit court judges the, the year before this happened. And, uh, you know, certainly there was nothing to, to indicate at that time that, that, that anything like this was taking place. It's, I'd like to think that, that it wasn't happening at that time because that was in, in summer of 2021. And that would have been right about the time that, that Timothy first came to live with her and Adam was still in the home at that time. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's just another one of those, those cases where people say, well, I, I never would have seen this from, from, I never would have expected this from this person, but you know, here we are in this, 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 this prison that, that Timothy was kept in, in, in this home. Now there, there was so much evidence, including some videos that the jury didn't necessarily see. Um, but you did a masterful job, uh, your team in, in presenting this case that moment where you're cross-examining her and you put the, the photos in front of her, um, what did you think of that moment and what did you think of her reaction? Well, to, to, to be blunt, it, it seemed orchestrated. Um, and I, I don't mean to suggest that, that Mr. Johnson or anyone on our team had, had a hand in that. Uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for Mr. Johnson and his office. And as you, you indicated here at the beginning of the segment, that 
that they, they they have a job to do and 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 Fred's team does it and Fred does it admirably and and he did so in this case but it seemed it, it seemed just orchestrated on her part um i i am convinced that she'd seen those photographs before so to to have a, a reaction to like that it, it just didn't strike me as genuine i i believe that she had seen the photographs the week before we had a hearing in front of the judge to determine whether or not the photographs were going to be allowed and under what circumstances uh, and they were displayed at that point and and she certainly did, did not appear to have that reaction but i you know i, I wasn't that I was walking away from her. She started to have that reaction, and and I did not, you know, once once she started to whatever dry heave or vomit or whatever it is that she did, I I, I did not go up there. Uh, I certainly respected whatever level of privacy she was due at that point, but it, it felt rehearsed. It, it yeah. really did. Uh, I was I was questioning it myself last night, and many times we see crocodile tears. This is the first crocodile heave I think in the history of court TV. Um, Maybe it's sure. a new trend. We'll see. Um, let me ask you this, because in these cases where the victim is the child and, and you know, a parent is on trial for the murder, so many times it's so heartbreaking that there's no one in the courtroom for the victim. And, and prosecutors and investigators I know are so passionate and, and you all are there. Was there anyone from outside of your your team uh, that was there for Timothy inside that courtroom? There, there was. Um, it, it was. It was actually the stepmom who was actually able to make it up here from Florida. Came up here, and, and uh, she was also able to see see Paul, the co-defendant in this case. We have a, a jail visit with him while she was up there. So it, it, it felt like there was at least somebody there that was that, that was there for Timothy. But quite frankly, the anybody that's even touched even remotely this case has felt an affinity for it and, and an affinity for doing what was right for for timothy and we had a we had a lot of people in the courtroom uh, there were a lot of folks from my office there was, there was a lot of folks from, from from fred's office that were there there were a lot of, of, of folks just off the street who had, who had taken an interest in the case and felt like they needed to do the right thing um but again i in part because of primarily really because of, of, of the actions of the defendant and her efforts to just keep him isolated and keep him away from people um, it, it, it was it was hard to get somebody there for him, but uh, the, the, there were people there. And at the end of the day, we speak for for the victims. We speak for those that can't speak for themselves anymore. And I'm and I'm proud to do that uh, every day with with the men and women at the Muskegon County Prosecutor's Office. Yeah, and I always point this out to folks because people don't realize it. You know, when we have folks like you dedicate years and years and a career to prosecuting criminals, I remind everyone that. You could make a whole lot more money going out into private practice, whether you're doing works for corporations, even criminal defendants, if, if, if that would ever be a choice. Um, but we need people like you who dedicate their careers to this. And it's not just guys like me who go in for a few years and then leave. You can't prosecute cases like this with uh, young rookie prosecutors. You need experienced, dedicated uh, professionals. And, and I hope and, I, and I'm sure the folks in Muskegon County understand that. But I always like to remind people who are watching because sometimes they forget because you can make a lot of money. A great trial attorney like this can make a lot of money, folks. Um, he does. He does OK. But I mean. Uh, there, there's a level of sacrifice and true service uh, in, in, in what you're doing. Let me ask you about Paul. Um, two things. What did you think of, of his relationship with his mother, his relationship with his brother, and what's his legal status and, and, and what is going to happen to him? So Paul represents, you know, something of a challenge for 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 our office and for me in dealing with this, uh, because on the one hand, I I, I I do hold him responsible in part for what happened here. He he was, for all intents and purposes, he was the enforcer of the punishments that the, the defendant in this case wanted to to hand down, and those those. All of those punishments combined are, are what were the basis of the first degree child abuse charge. And, and ultimately, he was a participant in the malnourishment, which is the cause of death and the basis for the murder charge. So I do hold him responsible for that. But I, I can't lose sight of the fact that I'm also dealing with a man who 
Um, you know, certainly does appear to have some special needs of his own. Uh, I've had an opportunity to meet with Paul several times in anticipation of him testifying. And, and I very genuinely got the impression that, that, that he felt that he feels genuine remorse for this, um, as he should. I'm, I'm not suggesting he shouldn't. He, he absolutely should. Uh, but 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 it was clear from those meetings, and it was even clear from watching his his uh, his testimony in court that he's he he would constantly look over towards the defendant as I, I don't know if looking for some type of approval or looking to see if she was going to have a reaction. Um, I'm told there was a very strong reaction that he had at one point during his testimony when he talked about that photograph that he took and sent it to her a few weeks before Timothy passed away, that he actually gave him a full meal that day, uh, that, that he looked over to see what her reaction would be to that. And I'm told she had, she had quite the reaction to that because it was the first time that she had heard that, that because her response in the text message was giving him a piece of bread, uh, but he actually ended up giving her a full meal. So, so we have to balance out that it's, it's sort of balancing out the, the, the good with the bad. And, and I've committed to Paul and to his attorney that if, not only if he chooses to to plead guilty to the first degree child abuse charge, that I will make sure that that I represent to the judge what uh, how he was instrumental and how he was helpful to us in order to to achieve this conviction. Uh, but it doesn't for, it doesn't forgive the bad, and and he's been he's been quite open and, and honest and said he's he's not necessarily looking for forgiveness. He's hoping for some mercy, but he's I think he's prepared to accept what what is coming to him in terms of his actual legal status. Uh, I, I believe next week we are having a status conference, and it will be up. Um. Oh, oh I want to see what he says. But question: Do you um when he talked about the meal thing? Okay. And I was just thought, I, and I had this question a little earlier, and I've I've never got to uh, ask you guys what you guys think. So, they had cameras all over the house, so she was able to see like everything, right? I mean, pretty much everything. So when he snuck her that meal, if that was was the first time indeed that she even heard that, how didn't she see that? If she always had eyes on Timothy, didn't she? So how did Paul sneak that without her knowing? I mean, I know she was working, so she couldn't possibly look 24 hours a day at the cameras, but you think Paul would be afraid that she'd be looking at, you know what I'm saying? So I just, just curious, like, was it that easy to sneak him food or was it hard because the cameras and she was always watching basically, um, or wasn't it, it quite like that? And he could have possibly probably snuck him food more often. Why didn't he then? You know what I'm saying? If he if he was able to, then why not do it more often? Well, no, I know he knew where the cameras were because I mean they were visible and stuff. But my question is, is didn't they, she make sure that the camera was always on at least Timothy at the least? You know, I mean, I guess he could have somehow, you know, cooked the food and then when he fed him, hurry up and like turn off the camera. But you think if she would have saw that the camera was off. She'd been like, hey, turn the camera on. What the heck's going on? Or like he could have turned the camera, but I thought she always had a camera on Tim, Timothy for some reason. But my question to you is, do you think though that he, it was like, he had like a lot of opportunity to always sneak him food. Like do you think he was able to do that every day if he wanted to? I know he didn't because he only said he did it that one time, but do you think he, he could have though without his mom knowing? Up to him and his attorney at that point to decide if they want to uh, enter a plea or or if they want to take the case to trial. But it's not for me to speculate on that, and and I'll leave them to their decision there. So it makes me wonder. Um, all right, so RV there, yeah. Um, oh, hey Carly, what up? What up? Hey, scrap Al. Um, damn it, Janet. <laughs> um, hey, Carrie. So, yeah, maybe they did sometimes. So then he could always say, oh, malfunction. So he could use that as, as an excuse, you know. But if that's the case, then why didn't he freaking do that more often? One time, you know? Uh, but, I mean, that's interesting to hear that the prosecutor said that he does believe that he felt bad. And that he... What else did he just say? That he felt bad? You know, he does have remorse that he thinks is genuine. Um, so, I I think... What do you guys think he'll get for a sentence? I wonder. And I wrote down... Hold on, hold on. 
I wrote that down in the results because we're going to do that again. After today, remind me to do that at the end of this live. I'm going to redo the poll now that we've looked. At it. By that time, we would have looked through all, you know, the social media and kind of got to see Paul and who he is a little bit better. And I want to do that poll again about what you think he should get around 10 years, 30 plus or no time, just therapy. All right. So let's. Uh, Dana loves Maui. Maui's so beautiful. What's up, Anthony? How was your live? Emma Stewie. What's his new obsession? Yeah. Here's the thing. There's a part of me that believes that he liked that. He liked doing it. He liked to be able to do that because he has anger issues. He admitted it. He can't control his anger. And Timothy did. He, Timothy had some freaking, um, you know, mental disabilities that that he found i mean that they both found annoying obviously but um so and he probably did i mean you could tell he got he just got annoyed with timothy we heard him um in that video yesterday we looked at where timothy was trying to talk to him and you could tell he's just frustrated annoyed with him right so what god i it's one of those things i just forgot mid-sentence hold on or mid-thought hold on hold on um i want to finish that thought and then we'll go through the rest of the stuff dang it where was i going um, I don't know. I just totally lost it. I don't even remember what I just said. <laughs> Dang it. Because I wanted to ask you guys. Um, it's Paul. Oh, 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 the anger. So I think he liked that he was able to when he wanted to, but I don't think he wanted to all the time. But his mom was like so persistent all the time. But I think when it suited him, he liked it. So like, for instance, if... Timothy was making him mad and he knew I get to be rough with him. I get to throw him in the bath. I get to like punish him. And I think he actually took joy. I don't know if joy is the right word, but I, don't, I think he kind of liked that when he was mad at him, like that he was able to do that. And his mom was happy. He was doing that, you know, and it made her happy and proud that he would do that. But then I do think there's times you could tell with his text that he's probably just like annoyed. You know, he just wants to do his own thing, but he has to sit there and, always be focused on him so i think it was like on and off but the times i almost feel like the times it wasn't that he didn't want to do it because he felt bad for him it was like almost i feel like it seems like he didn't want to do it because he just was busy and he didn't want to have to worry about him you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm just trying to work all that out on how much is what because i do think there's parts that did he did like doing that being able to be that with him um yeah, yeah, RV, I think you're right. So what do you guys want to do first uh, for when we go through the Facebooks? Do you want to go and look at his dad's first? Yeah, let's, um, because we still, I still want to go through a little bit of Paul's, but since we just got in with Paul's TikTok, let's go to his dad. We'll go to their dad. Um, So this is Timothy's, Paul's, and Nolan's, and the daughter's dad. Okay. Um, so, so September, so this would have been after the murder. This is after. There's not, I mean, May, so this would be. Now, this would have been before, a couple months before, or a month and a half or whatever. It says, someone once told me before something great happens, everything falls apart. I sure hope there's a little truth to that, or truth in that. So, 2015. Hold on. Oh, that's already I already did that. Hold on. What is that? I am not normal. Twenty twenty two. Isn't that a whole ton with him? His wife has a little bit more stuff on hers. Let's 
so this is September 2nd, 2021. He looks a lot different when he's younger. Okay, so he says, eat your heart out, Mickey D's homemade, and Yolk is runny. I'm pretty sure Paul comments on this. Yeah, he... Doesn't he? Oh, I swear he did. Where is it? That's weird, because when I was looking at it the other day, Paul... There was a comment almost around that. Hold on. Maybe because all. Where'd it go? I wonder if Paul's Facebook page is down now. I haven't. No, we were just on it. Anyway, I swear it was there. Um, says yours look better. Um, please cook the yolk. Otherwise, it looks good. Eric says. I like my eggs over easy. And Adam says, wow. Dude, I swear Paul says something like, looks good or good job, Dad, or something. Anyway, so June 17th, 2020. Okay, nothing much. Scam. Don't know what that's about. Don't know what that's... So here's the kids. We looked at this picture already, but from August 15th, 2015, because we have Timothy, Paul, Nolan, the, the daughter. I just keep calling her the daughter. Is it Millie or something? I'm just going to call her the daughter. Um, Hey, Misty Free, what's up? Let's see if any comments. So we have Eric. Oh, no, that is Eric. Duh. Duh. 2013. Oh, it's the same picture he posted. He posted in 2013. I want to see something, though. Hold on a second. If you go, if we go in here and put, like, a date or a year, let's do, we'll bring up. Ones that, hold on, maybe not. Like more than what we are looking at? Maybe not. I don't know. I was waiting to. So we went through. All right. So let's go to, like I said, there's not much on his. He's not friends with um her shonda well at least on hers when you go to her friends and she has her friends public and you look under her friends he's not he didn't come up all right so let's go to um the stepmom right here so she has she's a little more active So this is November 25th, talking about her niece was missing, but they think she found a way. She she ran away, but so I'm not sure. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, I know. We're, I mean, we're not going to, we're going to talk about that. I wanted to wait to bring that up because we're talking about a different case right now. Um, But thanks. Okay, so... We have, yeah, her, so it says her niece might be missing, but they think she might have ran away. I don't know if they found her. Oh, yeah. Have she been found yet? And they say yes. Um, I know me either. So I did a background search on him. He doesn't really have anything major. I'll I'll look over it again and and tell you. I forget, but I know that none of the background searches, none of them have like major things. Actually, Sandra though had um a few check charges 
Yeah, I know I've talked to, I already said it, but for anybody that uh, wasn't there on the live when I, I read them, um, I forget what it was labeled, but it almost sounds like she wrote, there was two different ones it looks like, and that she wrote a, maybe she wrote a check and didn't have the money in it, but wait, that wouldn't be a charge. No, it can't be that because that's not a charge to write a check with no money. That wouldn't be like a legal thing. You would just get freaking uh, charged like fees and stuff. Well, so I don't know. We'll have to look up what that charge says and see what she did. But some kind of, you know, check thing. Um, hey, Justice Jane, what's up? Tammy, you're back. I was looking for you earlier. <laughs> I was like, where's Tammy at? You're my uh, Chandra <laughs> case girl. Um, were you here or did you go somewhere? Yeah, look. So Timothy Ferguson. But do you see what I'm saying? Look what he looks like there. And this is like him a little bit younger. Do you see why I thought the other guy that looks like Nolan? Do you see why I thought that one picture at the wedding? Now picture th him looking like this. A like older. A little bit older than that. It kind of looks like that picture, right? Um... So he, so basically he looks a lot like his older brother or he did, which is uncommon, but yeah. So she said, you are loved, you are missed, you are remembered. August 6, 2022. Happy birthday in heaven, my, my angel baby. Um, Okay, so, um, am I going too fast, guys? Oh, wait. Oh, you're giving your daughter the update? Wow. I did two nights ago on the eight hour stream. Wait, what did you do? Oh, fell asleep. <laughs> I know it's crazy. So yeah, see how she really posts a lot. So this, she posted this, we, we looked at this picture yesterday, but this is from 20, well, it says 2018. And, um, yeah, so Timothy Paul. Uh, where's Nolan? I don't see Nolan here. This is their dad. Stepmom. But yeah, sometimes he like has darker hair, like it looks really dark, and sometimes not, you know? Uh, let's see, this says... Now you've been to, you need to identify everyone so I know who they are. Um, oh, she writes everybody, Glenn. So back row, Glenn, Eric's dad. Oh, I wish I could have the picture up. Back, uh, Robert, Chelsea's boyfriend, Nolan's son, Kylan. Hold on. One of them's Nolan's. This is Eric's dad. Wait, which one's Nolan's son? There's nobody young enough to be Nolan. Did that? That's no. That's no. That, that does kind of look like Nolan. Maybe it just said Nolan. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay, Glenn is Eric's dad right here. Robert, Chelsea's boyfriend, Nolan. Oh, it's just saying Nolan is the son. Okay, so that's Nolan. Um, Chelsea's daughter is a dot the daughter. Wait, this, hold on a second. She skipped people. I skipped people. Nolan's son, and Kylan. Oh, I skipped a row. Kylan is the granddaughter. 
Chris's son. Oh, Chris is her son? Chelsea's her daughter? Okay, so now I'm getting an idea who everybody is. Okay, so this must be her son, Chris. This is her daughter, Chelsea. There she is. And then she goes to the front row. Hold on. Yeah, we know that's Timothy. We know that's Paul. Uh, and let's see who everybody else is. I'm just reading chat real quick. Hold on. Yeah, I already went over. I, do you guys remember? I went over all these pictures before, but like I said, I didn't go over them in Facebook. I screenshot them just in case if they took down the Facebook pages. Because a lot of cases, they'll take to, they'll take them down. Anyway, okay. So, so okay. So right here is so that would be these two would be Paul's step, basically step brother and sister. Okay. All right, front row. So yeah, we know that's Timothy. We know this is Paul. So now we have Lexi, daughter. So that's her daughter, um, Trisha's daughter. Oh, wait, it says son, Lexi? Or no, Paul. Just, okay, hold on. I'm reading it back. There's Millie is daughter. This is, no, Millie, that's, Millie is um, Eric and Chandra's daughter. And then hubby, Eric, and then Kaya and Noel. Or Kaya and wait, who's this? I don't know. Oh, her niece. I missed that. Jamie and her niece is right here. Okay. So now we know who everybody is. Alright. Okay. That kind of helped. Because I didn't know that for sure I figured. Oh, cool. She built her one up. Wow. Wait, you think Millie looks like Paul? Really? Let me see. Oh, in that picture, she kind of does. Yeah, in that picture. I could see that. You're right. Wow. Huh. Or maybe even in more pictures. Now that I'm thinking about it, she kind of does just look like him in general, huh? All right. Let's see what else we got. What does your spirit animal look like? Okay. I wonder why this is January 6th. I don't know. So this is November, so. Yeah, this would be after Timothy's already gone then. Out of their house, I mean. So this is an old picture that they po reposting. It's their wedding picture. Well, look how different Eric looks in it. Actually, I don't think I did a background search on Trish. I'll have to see if she has anything. I don't know if that maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know if there's actually like as far as pose, but we I think she has like pictures we could go through. I don't know. Here's that one picture. July 19th, 2019. So she's tagging Paul. But here's that one where we got Timothy's right here. Like I said, we already did look at all these, but we'll look again here. Where's Paul? Yeah, I couldn't find Paul in here last time, right? Did we ever find him? Why can't I find him? Huh. I don't know where he's at in this. Oh, he's back here. That's why I think he's hiding behind. Looks like that's him back here.
I know, right? I just want to go back a little bit because when Timothy was living with her to see. I could just go to the pictures, but yeah, here's that one where 2018 that we looked at. So Nolan, Timothy, Paul. Millie. Yeah, Millie does look like Paul a lot. Wow. Hmm. I know I don't know why I never picked up on that before, but you are right, RV. Like a lot. A lot a lot. Here's that other picture we looked at the other day. Um with cause it has Timothy right here when he's real little. Right there. And then Paul's right here in the blue shirt and tie. We got Nolan. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, here's the other one. It's 2018. Timothy, Paul, Millie, Nolan. Twenty seventeen. Eric and her. I just wonder, like, when, wonder when they met. So if you know why, hold on a second. I'm trying to think, so I could maybe look up, figure out to look up. Uh, when did um uh, Chandra and Eric get a divorce? Oh, here's another one. I'm trying, um, would I, RV, you know this case, or Tammy, would you want to come up on panel and talk while I'm going through the Facebook? Since there's a lot of downtime and I'm just like going through it, um, I wouldn't hurt to maybe have somebody, somebody else up here. So we got, oh, look how, this is little, look, this has got to be a little Timothy down here. Look how little, 2015, oh my god, and then Paul, so Paul would be, well, that's if this was taken in 2015, so I don't know, this could be taken before, yeah, I had to, so if he was born in 2002, so it'd be, no, that can't be right, because that would make Paul 13 there, so this is probably an older picture, when was Timothy, what was the year he was born? 14 no not 14 um I meant four five no he was like seven hold on a second I'm trying to figure this out Nine. I don't know maybe does Paul look 13 there but look how Anyway, well, here's another one of them all that we looked at before, too. So we have Timothy, Millie, Paul. 
No, because if this is from 2016, there's no way that other one was only a year prior. Yeah, that had to be a little bit old, right? This is Eric. That's their dad, their stepmom. There's the, uh, all of them. Timothy. Paul. Eric. Or Nolan, his name is like, but no one, Eric or Eric Nolan or whatever. Where's Millie? Right there. I don't know. I have trouble sometimes when, especially, I think that's her right here, right? All right. Here they all are. Timothy. Paul's down here, and then no one. Is that no one in there? I don't know. There's Paul. And then, yeah, their dad and stepmom. Oh, this is going to say, find out when they got a divorce. When did Eric and Chandra get a divorce? I want to find out. Was it too? I wonder if it was 2012. You know? And here's another one of them. Timothy, Paul, Millie, Eric. It's just, they, I mean, they do seem like they're pretty happy. But wait a minute. Remember when we were reading those posts from Chandra? No, that was all before 2012. Never mind. Never mind. Because I was trying to think, like, remember when, like, they were staying with somebody and then they were going to her sister-in-law and then... Timothy was in foster family, but that was all before she left the house. Like in, before 2012. Here's that same one. Okay, so. Yeah, there they are again. Timothy, Paul. Twenty from 2015. At least that's when it was posted. Another one of them all, Timothy, all. This is 2015. Another one. Got Timothy, Paul, and Millie. <laughs> the stepmom has her shoes and socks on. So this is 2014 now. Let's see. Yeah, so she definitely was with him then. Try to get like a timeline of when did she meet Eric or when did she start seeing Eric. But for some reason, I don't know why I'm thinking that maybe, I don't know if her Facebook stops before 2012 or I just stopped looking at it before 2012. I feel like it might just end before, so. Yeah, because is, is this ending right now? Looks like these are the last two, but wonder why they're not coming up. Look. That's weird. Am I still alive? What? What is uh, is it not gonna huh I don't know. why did it not let me oh well I think it does end there I don't know what does that mean how do I get this this is expand your browser well, okay uh my browser what do you mean there's no way where to do it all right but let's just do something let's go up and just see let's do or no filter wait where oh yeah let's just put in 2012 and see if it'll bring up anything i don't well no it's just these two it's not loading for some reason 
but I think that there's only two that we missed. And I think we got all, we ended up like even went through these pictures the other lot the last night. And I think just now we hit them all too. I mean, we saw them all again. I don't think we missed any with the kids in at least. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we, we got them all. Okay. All right. So next, so we did Eric. We have to finish Paul's. We did Trisha's. Oh, here's Nolan's. So let's see if it says when he it says in a relationship since April 2016. Oh no, joined April 2016. Never mind. So let's see. Does it say you guys said he was married? So studied at Central Piedmont College, Community College, lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. So he has that too. In a relationship, October 19th, 2018. Oh, little arrow squares. Wait. I tried. I t I clicked on the RV. It wasn't letting me. It wouldn't do anything. It sucks. Um, sorry. I gotta. I keep. <laughs> Let me talk to you guys. Let's see. Is Shonda's mom or Eric's mom? Who? Where? I don't know who. Which one you're referring to? And I think when we see like. The one um, grandma that lives somewhere in Michigan and then they go to her house like all, by the lake and then um, she's in a couple of videos that are on Paul's stuff. Now that I'm like seeing everything, I'm pretty sure it, that's Adam's mom, right? That's not her. Shonda's mom, I don't think, is it? Because I don't think, first of all, that Shonda's mom's in Michigan, right? So I'm thinking that's Adam's mom. But I don't know who you're, Tammy, I don't know when you're asking whose mom it is. I'm not sure who you're referring to, though. Oh, so another really, sh look, people. Wait, I want to see the other, oh, right here, let's see. Oh, this person is all over their comments. So this is 2018. Does it, it doesn't say who she, when he says relationship, it doesn't say who when you do that. And that, because I've never, no, it doesn't. I guess you can put it, but he didn't put who he's in a relationship with. Yeah, so he doesn't have a lot um, either. But we could always, um, here's, we'll go back to pause. We could always go through, um, who I think might be from going through the comments, remember Shonda's post comments, who they call sis to each other. There was two that they would multiple times would call back and forth each other sis. So I'm not sure if they are like actual sisters or could it be like maybe Adam's sister, so her sister-in-law that they just call sis because they're sister-in-laws. Or we have to see what date because some of them could be before she met Adam. So could they be Eric's sisters, you know? So I don't know. The names. So let me know, Tammy, if you know. So the names where they call each other sis, there's a person, there's a girl, a lady named Jessica Quinchin, Quinton, Quinchin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Suzanne Biterman Montez and Julie Christopher. Do you know if those are her uh, biological sisters or um, like sister in laws? I wonder. So here we have. 
Did we already play this? This is where we left off, so. Oh, hold on. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? So, Piper and Jim and I are out playing in the snow. So. On Grammy oh. Grandpa's deck. On gra yeah. <laughs> That's her in the background. Oh. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. that Grandma Grandpa. Yeah, oh, Jim and I? Yeah. So, so, Piper and Jim and I are out playing in the snow. So. On Grammy oh. Grandpa's deck. On gra Yeah. <laughs> I know, Jonathan. I've brought. I've considered that. Like when we were going through it, I said it could just be a friend. Sometimes they call each other sis, um, but we went through them, and all of these are like, like almost like a, most messages they did call each other sis, and it could be, it could just be a friend. But we're just trying to figure out a family, so we are just trying to figure it out because we know she does have sisters. Um, so we're just kind of trying to go through and find signs, and then. Figure it out. So what I'll do, I wrote them down because then I'll go to their pages and look after we go through a couple of paws. But yeah, definitely could be. So, oh. <laughs> but Tammy, you know a lot about the case, so that's why I was wondering maybe you could help me out or anybody that knows. Yeah. Oh, Jim and I. Yeah. So Piper and Jim and I are out playing in the snow. So, on oh, Grandpa's deck. Uh, on gra yeah. <laughs> you're right. So. So which grandma? He's gonna come and shoot him. I think it's no, Adam's mom. Yeah. So Piper and Jim and I are out playing in the snow. So, on Grammy oh, Grandpa's deck. On gra yeah. <laughs> so. so this is February twenty twenty one. So according to the prosecutor from the text, but they don't know. Just. For sure, but from the text, they said I wrote a note that they think the abuse started February 2022, though. But so wait, February. Oh, he wouldn't even have been with him yet because he wasn't there till May 2021. Okay. So let's see what else we got. The snow at my grandparents' porch. So like I said, I'm pretty, I'm guessing, if I were to guess that his grandparents, they are talking about, and they're talking about that, oh, they can't let her in the house. It's got to be Adam's mom, right? Because Eric's from Florida, so I don't know where his parents are from. And then where is she, isn't she from Wisconsin or something? Why am I thinking Wisconsin? They could be wrong, but Wisconsin keeps coming to my head from where she's from. So I don't. I don't know, unless if her mom moved to Michigan or her mom lived in Michigan. I mean, it's possible, but originally I was picturing it being her mom. But then as I'm like thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, that's probably Adam's mom. So who knew that Gemini, who's the greatest dog, gentlest dog I've ever met, also can be a slight chicken, can look so scary. He looks freaky because he's on his back and it looks like he's got a devilish smile. So this is February 7th cutest little bean did you win girl oh you're adorable oh. what oh discord hold on a second i don't think i i know i don't have to oh i did but let me see what hat on i just want to make sure nothing i don't know if there's like information it Oh, invite. Val invalid. Okay. I was going to try to see if he had anything on there, but it's not letting me go. Um, yeah. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so that's all of that now let's go Hold on one second yeah it doesn't work that way all right so we got pause we got 
actually we never we, we didn't actually go through shauna doesn't really so we have so these are the pictures that are on shonda's facebook okay so she has of course gabriel a bunch of gabriel she has this one that we've seen with uh timothy and paul and nolan gabriel really and we've read through a lot of the posts and responses on some here's paul nolan paul Millie, Timothy. She says this is an older picture. Her hair is past her shoulders again already. Okay, and then we have this one. Her, Timothy is on her lap. Millie is on her lap. Nolan, Paul's over here. <laughs> Well, there are a couple of pics of me on my photos on the profile, but there's one of me and the kids last night. Sorry, I didn't post a pic of the kids sooner. Josie's been crazy. Josie, been crazy busy, so take your pic, Rod. LOL. There's a picture of her. Finally splurged on myself for once and got a nice championship hoodie. I still want to get a couple of other championship shirts, but love this one. And I actually found a Bama hat in town today. Okay, sorry. For the first time in two and a half years, and it's not even a championship hat. The front of the hat has a really cool pattern on it, but I was even wearing it backwards on this. LOL. Yes, I'm proud of my team. I'll take all the positive I can get right now. I don't know who she's responding to because a lot of the times the comments aren't on it. They disappear. So she says, do I really? Hey, you look... Oh, maybe it's to this one. Hey, you look good. Hey, do wait. Hey, you do, do look young, but that's a plus, right? Yes, it is, Susan. I didn't realize I looked that young in that pic, though. LOL. I have a couple other pics that you should see. Talk about looking young. Could get a, a guy or... Wait, could get a guy arrested. And Shauna says, LOL, Mike. Eric has been getting glares the entire time we've been together from people thinking there's a huge age difference. Oh, my God. There she goes about her gosh darn age. Oh, she looks so young. Somebody thought... Somebody thought... At the movie theater, I thought she was 13 <laughs> when she was 31. Come on, Shonda. You do not look like you're 13 when you were 30. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's too much. And they think I'm underage. So she's saying, like, when you see her and Eric together, the people are they're giving her dirty looks because the they think there's a huge age difference because they think she's underage. Nah. Apparently turning a hat backwards makes me look young, but I love wearing them like that. I know strange, but I think it looks good on me. Or it looks okay on me. My lordy. Oh, thank you. Now, now I'm even redder. Wink. Y'all are sweet. Thanks. Roll Tide. You look so... Somebody says... Susan says... Wait, is Susan one of the... Yeah, Susan might be one of the ones that, I don't know, um, that calls her sis sometimes. But you look so adorable and about 14 years old, XO. Shauna says, thanks, sis. And Shauna says, thanks, Kyle. Thanks for putting up such a good picture of you. Now I know what you look like and I could put you on a family tree. Well, you're already in it, but now your picture will be with you. Thank you, Josie. Or thank you, Josie. Yeah. I'll have to upload some good family pics, too. The kids are way better looking. I would love that. Then I could put pictures with you, all of you. I'll get a picture uploaded tomorrow on Friday. They're precious. And then Shonda says again, Oh, really? I can always wear something under it. Online wants 30 bucks for those shirts. The 13 is national championships. This was Bama's 13th. Nobody else is even close to that. All right. Me petting Jack and him loving it. He was giving me kisses here. It was really adorable, provided he doesn't aim for the ear. All right. Oh, these are kind of... Oh, it's a parrot.
December 19th, 2009. Just returned from visiting our little princess for a while. It was so awesome she fell asleep in Eric's arms. That's what the pic below is. It was adorable. So sweet. Thank you so much. Love you too, sis. Hopefully soon. All right. So, oh, this is... Okay, here's the first shirt I made, and that's my oldest son, my oldest Nolan. Here's Timothy. This is in 2009, at least that's when she posted it. And then here they are again. Look how little Timothy is. Paul. Paul. Nolan and Lily. The kids at church while I was out of town, actually. Daddy had them looking good. Oh. All right, so I want to see something really quick. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at chat. Hold on, guys. I'll, I'll look at chat in one second. I want to just see something really quick. Because I swear yesterday, if I put in a date... Hold on, let me try. Yeah. All right. So Guys, just hang in there real quick. Okay, here we go. So I got some. I was able to get up her post to come up on, on this part. Okay, so graduated from Liberty University in 2016, paralegal studies, magna cum laude. So she graduated after um and that coffee was so good after um she was with eric i think we read these one these messages right yeah all right so we have Twenty fifteen. Oh yeah, wait, these would be after. Hold on a second. I don't think we actually went through the ones that were after she left. This one we did, but after she would have left Eric, or they she wasn't with Eric, I should say. And no. Uh, And funny thing he is he looks just like his older siblings when they were younger and most say they look just like me lol yeah um i think that gabriel looks like her right i don't ugh, i don't there's really not Someone says they look all just like you. Thank you. Yeah, I think I read those ones. Okay, so let's do... Oh, that's the one we just did. Yeah, we did that one too. Yeah, I guess we did a lot of hers. What's this? Quoting. She likes quoting bliss. All right, let me see if what you guys are saying here. Um. Oh, so you don't want to, Tammy? 
Who would want to? I don't know, Steph Sells. That's what we're trying to figure out. So, I don't know. It was weird. Like, they both didn't have custody. It was weird. It was like when you, we were going through her old posts. I don't, did you see last night's live? Well, we went through her posts, which if you have, and I would recommend watching it. Um, so more towards the beginning, I would say when we were going through her posts and it kind of gives you kind of an idea, but it's still confusing. So, you know, the way she's talking when she's still with Eric, she'll be like, we, you know, we don't we don't have custody or whatever i'm paraphrasing i don't think she said it exactly like that but we got or we can't see them right now or we could see them or we were got we were able to visit them for three hours tonight but we can't take them home or we have to keep nolan and millie separate separated so they weren't allowed to have the two oldest kids at the same time and if they did if they when they did I think there was a time maybe they were able to, but then they would have to keep them separate. They weren't allowed to be together, which I don't know what that's all about because why aren't they allowed? Like what happened? Did something happen between Nolan and Millie that they're not allowed to be in the same room? I don't know. But so for some reason, they both weren't able to see him. Right. And then when they were, and then she was talking about how Timothy was with the foster family, but then Timothy, um, at first they didn't know they didn't have, access to him where they weren't able to talk to him and then it and then they did and then they were able to talk to him when he was three years old um and then she was talking about like they're waiting for her sister-in-law's ba and brother's background checks to uh, clear so the three oldest could go stay with them because they were like in the system somewhere i don't know where, who they were staying with friends or family i'm not sure but they were waiting for the background checks to clear so then they could take them so I don't know when it got to the point where they were able to get him back, but then supposedly they got him back, I guess. But then in what, 2009 to 2012, cause she had, she like CPS, she had some kind of, uh, it was illegal where she wasn't able to, we don't know what happened, but we, she, it was she, her not allowed to be in the same house or not allowed to see him. So she offered to move out of the house well, I'll move out of the house so then they could just stay there with Eric. So with the whole time, was it always her? And because Eric and them, they were together, he was the parent too. You know what I'm saying? So was it because she was the one abusing him? But because, you know, he didn't stop it. He was in the house. He was their parents too. Did they, did they both like weren't able to see him or something maybe? And then, like I said, somehow they did get him back, but then she wasn't allowed to see she had to leave the house in 2012 she offered to leave so i i don't know we don't know the details but i'm going to try to get some of the documents i did come across some i gotta find them but it was very vague the ones i came across it was just like kind of like the rules like hey she, she can't have custody she can't have like do this this or that um but i didn't get I didn't find the actual specific yet, but I mean, they might be out there. I haven't even got around to really digging into trying to get them. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But I do, I wish I knew because I want to know if Eric was, like, was he a good dad? Was he abusing him? Because did they have, like, a pretty good life from 2012 to 2020 when Paul moved in with her? How was their life? And they had Timothy's too. So Timothy would have spent the majority of his life with his dad. Because when he was three years old, he was in the foster home. But I think shortly after that, he ended up going to his dad's, right? So so then from then until he was, what, 14, around 14, then that's when he went to his mom. So he was with his mom, dad at least eight years, if not nine years. Unless if there was some in between time where when he he got when they got him back and then maybe they, they he lost him again I don't know I haven't heard anything like that but wait actually I don't know when they actually got him back like when they got him when before like when uh, her and Eric were still together you know what I'm saying between. When he was in a foster home at three years old to when um 
you know, like after that, I should say, there's no in between, like, when did they get him? I don't know when it, I have no idea. So maybe it wasn't like eight or nine years. Cause what if they didn't get him to lose like seven? I don't know. Does anybody know? Let me see what you guys are saying. Hold on. Let me look. I haven't even tried to just like, look like Google it and look at the articles. Cause I've been going the other route, like trying to find their social media stuff, but I could, yeah, maybe I'll try to do that. Cause I'm almost done with the social media stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me see if there's anything else here. So next person to poke me, I want to poke you back. Okay, so what is all this? Oh, 2010, there's... Thinks there need to be tests to own certain cell phones, especially PDAs, before people can get them. Some of the tech questions we get. I'm sh I'd probably be one of those that would fail. Good thing my hubby is tech savvy and can teach me. Hope you're having a good day otherwise. She says, I'm sure you would do be way better than most, Kristen. We have a new phone that is outselling the new iPhones. It's amazing, but it's a pretty complicated phone. And we field most of the questions for it. Makes life interesting. Love it, though. The EVO is an incredible device, and that's coming from an Apple person, lol. Maybe I should write a test to be able to use it. JK, though, tempting at times. And Steven says, there would be no one to ask you questions. And Sean says, oh, yeah, there would be still questions. Trust me. And then, um, uh, July 9th, 2010 says, find. Fine. A guy who calls you beautiful instead of hot, who calls you back when you hang up on him, who will lie under the stars and listen to your heartbeat, or or will stay awake just to watch you sleep. Shauna says, wait for the boy who kisses your forehead, who wants to show you off to the world when you are in sweats, who holds your hand in front of his friends, who thinks you're just as pretty without makeup on. Who only or one who is constantly reminding you of how much he cares and how lucky he is is to have you the one who turns to his friends and says that's her and adam says i said that to my friends about one special woman and i bet you can guess who that was i love you wait i said that to my friends about one special woman and i, and I bet you can guess who that was i love you so i mean that's her husband that's who she's with so he's adam and then Shauna says, hmm, wonder who could that could have been. Love you too. Thanks for that being so true of you. Lady says, that's really good, Shauna. How are things? And Shauna says, thanks, Josie. They're getting better slowly. All right. And then 2010, she says, I know that you believe you understand me. You understand what you think I said, but I'm not sure you realize what you heard is not what I meant. Okay. Our eyes are placed in front because it's more important to look ahead than to look back. On this day, we set aside our pain and differences and thank God for the country we live in, the freedoms we enjoy, and those that have given all for us. Hmm, blood drive at work. Plus, apparently not having blood sugar high enough. That had to be it. Wait, that had to be it because I ate right before I donated. Not a good combination. Equals two hours of people hovering. Didn't totally black out, at least. That's a good thing, right? It says, for the part, for the most part, eating will make you, your uh, blood sugar rise. How long, how low is yours? Normally, yeah, but I didn't eat anything with carbs in it before donating. Somehow that slipped my mind till after the fact. Oh, well, live and learn. Susan says, yeah, duh, a very good thing. Please take care of you and talk to me, sis. Life is about falling. Living is about getting back up. I choose to get back up and stay there. Does any, anybody in Oklahoma City want some eclipse tickets? I have three for the midnight showing at Tinseltown on Tuesday night that I won't be using. Doing the marathon at AMC instead. Let me know. So she'll do five each. They're 575 plus handling. I got them online. This isn't meant to be hostile or anything like that. I've overcome a lot in my life. This is simple, simply my way of stating 
and showing that I have overcome this already. Oh, this is that one we already read. So that this is, I'm confused because this is in 2010, but then in 2010, but in the beginning part of 2010, I think it was their anniversary, right? She's talking about like, I mean, they're still together. So I don't know. But watching you walk out of my life hasn't made me bitter or cynical about love, but rather it's shown me that if I want so badly to be with the wrong person, how beautiful it will, it will be when the right one comes along. I don't know. I don't, why should you want to? You have overcome this? What? Who? I mean, you're still with your husband, I thought. I mean, we know she lived there until 2012. And even Susan saying, I never thought this would end up like this, you know? And Shonda says, I know, I don't think anybody did. And Tasha says, huh, I don't get it. And Shonda says, PM me, Tasha will explain further. But look, I want to see when their anniversary. So that, let me just remember that date. So that's June 2010, okay? So we read all these. Well, did we? I don't know. Let me write that down. June. 21st just to see um another chapter closed the post follows post that follows is me turning the page being happy doesn't mean everything is perfect it means you've decided to see beyond imperfections I think this is, okay when life gives you a hundred reasons to cry show life that you have a thousand reasons to smile 2010 you know i know it was 2010 but i'm trying to figure out what date because this was june so i if i'm remembering right it was at the beginning of 2010 but my point is it sounds like she's saying that somebody walked out of her life i mean it sounds like probably her husband right um and they're like oh my god i wouldn't i never guessed this would have happened or whatever her sister says or friend or whatever um but then we remember reading last night, we were reading, it was in 2010 about the anniversary and then she was saying nice stuff. And I think he even responded in the comments, like, you know, reasons I love you and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I'm confused. But maybe if the anniversary is in the early year, the beginning of the year, maybe something happened, you know, by June. I don't know, but that's why I wanted to write the date down so I could see because we're about to come to it, I'm sure. But anyway, so let's see. Oh, here we go. Isn't one to give myself much credit, but I have to share this. I found out today that I am ranked ninth out of about 600 people in my call center and regular tech support. I'm so pumped. Wow, you're amazing. Good for you. And I'm not surprised. And Shauna says, thank you. I'm so pumped. I am too positive to be doubtful, too optimistic to be fearful, and too determined to be defeated. Yeah. Yo, what's up, sis? And then she says, not much. Just making a comment. Always be a first-rate version of yourself instead of a second-rate version of somebody else. It, it, it's true that we don't know what we've got until we lose it, but it's also true that we don't know what we've been missing until it arrives. No, not yet. Thank you. Things are going a little better with the situation, though. Finally seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. So what, whatever that situation, because it's June 8th. Well, no, we'll be able to, um, Melissa, we'll be able to come. There's posts about it, so we'll be able to see. That's why I'm waiting to see. Uh, we'll get to it because we're scrolling down where they wish each other happy birth or happy anniversary. Um, just isn't sure I can keep going like this. Just no way to hold my head above water. Any good news? Let's tell me what's going on. Sending you lots of hugs and love. Hang in there, girl. So I don't know what, what's going on, but maybe it is, you know, their the relationship. Maybe, you know, not going good. And maybe she just stayed there 2000 to 2012, but they weren't 
really getting along or together or maybe they made up I don't know HTC video I can't wait for this phone to come out I'm not allowed to get it till July if you're looking for an amazing phone this is it court this morning at nine thank you for all the prayers I wish I could say it went better and you don't want to know Shannon I have never seen anything like this or even heard of it and not much worse that could have gone I really don't get these people I think the court stuff is it about her kids It's just kind of here. Pretty good week. Really proud of someone special for what he achieved this week. And thankful for some other things that have fallen into place. Now if that could continue at a rapid rate, that would be amazing. Needs a break really bad. But not from work. That's still going well. Just clarifying. They're going good at work. Surviving other than that. Thanks for asking. Okay, so it's oh, something at home. Okay, so work is going well. Eight straight great surveys and some perks already for doing well and doing some extra time here and there. I'm trying to hang in on everything else. Guess we'll see. We'll see there. Our oldest turns 10 tomorrow. Thank you so much, Josie. We could covet everyone's prayers through all of this and thank you sis yes 10 can't believe it thanks just love you i'm not gonna read that long one because i gotta get through this here just wants to know when this is all gonna be over with because the line between what i can and can't take was way back there honestly don't know much longer how i can hang on oh we read this already Thanks so much, Shannon. Just worn down from all this. Not sure how to hang on right now. Thanks, sis. Thanks, Kristen. Try to hang in there. Hugs. I'm trying this. Thanks, sis. Don't feel like it right now. Okay. Talking about a snow. Um, I'm ready for global warming right about now. This is a bunch of... There's a blizzard or whatever. Um, okay. Is about to finish my first week out of training tonight. It's gone pretty well. Not as freaky as I expected. And um, did somebody forget to tell the weather that spring starts tomorrow? A blizzard? Really? This is nuts. Oh my god, that means it's coming here soon. Because it's been so beautiful here this week. I don't know if it's going there, but it's nuts and it's spring. It snowed here today, guys. Enough for it covered the ground good. Um... Oh, here we go into the grind tonight. 5.15 to 2.15 a.m. I'm nuts or what? Just a friendly FYI. Anybody that calls me, texts me, or otherwise tries to get a hold of me before 10 a.m. on Tuesday through Saturday now is going to pay. So this is 2010 still. Okay, be nice, Mike, and thanks, sis. Sure, Kyle. I just don't get a set. Don't be upset if I forget to turn my ringer on because I can't have it on at work. I can't get on chat at work. We get calls up until you get calls up until the queue closes at 2 a.m. most nights. Well, not the worst birthday I had so far. It was really bittersweet though. I'm waiting for the anniversary stuff and then maybe we'll move to something else after we get to that part. Let's see. Oh my God, how did I miss it? it? Was your birthday? Oh, when it was her sister's birthday. Well, not not twice your age anymore. Love you and promise it will get better. Wishing you all. Wish you for wait. Wishing you all you wish for yourself and more. Oh, that was her saying it to Shonda. Don't worry, sis. Was low key this year. LOL on twice my age. Thank you, Christy. Don't worry about missing it. I just didn't wait. I just didn't post about I can't talk right now. I just didn't post that today because it's been so low key, but I had to vent somewhere. All right. Actually made it. Graduated from training today. Now on to work overtime tomorrow. Guess it's later today already. 
uh thanks feels good of course my team isn't there on saturday so i'm basically on my own tomorrow should be fun new adventure new challenge i'm just gonna skip some of this here okay let me say hi to some of you guys let's just see what you guys are saying hey halo there must be been allegations against shonda in oklahoma for cps to require her to leave the home in order for eric to get kids back Yes. No, there is something in CPS, 100%. Um, I had, I do have the documents somewhere. I hope I saved them. Um, so she just uh, basically said, oh, I'll leave. But here's the thing. Were they already broken up by then? You know? Oh, wait, I have the... Hold on. There is more posts. I have them over here. Hold on a second. Remember we were going through them the other day. But, hold on, let me go. Okay, let me exit out of here. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to go, hold on. Let's go to, um, okay. All right, Jonathan, thank you. I know, I wish I could. I just have so much stuff to do. Like, I should have done one on that. But, all right, um. What was I going to do? Hold on, you guys. I wanted to do something real quick. Oh, I wanted to go to her page and see the sis. I want to click on one of those people that are calling her sis. And that she calls sis. And see. Suzanne. Suzanne Bear. See if we could figure out who this is. So here's. And this is the sister that. But thank you for all the super chats, John. So this is the sister that. Um that said she was twice her age. So it might just, I mean, I guess it could be a real sister. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, a sister could be twice her age. She, uh, but I don't know if it is. It could just be a sister-in-law. It could be a friend. But she's in New Jersey from New York. Yeah, probably doesn't seem like it would be a, from New York. Isn't she from Wisconsin, guys? Right? I'm talking about Shonda. I swear I read somewhere that she said she's from Wisconsin. So let's see if there's any pictures of her with her. Or uh, with anybody that we know. Yeah, it could just be a good friend. But there's two others that we can look at too. Oh, yeah, because then I'm going to Google. I want to do the background. I'll share some of the background searches I did real quick. Um, and then I'll Google it and I'll see if I can get the divorce records. If I'm, There's got to be a record somewhere with uh, with their divorce to see when they got a divorce, right? I just don't know how hard it will be to find it. So if any of you guys find it, let me know. But I feel like there's got to be a way to to find that. And then to fit, find when Adam and her got married to see if we could get the date on that. I Like I said, I haven't even had time to really do that. Wait, isn't this the... Wait a minute. Isn't this the lady that... Was in that video? That was in the video? Why does that look like... The lady in the, some in some of the videos that I just thought it was their grandma. Maybe not though. Maybe she just looks similar. What do you guys think? I don't know, Tammy. I think she could get charged with that. I do. I think that or he can. Sorry, sorry. Like that might be some kind of charge right oh somebody got me a thank you i don't know if i should say your name uh your that you sent from your email because i don't want to say that but you know who you are the person that sent me the marriage stuff are you in chat that you want to say thank you let's see let me click on it and see what we got here um oh you should okay 
So you're, this is when Aaron, whoa. But wait, are we sure that she wasn't married twice? Look, hold on, let me say this. I don't know. If Tr Trish has a thing that says married 2011 that, you j that she just sent me, somebody just sent me. If that's the case, that means that he got married. Wait, that would mean that he got married when Shonda was still living with them? That would be really weird. Though. Are you sure she didn't maybe be got married twice, maybe? Yeah, it doesn't look like the lady in the video. And here's the thing. I swear the lady in the video was the grandma. But they're calling each other sis. There's no way that a grandma... So that would be her a mother. It could be her mother or mother-in-law. Why would they be calling each other sis if it was the mother or mother-in-law? Unless if we just kind of assume that that was. But I feel like the one... Maybe the one where I think... It, he does to say like grandma, but maybe that one I assumed was the same one where you could see her face more. I thought it was the same lady and then only the one was her and the other one was his grandma. I don't know, but it does look like her. Um, but I don't know because it says she lives in New Jersey, did it say? And I can't see Shonda traveling that much considering they're broke. And... I guess, oh, I guess she could come visit. She could have came and visited. I, I don't know, guys. It might just look like, like, look, they might just look similar. All right, so let me click on the, let me try to find the other two that when they're calling each other sis. So my conclusion is, is I don't think they're real, they're biological sisters. Maybe it's this, maybe it's, um, sister-in-law. Maybe it's Adam's sister, or maybe it's, uh, um, not Adam, or Adam's sister, or it could be Eric's sister, or it could be, it's just a good friend she calls sis. I don't know why I'm not thinking it's actually her real sister, but I could be wrong. Wow, she posts a lot. All right, let's move on to the other two and just see if. I'm trying to think to see if she says anything considering what you know what happened if she has if she posts about it because she was like at least friends with her that was like a little a little while ago when they were talking on facebook though so i wonder if they would oh yeah it can't be adam's sister right because wasn't the date they were talking like back in 2010 did she know and maybe even before that right so did she did she know adam back then You know what I'm saying? She wasn't married to him back then, so it's probably not Adam's sister. I don't know who it is, guys. Um, yeah, it could be a cousin. Yeah, it could be a friend. But that's, I mean, that's what we're trying to figure out. It's the whole thing that we're saying that it definitely could be a sister, could be a friend, could be a sister-in-law, could be, you know, anybody really. But it definitely, I don't think it'd be a mother-in-law calling each other sis. <laughs> Um, okay, so, like as if she lived there for a year after he remarried. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to find some records here. But okay, so let me find 
Let's do the other one. Hold on. I want to find the other one, other two, just real quick. So let's just go to her. She, she, I'm sure she's friends with the other one. So the one is Julie. Hold on. Or Jessica. They, they called each other sis a lot back and forth. Oh, wait. She's not her friend anymore? Dude. Oh, it's only with one S. Or one S. Dude, she was commenting. They were saying sis, like, commenting like crazy. And, but she's not coming up as her, on her friends list. She probably ditched her when all this happened. Okay, so I'm going to have to go in. Put in. I want to find. Uh, so it was Ju Jessica Quinton or whatever. See if I could find her. I guess I could just type in the name, but sometimes it's hard to find people if there's a lot of them with the same name. I mean, I don't know if there would be, but. Oh, I guess you could just. Yeah, hold on. Just give me one minute, guys. <laughs> You know, some people are probably like, why is that? Who cares? But I don't know. That's how I like like to I just get really into like figure trying to figure out every freaking detail. Oh, this is six, but I won't I'll try not to go down too much. But they were talking a lot that Jessica so we should we shouldn't have that much trouble finding it. I mean, I don't think we should. I don't think we have to go down too far. She, those posts yesterday, she was all over it. The heck! I just don't know what year. Wait, did anybody say they wanted to come up? You know what? I'm just going to put the link up, okay? Just why, until I go through the rest of this stuff, just so I'm not... Because I feel like I'm boring everybody because I'm trying to find stuff. So if I had some people up here, it would be better. So I could... And also so I could engage with the chat a little bit better. Jessica, where are you? Jessica! <laughs> Alright. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to come over here with a post. And then also, let's do a little bit of just regular, just Google and see what we could find since I have not done that yet. Um... All right. Wait a minute. That, wait, you guys, we have to do one more thing. So why I'm looking for those and then Google one and trying to find some information. Remember that one we still wanted to play, um, Dude, did he just go private? Hold on a second. What year was that? Why did it do that? Why did it say no post for a minute? That scared me. So I want to play that video. So while I'm looking for the other stuff, let me play something real quick. So remember that one where they're at the... Um, I said I was going to play. I stopped it because I was like, I'll play this later. They're at the lake. I'm going to play that while I'm looking for this other stuff. So his mom's there. You could hear him talking to his mom. You could hear him talking to, I think, his, I thought was his grandma. Um, you could hear Gabriel. Just give me one minute to be able to find it. Oh, did I put, I put the link out, right? 
Let me do it again. There's a link if anyone wants to join. I don't have time to pin it right now, but just give me a minute. This right here. Yeah. Oh, hi, Piper. Hi, hi, hi Annie. <laughs> yeah. So this so is April. I to find is my basket. Where did they hide it though? Was... So this would be before Timothy got there, I guess. April 2021. A while. Anyway. <laughs> Huh? I was going to find the basket first and put them in there. <laughs> front or back? Can you at least give me that? Front. Okay. Mostly hidden. Mostly. Okay. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh. Oof, jeez. So, uh, uh. What? Yeah, you're too far. Oh. Jeez. Are you a witch? Are you a witch? You need a towel. She dries pretty quick, though. Her undercoat, the thing is, her undercoat doesn't get, it keeps it from getting Verily spotted that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I found. That was loud. <laughs> I found the anniversary thing. So their their anniversary was some time like it was the beginning of 2010. Look, I want to just show you really quick. Um, just so you guys could. So I think what happened is I think that they broke up a couple months after that. Sometime at the sometime before June or around June, they must have ended it or something. Cause look, so number five, countdown to our anniversary. Eric has put up with me for almost 11 years now. So they're counting down around here. So um, that's uh, February, 2010, it's February 24th. So I don't know where they, how long were they counting down? I don't know, let's see. Um, how long, how long? Oh, four, count down to our anniversary. So this is February 23rd. Still counting down February 22nd. Oh wait, that's going backwards. So why, number three. Oh, there she's going backwards. So it's February 23rd, okay. I mean, she's going up. I thought she was going down because counting down. Okay, that you make no sense, Shauna. All right, so let me see. February 27th, happy anniversary. There you go, February 27th. They were still together, obviously. It's been an amazing 11 years. Uh, number 11, why I love Eric so much. Everything about him that can't be quite put into words. And something happened between February and June, I feel like. Now, let me share real quick the thing that um, you sent me. I don't know who sent it. I don't want to say your name because some people don't like that, but somebody has sent me it. Like I said, anybody say it was me so I could, I could give you a shout out, but sent me this. I must have overlooked it when I was going through, um, what's her name's, the stepmom's uh, Facebook. So right here. Um, so it says 2011, she got married. That's the stepmom. Now, she, of course, she could have got married to someone else, and then Eric could be her second marriage or third. I mean, we don't know how many times she got married, but, you know, it, it, she could have got a divorce before she married Eric because I'm trying to think. I don't remember seeing Eric saying he just got married, though. I don't know. I'll have to see. Because if that's the case, dude, if that's the case, and this is when she married Eric, think about what that means. That means that wow that'd be crazy that means she freaking 
is li- she freaking lives with them so her her husband and her or her ex-husband and her ex-husband's new wife for like around a year yeah because it's january 2011 so a, a whole year that would be so weird but i don't know for sure so i'm gonna google that so while i'm playing this video i'm gonna try to figure this all out dude i can't believe it that's crazy is it not Oh, dang, where did that go? I don't even know what to think about that. Okay. All right, let me just do something really quick. Okay. 20, you said? All right. <laughs> I'll have to be careful with dogs. Okay, I already found like three, I think. There's... What? Oh, hang on. These are I found Jessica. dyed eggs. Who would have thought? This could be her real sister because she kind of looks like her. I could see this being her real sister. So she that's kind of like. Oh crap! Like My she bad. Could be her sister. I'm an idiot. Looks, huh. uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit. I just want to look through her page and see if there's anything interesting. Huh. Yeah, maybe it might be. It might be. Done. There we go. Okay, so I found three. Um, no, that's not a fourth, is it? No, that's a rock. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting plastic eggs, but this is fine. I mean, these are healthier. Oh, there's one. There's four. I know I saw several around back, but I'm going to wait. <laughs> so I've got four so far. Um... There's two people watching. Uh, anybody see any eggs? <laughs> I have no idea if y'all can freaking see. Tell me if you do. But anyway, um, <clears throat> oh, I slipped. I slipped. <laughs> oh, there's one. Uh, with this one, five. No, Annie. <laughs> Uh, uh, oof, jeez. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, uh, no, I saw one over here. There it is. There's six. Yeah, that's one. Okay. Uh, no, Annie. <laughs> Whoa, I slipped. I slipped. Uh, Are there any on the other side? No. No? Huh? Huh? I am? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me put this one in my basket. I'm trying to keep it out of people's or dogs' reach more like. <laughs> Are you trying to point me to one? No? Okay. Oh. That is, that's a nice spot. <laughs> that was a spot for Gabriel. <laughs> Remember, your eye level's higher than Gabriel's. So. Yeah. <laughs> Try to put some in the trees. Fun, fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. I figured there might be, honestly. <laughs> nope. Um, whoa. Whoa. Jeez. Uh, yeah, buddy. Don't forget to check the Did you, okay. Yep. Oh, you're close. Turn around, dude. Oh my gosh. Turn around. Nah, wrong tree. Gotcha. Ah, 
Jeez, branches. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Oh, God. Ah, oh, stop, Gabriel. Come here. We're not wrestling in the house. Come on, Piper. Right. Oh. There's one right there. So how many is that? Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost halfway there already. Wait, does anybody know what city and state they were in so I can look up the records real quick? I'm going to try to get all this stuff, and then we'll, I'll be back. I can't remember. When she was with Eric. I'm so coming. I've oh, got Melissa. nine so far. Oh, Melissa left. Oh, sorry, Melissa. I was going to, I wasn't ready What's quite you to doing, talk because I wanted to. But can you come back up? I'm just gonna finish this and look up uh, records and stuff, so I'll, we could chat oh, about that. Oh, fun! Oklahoma, Camel Oklahoma. Uh, what Daddy. city though? Just Oklahoma City. <laughs> okay, come back up and then just give me a minute there though, because I'm gonna try to find this stuff so we know what we're you just please have a better I, timeline. Is it's camouflaged in there. Uh, <laughs> if anybody else wants to come that, up, yep, that, that is. For, uh -huh. Who did that? I we could chat about this case in a minute. Whoa. That is awesome, dude. How do you get an egg, egg that can camouflage in rocks? So that's oh, 10. Every year we make Who is she sitting there with? Hold on. Look at that color. Who did that? I did that. That is. Whoa. Look at that color. That is awesome, dude. How do you get. Man, who. An egg, egg that can camouflage in rocks. So that's you did call ten. For grandma, right? Okay. I'll, oh, hey, Melissa. I'm going to add you here. Um, <laughs> how, how often do you succeed? Oh, I got it that's can a nice. Spot. <laughs> hey, what's up? In the what? Tree. Did you notice if he called her yeah. grandma? Is he calling their grandma? Is that his grandma? I didn't. I wasn't here. I don't know if we're. Get, I don't even know if we get a good look at her anyway. I was just gonna try to see if it was that because she looked like that girl that that Susan. So, all right, I'm gonna look up Oklahoma City stuff real quick and see if I could figure out anything. I'll be right back. That's eleven. That's One that's buried. The tree. Twelve. Huh? Oh, you just got the tree. The, uh, the instructions, according to the instructions, it was. 14 drops of bread. Did you figure out what day they got married? <laughs> no, I'm going to try to figure that all out here. That's why I'm look, I wanted to know what That is weird. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to come up here and tell you quit being so hard on yourself. We love your lives and you're doing great. So Aww. stop being so hard on yourself. Wait, what do you mean? Am I? No, you could, You don't want to stay up and chat for a minute? After I find, I mean, it, I'll I stay go... up here and chat with you. Okay. I don't care to do that, but but here's you gotta the thing. quit being so damn hard on yourself. I know. Well, because I just doubt myself, and I feel like I keep making the wrong decisions on stuff, and then it's like when I feel like I see it like affecting my channel by people that they're, you know what I'm saying? They just either like don't come back or whatever, and then I'm just like, and then I just blame myself. I don't know. Yeah, I know I do. It sucks. I or I just need to keep it to myself and not. Every time, like, when I end a live, when I, like, talk about this stuff and complain, I'm always, like, so mad at myself. Like, why did I freaking even, why don't I need to keep this stuff to myself? I don't need to complain to everybody. <laughs> I hate that I do that. It's like I can't stop myself sometimes, but, um, yeah, but thank you. Um, so what do you think about this case? Well, personally, if you ask me, and I might have an unpopular opinion here, but I think they need to do to her what she did to her son. Yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad at all if they did that, to be honest. Do it, yeah. And the fact that she I has... Mean, she's, I... she's, not taking any, she's not taking any uh, responsibility for it. She's just trying to blame him. No, like she's not taking any accountability for it. And as far as Paul goes, I mean, yeah, he was probably, you know, abused just like Timothy. Maybe not as severe, but he had a choice in the matter. He knew right from wrong. Otherwise, he would not have sent the picture of Timothy to his mother and said he's too skinny. He knew right from wrong. 
yeah, whether it yeah, was fear of her or whatever. That's a good point. Yeah, that is true. You know, that's a good he's point. still accountable for it. That's now, what funny. you were saying earlier, I had a friend, and her and her husband had a couple kids, and CPS got called, and they were made to split up and split homes because one of them was basically the cause. And the other one had to fight to get the kids back to prove that he could protect them from her. Yeah. Okay. So that may be that. why. Yes. Definitely. They were separated. They both had charges at first. But then he worked the program and jumped through all their little legal hoops that you got to do. And got the kids back. My question is, what was this poor child doing that was so wrong that he couldn't handle him and had to turn him over to her. And I hope he blames himself for the rest of his daggum life. Yeah. I mean, but do you think that he could be charged with something considering she wasn't supposed to have him, right? So the fact that he let her have him, I mean, he could play dumb and play like... And he maybe could he was dumb. be charged with neglect, I would think. Um, possibly even abandonment if he didn't check on him while he was there, but... I think that that would be a pretty hard case to make. No, I mean, from let, like Eric, I'm talking about Eric letting, giving them to, well, Paul was an adult, I think, by the time he went there, but giving Timothy, giving Timothy, uh, giving her Timothy when legally she wasn't allowed to have him. So can he get, I mean, I think he could get charged with something like that. I don't know if they're, I mean, going I would to. think that he'd be able to get charged with neglect or abandonment. Or oh, something so you I think would that for that. Okay. Surely there's a legal loophole in there somewhere they can charge him. Whether or not do. they choose to do so will be another story. Yeah, I know. I wonder if so. It makes me wonder if so. Um, if they if they will. Uh, but those pictures you were going through earlier that had all the family, you know, that one where Timothy was in the blue striped shirt, they all look really thin. Except for the adults who obviously don't. Yeah. So, you know, was he thin? Because I don't know that we've seen a picture of him right when he got there. Was he already thin or? No, we have that. Well, that one that's on his TikTok, it, it, it looks like that was probably a couple months if he did post it around the time he got there it would have been like shortly after he got there no i don't i think he's thicker than paul i think he looks not thin at all like i mean he's not fat okay but so that tiktok is right around the time that they got him i think if it's if it's close to the time that he posted the tiktok it was like a couple months i think it was a couple months after he would have got there yeah okay so think... see he wasn't so super thin then so yeah, that no, answers that question. Not at all. So, um, but I think she was super fake throughout the trial. I don't think she was sick. I think that she got some kind of demented pleasure, her and Paul both, from tormenting and torturing that child. No, I agree. I agree. It's sick. She's uh, she's sick. Hold on, somebody else joined. You know, there's a lot of people oh, that somebody would have else gladly is... taken that child Possibly. rather than her killing him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, I think they should have kept him. Well, I know she said she couldn't afford it. But here's the thing. She could have got help, but I know she wasn't legally supposed to have him then. But then she shouldn't have done it because she could have got, like, help to cover his, you know, his medicines if he had to. You know what I'm saying? She could have got you know, got... Yeah. Don't you think? Well, you know something I thought of? It's like, okay, she said that she couldn't put him in school because she didn't have the paperwork and everything to do so. Well, when my son came to live with me, because his dad had him and then he came and started living with me, I had to show all that. But I got contacted by the other school going, okay, well, where do we send the transcript? So where is the school that he was going to? Why aren't they asking, hey, where are we sending transcripts? Did you not enroll this child in school? You know, and if well, CPS was it could in be because your life. 
Yeah, but if she wasn't legally supposed to have them, like maybe that's another that's reason. That's what I'm like, saying. If CPS the, yeah. was in their life, who the hell was supposed to be checking on this child to begin with? But Where were they? The they obviously it's, it's, weren't putting eyes on him. Hey, boss baby. The thing oh, is, you're gonna have a good group. the thing Go ahead, is, welcome. now because the father is the legal, the legal guardian, and he chose to give, he chose to give the mother. Hey, Anthony. He chose, he chose hey. to. Give, Thanks for coming. He, he, he chose to give the child to the mother. He he decided he he gave the mother the legal authority to take over the child. Yeah, but he legally, yeah, he, he wasn't supposed yes to. Yes, and no, boss, maybe because he didn't give her the legal paperwork to do so, so she could not take the child to a doctor or get him enrolled in school. Yeah, yeah which is hard. Which is hard. He should have took them to. He he should have went to court and they like, did it the legal way and said, "Look, I can't take care of this child. This child is too much." Yeah, and the you know that's uh, that's the way he should have done it. I don't know if he thought, if he knew, like, it was illegal. Like, wonder if she's like, no, I'm allowed to have him. Like, wonder if he was aware. Because I, I can't say for sure that he was aware that she wasn't allowed, maybe. I mean. If CPS you know, was in their life, and that's why they had the kids taken, CPS will make a safety plan. And it will say they're allowed to have contact or not have contact with so-and-so. So. Oh, I see. If I'm CPS trying to find was in their life, they would have said no contact with her. Anthony, what do you have you been? You don't, do you know this case at all? <laughs> I know I know about as much as what I've heard from you tonight. <laughs> and that actually tonight I didn't say much about because we were going through just like random stuff. It's about about their lives, but yeah, you wouldn't have learned much about the case tonight, huh? Shoot. Well, well, where, well, is this? Where, yeah. where is this? It's in um Michigan. Michigan. Okay. Yeah. So then you have so to blame she, CPS if they. If they if the social worker from CPS wasn't really doing the job, then you have to blame them as well. I guess they should have been checking, right? They, you think they should have been checking to see where they I were? I think there's but... a lot of people to blame. This poor child fell through the cracks. You know, CPS took him away from mom, put him with dad. Dad put him back with mom. Mom and brother starved him to death. I mean, who? where's the school system? Where's CPS? <laughs> where are the people that are supposed to be making sure that that child was that. safe? I just noticed looking at this background. You have the Zav girl background. I don't have my green screen anymore. I do have it, yeah, but I haven't been using it. It's standing up. So this is just my little cubicle thing that I have for, it was for soundproof. Oh, that's I, real. I thought that was a green screen. No, it's look, you could see my bed over there. Well, hold on. It's you can see your bed. My, yeah. I can't even move. Yeah. My bed. Cause this is up against my bed. Oh, okay. You can't I even tell. I got it for soundproof because my grandma's room used to be up here and I would be up late doing lives and stuff. And I, it, there's soundproof walls. They cost me like over 400 bucks. They're like these velvet real thick. I don't know how good they work, but they're like, <laughs> and I have one back here. So yeah, it's just these little walls that are against my, <laughs> and then I have a green screen that pulls up, but I have it over, I have it standing up over here. Well, I, I did this because I wanted Zeke to be able to see me and I was hoping he would stay, you know, when I have him, but it's not working <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so Anthony, it, this is like one of the most disturbing cases that I've, I've looked up since Leti I mean, Letitia was another one. This reminds me of like how much hate I have for the mother is how much I hate I had for her, but like she would. Uh, yeah cold ice baths give him hot sauce she starved him she would make him he couldn't get comfortable because he couldn't sleep so she'd make him stay awake for days he'd have to put his hands up he'd have to do those wall sits for so long have you ever done those where you sit against the wall with your like yeah. in your legs you have to hold his hands above they would they would zip tie his arms they would no bed to sleep on he slept in a closet handcuffed him um this case is even worse than boy in the box now this is their oh, kid yeah. It's her son, yes. Her son. It's the and they mom's were... son, and Paul is the brother. And mom was telling Paul when she wasn't home what to do as far as how many pieces of bread he could have, how much hot sauce he, she had to get. He had to give him. Paul is the brother. Shonda is the mother. Okay. Gotcha. He would have been in adult diapers because he had to ask to go to the bathroom. He got a minute to go pee and two minutes to go poop, and he'd have to ask. 
but like a lot of times he would just go you know they, they end up putting like these adult diapers on him so he you um, know two minutes ago poop is not need enough i need at least five you know. minutes to take a shit <laughs> yeah a lot of people would need way more even like what got me is when the on. mom said something about putting hot sauce on his privates it's like come on yeah. now that's she asked you know, the son, she goes, Paul, what I mean, everything she did was out of control, but that one was just sadistic. Yeah. So yeah. do you see four, I'm assuming they're, they're like, arrested and yeah, convicted? they're arrested. They're arrested. Yeah, they've she been just got, arrested. Their Paul trial was just was last up. week. That's why, yeah, she it got is. convicted. Yeah, on uh, all counts. His trial still has to happen. He hasn't. He did a plea so, where he didn't take the homicide charge but he got the ca charges um for for him to like testify against his mother and stuff but yeah she got convicted her her sentencing is not going to be till the end of january though and then i don't know when paul's trial i don't know if he's gonna have to go to a trial they're still kind of working out i think he's still gonna go to trial but he only has the ca well charge, remember so. the prosecutor said that if he pleads guilty and doesn't go to trial that is what keeps him from that murder charge oh is he has to plead guilty to the ca I missed that oh okay so he, he probably will charge i bet he'll take the deal then right yeah he's already took the deal it's just not final yet now her oh, i don't know be a her, whether it'll be the okay. judge or the jury so i got a question so this is a plea agreement between him and the prosecutor and it the, the agreement is plead guilty to the to the the child charges but if you do that, you avoid murder, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Who wouldn't take that deal? Even if he wasn't guilty, who wouldn't? I mean, that's... Well, if he thought and it I think, trial, if I remember well, correctly, that in trial. the it's max a, a for chance. the CA charge is like 10 years. Oh, mm -hmm. then the he definitely beat. should take that. Yeah, okay. I'd take that because he wouldn't serve all the 10. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He probably will. He'll do eight and a half. Eight and a half, yeah, eighty-five percent. So yeah, he'll probably take that. So dang, I don't know. I mean, he that he's he got lucky on that then, because I mean, he really was doing the same thing. But I know it was his mother telling him, but he was there when she was at work, forty out, probably over forty hours a week. She he spent most of the time with him because you know what I'm saying. So he was the one that was with him most of the time. But you know, he, they have the text messages. His mom's like telling him what to do and stuff. So. But, I mean, he was an adult. He was already over now, 18. Now, Greeno, on top of that, on top of all that, mom worked at the courthouse yes. for the judge. She was the, she's, she actually passed the bar. What is it? Magna cum laude or whatever. Second in her class, she passed with a 180-something. This boy yeah, was 15 high. years old, 5 foot 8, and weighed 69 pounds at the time of his death. Oh. What is your name? Wait. Sorry. Are sorry, you sorry, on sorry. mute? Oh. Yeah, I was on mute for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because I mute it because I'm eating ice cream and apple. Oh, cream. oh okay. <laughs> At five oh. eight, you're supposed to weigh between one fifty to about one ninety ish. Yeah, and he weighed sixty nine. How old? Sixty nine pounds. 15 he weighed 69 pounds and he was 5'8 can you imagine how little how oh, god yeah that's really little so how did um, nobody know this was going on here um she didn't let anybody that's see what him we're talking about she well, kept him hidden. i mean how come the okay here's my first thought since i don't know anything about it this is my first thought when i start coming to this okay is you got a 15 year old kid who i would assume was in school wouldn't the school homeschooled yeah no okay, he wasn't in school you gotta, you gotta because dad had custody and gave it to mom okay mom and dad were married cps okay. come in and said you guys can't have the kids dad retained custody later on of the boy of timothy he then okay. turned timothy over to her but didn't give her the paperwork to enroll him in school or get any medical care for him and how long was that before all this, before he died? Well, he lived with his mom a year and two months. Supposedly, they the abuse started like five months he was going through it because it was after her husband had a stroke and got and was out of the house. So as far as what the prosecutor could said, that he could only show the proof that in February 2022 is when the abuse started by the text um, because Adam 
the uh, her husband was out of the house. So supposedly, I don't think it happened like that when he was in it, at least not to that extreme with him. So, but I don't know. So a year and two months he lived with her and five months was the real harsh abuse. I don't know how, how it was before. But a that, year, so. year still, a yeah. year of a kid not even going to school. Someone should have been calling the police way after before. They're like, okay, you got to get him enrolled in school somehow. If you're going to homeschool him, you still got to meet with school board. And it's they true. give you curriculum to give them. You know what I mean? Like you have to. Because I that's what I was daughter. saying a while ago. Where yeah, is you the school in all people. this? Because they have to do it. And they will show up at your house and and check. Like I homeschooled my daughter for a year. Okay, and she they they came to the house and would like okay, this is what we're doing. Um, we have this up here. You're gonna need to go over it with like this, 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 and meet with you. So like, and so the first time. They called. I didn't know who it was, so I didn't answer the phone. They showed up, okay, like to check. Like, okay, we just wanted to check in with you. We tried to give you a phone call, but we didn't get through. So whoever was in charge of all this and that school and stuff like that should have been on the ball about like, okay, it's been a year. Uh, can we at least see the kid? You know what I mean? Like it's been a month. You haven't got him enrolled. That's when I think the police and CPS should have been showing up saying, um, we need to take a look here. Why did that not happen? I don't well, know. That's, that's what true. I was Sometimes saying, you know. It falls through the... No neighbors? It doesn't make any sense because you have to prove that the child's in school somehow. Yeah. And that they're okay if someone... If, it's lost. I mean, I would be concerned if I didn't see a kid to show up. If I knew... I mean, do they live in the country? Or are they no, in a, no, like they a town? Neighbor. No, I mean, they... I mean, they had neighbors on each side of them. No, I don't think it, what would it be considered? I'm not even sure what it's considered, but I don't think it's like. I would consider um, it uh, like sub the suburbs, but yeah. I wouldn't say city or country kind of yeah. in the middle is yeah. what I would have called Still it. Still got some houses around you. I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean, they had neighbors. Well, she wouldn't let him out. Supposedly, I mean, by her words, she said that, oh, she let him out back and the neighbors could see they had these big windows. But by the other side, we're saying like, no, she, nobody was able to see him. Like she kept him hidden from everybody. She would have him out back to do like punishments, but they they made it seem like the, the neighbors wouldn't have be, been able to see him, right? Somehow they were... That's the way I took it when yeah. he I mean, was on the like, stand, no, that he was in the backyard, but not being able to be seen yeah. because of the condition he was in. And he would only be out there for punishments. Yeah. That's was the only time the boy got to see outside is when he was being punished. Was he chained up or something inside? Is that why he couldn't leave? Yeah. Yeah. They he was he chained up. Zip on the oh, doors. I don't, well, wait a minute. I don't know Zip ties, what the hand shackled. can up him to. But I don't know what they. So he was, he was to, but, confined with a chain or some sort but, of something. But. Yeah, and there was always somebody there making them do stuff. Like, Paul was mostly the one uh, there she, when she was at work. She had and, cameras uh, trained cameras on Cameras and alarms. And he was in His shackles motion. and zip yeah. ties. Dude, anytime he would move. Or and he like had when he this was motion at nighttime, sensor connected to him. Yeah, if he would move and if his face would not be facing the camera while he overnight... She would come and make him like move, or if he moved his arm, or they they put him in ice baths and he couldn't get comfortable. So they would put him in positions where he wouldn't be able to rest or get comfortable in like these odd positions. It's like, oh my god, this poor guy. Yeah, they had locks on all the fridges in the freezer, on the I, fridge I, and freezer. I, 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 like I've taken ice baths when I'm injured. Yeah, like, you can do it when you're injured, like to make yourself feel comfortable. Yeah, but, but I'm sure do. you have weight on you. You have fat. Yeah. That poor boy. Yeah, I'm had like 200, I'm 225 pounds. And let me clarify the hot sauce was more than hot sauce. It was one of those, um, the hot sauce. It wasn't like a hot sauce you get in the it store. Was it was that like death one hot of those sauce intense... that's got like ghost peppers and shit in it. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and they make them eat it on that, bread. like eight times, <laughs> like the spicy chip challenge, only in a hot sauce. Ooh. Yeah, would, it was would, not just would, regular, it was bad. I would pull up just from regular Why hot sauce. Why would people do yeah, that? Yeah, we're not talking not, the Frank's Red know. hot sauce. We're know. talking it like, does that have acid reflux? Burn your asshole for the sauce. next week hot sauce. What was the city that, because I want to look up the records real quick. What was the city that, um, the, what city does the dad live in? I want to see if I could find the marriage records. 
I can't remember. It's Florida, but what city is? It? I can look from his background search. I did actually. What Hold city? On. Florida. Yeah. Someone so I went here a little bit ago. Someone just said it. Oh, okay. In the chat somewhere. I just okay. saw it. I don't know. But I, I might be able to just get it from his background search. I did. Hold on one second. Um. Jacksonville. I think it might. Hold on. I got it up here right now. I think you might be right though. Is that what they said? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right, so let me look up. But he had to eat like a piece of bread that was loaded with this hot sauce. And if he did that without showing any signs of not wanting to do it or arguing and actually did it and was, as they quote, good boy, then he got a piece of bread that didn't have hot sauce on it. And he had 10 minutes to eat it. That's bad. God, it's horrible. Man, you know what? I don't then know. That's crazy. The boy died. They waited 18 minutes before they called 911. They're probably trying to figure out what to do or to say. What'd they say to him when they got there? That he just died? Yeah, he went on a hunger strike. That he went on a hunger strike. For that long? Yeah. People don't. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, hard he to went on that. a hunger strike yeah. and, and refused to sleep for days on end. Yeah, okay. That's plausible. why didn't you take him to the not. hospital then? You know what I mean? Her excuse well, the for not taking him to the doctor to or hospital today, is because she right. didn't have the paperwork from the husband to do so. I was gonna take more excuses today. because you could take anybody mm -hmm. to an ER and they have to see you, insurance, parental rights or not, they have to treat you. Yeah, if you're injured of some sort, or, or if you just claim to be injured, they gotta they gotta at least take a look. Um that's crazy, man. They'll you know what they're they going to do to in prison. Oh, yeah. She said it would torture her. You know what I mean? Because they don't like people with... And I'm torn on how she's going to be treated in prison because she's got the law degree. So she can she's help them to, you know, get oh, food on, and dude. stuff. But also, they don't like child killers, and that's what she is. So, you know... I think she may get whooped a little, but I think that eventually it's in the long yeah. run she'll be... She'll be one. Okay. She'll, she'll be one of the care. jailhouse and lawyers. She's going to have it good. Yeah, she'll get whatever because people will trade her for her advice because she was really smart. Like she knew the, I mean, scored really good. So yeah, she's going to do good. They're going to, she's going to have, gonna have food. She's going to have protection. It's, that it makes me sick though. I wish not because of what she did. Just like, just like Alec Myrtle. Like I said before, yeah, they yeah. need to do to her what she did to Timothy. I think that would be they the perfect know. punishment. Yeah. Eye for an eye. Dang right. Huh. I'm trying to look up. We should have a position like that in life. You know what I mean? How we have like the chief of police, sheriff, governors, and stuff like that, right? Presidents. We should have like idiot police. Just some big dude or some some buck chick that sits in a room. And when you fuck up or you screw up, <laughs> you go in that room and that person just smacks you around a little bit. Bow, what yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That would be so awesome, man. The idiot police just go in there and whoop someone's ass yeah. for it. Oh, I wish. I'd love it. I think we, well, we think about just need to bring back country. public hangings and public executions and just get rid of these idiots because she said on one of those Facebook things that you played or you were talking about, you said, Zav, that how is it you should be tested before some, before an animal or something like that? Something about being tested, and I said she needs to be tested before she had kids because she did not have the ability to take care of a child. Yes. Um, and I Paul sitting there posting all those videos of him eating and all this other stuff while his brother was downstairs starving to death was ridiculous. Oh yeah, all his most of his posts were about food. Like, you gotta be kidding! But he looks skinny himself. I know he does. I think he, he does. Maybe he's just. It know, looks like he was eating, but he's just maybe yeah. he's got a high metabolism. I don't know. I think. That's what or I'm maybe thinking. he's recovering. Maybe he was the first victim and he's doing it to Timothy. So uh, she doesn't do it to him anymore. But it still doesn't make it right. Or maybe yeah. she's only feeding him one meal a day. That's yeah, that's true. You know but what, what dude? about when I she's at work? I'd be fighting back. I mean, 
Uh, how do you let how do you let that start, I guess, in the first place? Even though he's young, there comes a point, man, that you know, if someone is treating me like crap, I'm gonna at least say something he's back. Seen, technically, he could leave. Yeah, he could. Well, and the brother could him. leave. Paul yeah, could, but the 15-year-old, uh, there was no way for him to even take a deep breath without her wanting him punished. Punished. But Paul, Paul could take his brother with him. Let me see a picture of this girl. Okay, yeah. One second. I mean, I'm having trouble finding the marriage. How old are these people? Um, Isn't Paul, she like Wait, well, how old was Paul when she was... They're in her she 30s? The 40s. She's in her 40s. Oh, oh 40s. Yeah, she's in her 40s. Um, Paul, the brother, is 19, I think. So Paul was in on it, too? It yeah. Whenever yeah, Shonda, much. the mother, would be at work at the courthouse, she would watch the camera feeds because it was like a ring doorbell camera focused on the boy. And she would be looking at that, and she would text Paul, who is her son, her oldest son, and say, oh, he moved. Go give him another ice bath. Or he looks too comfortable. Or, hey, he's asleep. Or go give him more hot sauce. Put hot sauce on his private area. It, it was a constant text back and forth. And then when he would go to work, I think, at Applebee's as a dishwasher, then she would take over the care. The day he died, they said during the trial that they left him in an ice bath Something like nine hours. Yeah. In this ice right. bath. Yeah. So I don't I just brought up the Dang, court. So this man. is Paul. And then um let's see if that's oh, Paul, the brother there, the one yeah. that is being charged with CA instead of murder. And then, he's got a long um, neck. This is her. Somebody else said that the other day too. <laughs> that's the mother there. It's the first thing I noticed was his neck. I never know. I actually noticed that. Damn, dude. <laughs> Over like, uh, Over like three foot. Oh, my God. Is it in like Africa or something? They put them rings around that, their neck so that it yeah. extends. Well, clearly his neck makes up for her no neck. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's her. And then, um. Does she have any? <laughs> Where's Paul? Oh, this is Paul's. Yeah, so he does. Uh, so the day before he gets arrested, in about a week, let me see, when is it? Like late January 6th. So this is about a, yeah, about six days after he died, Timothy dies, and a day before he gets arrested, his mom's already arrested because his mom gets arrested, I think, the day after Timothy dies. He does this uh, Facebook watch. So he has no idea. He thinks he's Scott. Well, he's off. He doesn't think he's about to be arrested tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're not going to get away with it. Here, let me see. Why is it not? I don't like you, Zava. I cannot get over those dirty what ass long fingernails. Hold on a second. It's disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, probably, I probably need to cut him. Sorry. Not you, No, Greeno. not you. <laughs> well, he's got like uh, the oak uh, fingernails. Uh, like they're like, I don't know. There's something. Why is it? my volume working though do you guys it was this? it was working uh, no oh, it, um, I down at the right it, you hear it it's going oh yeah. it is working okay just says that live okay yeah i got it i got it uh hey everybody i uh, just figured i'd send a quick check for y'all but um we're doing good right now we I just dozed off on the couch unintentionally and I forgot to give a quick check for today but um yeah oh when I can't actually get in contact with you guys I'll probably post a quick check like this for those of you who aren't aware um my little brother has passed away and my mother is currently in the custody of well i don't i'm not sure if it's, it's i don't know it's a lot to deal with but right now we're doing good we're we're fine but if i can't actually like 
to Facebook you guys like with live because I don't have my phone and I don't know how to access my stepfathers. I'll post a quick check to let you guys know everything that's going on. If you have any questions or anything, you just comment them down below and I'll see if I can answer them in the next uh, quick check. Just keep supporting and pray that the two of us get through this. Okay. Yeah. Sav, how long after his death did you say this That's, was? That's the next know. day, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Is Zav, no, this is six it. days. I know six days after his death, but this is the day before he gets arrested. Is what I'm saying because he gets arrested now the next day after this. But he doesn't think he has no idea. He thinks he's going to get off. But no, this is six days after the death. He didn't. Um, no, I was saying there. she they got asked arrested. Him. I think the day after. What's that? They asked him when he was on the stand, did he love his brother? And he said, not as much as I should have. He doesn't yeah. seem like he's all there. Yeah, I don't think he is. I time. think I mean, he's autistic because he acts and looks a lot like my autistic son. He's but my autistic something son not isn't a sadistic monster either. Do you think that he's, he's influenced by the mom? I mean, do you think that it's yeah. like that's what the way he's been like brainwashed maybe, like this maybe. is this is what you do you're my kid what and you do what i say about, yeah and i say you hurt him and if you don't i hurt you period you know so do it and then that's just the way he thinks life is yeah he, he i think ADHD. to a degree yeah i think to a degree. I, I agree with that because i think he was the first one and it was either hurt brother yeah. or get hurt <laughs> yourself i think so too i could see um Granted, he he played a role in it, it sounds like, but I could see that that if I was a judge and that is the situation, if that was and that was proven, I would have some some sympathy for him for that. I mean, I would I would be like, OK, yeah, the dude did some stuff, but I don't think he even understands what's going on, because that's the way you're brought up. You know, if you have an animal in, a, in a, an area for its whole life, you know, and then all of a sudden you. That they actually did that experiment with monkeys. They had these monkeys inside of an enclosure their whole life for almost 30 years. And then they opened the door and they like did not know what to do. You know, they had no clear like, whoa, dude, like I'm not going out there. Like because they knew nothing of it. And Same see, I could have sympathy for monkeys. the brother. Oh. Except for yeah. it was like a day or two before the boy's death. He took a picture of Timothy, sent it to his mother and said, I'm worried about him. He's too thin. And the mother's response was, give him hot sauce. And he did. Uh, and then so, I, think I mean, I can have some it. sympathy because I think he was abused too. But at, at the same time, him sending that text message, he knew right from wrong. He worked it outside of the home. So there was times that he could, he had a self he could have called somebody for help and he chose not to yeah no he could have and he could have fed him like he gave, he snuck him one meal throughout this whole time he said he snuck him one time he was um, probably scared oh, yeah no you're probably i mean right. if you know if someone's gonna whoop you or hurt you yeah. if they get caught and it you don't want to risk i mean i could see that i could he's a prisoner too is what it sounds like in a way that's what I've been trying to figure out going through all this. Like, how much should he be, like, how much should he be uh, accountable for? It? And I'm trying to figure it out. Part. Like, well, to, 10 years. I that's see where yeah, I'm stuck yeah. too, because I feel foreign, but at the same time. Well, you know, he's going to he get did, 10 years. So. Oh, yeah. Anthony, if you, I, were I'm you talking about Timothy how much fighting sympathy back? And where it ends. Because no, we forgot um, to tell you, Timothy was autistic. The, the one that died, he was autistic and probably had some other issues because she said when he ke got to her house to live, he had a bag full of medicine. This is another issue, a bag full of medicine that she just took him off of. So he's probably withdrawing, like, I mean, mentally from like having a bunch of medicine and all of a sudden having no medicine because she couldn't gotcha. afford it. 
So, I mean, that on top of it, some kind of abuse, like taking him off medicine like that. Like, he, they shouldn't have can done you imagine that. how he was feeling? And you know, what they didn't charge her with is medical neglect. And I'm surprised that they didn't because you cannot legally take a yeah. child off medicine that they've been on for so long. Cold turkey, that is child neglect. And, you know, medical neglect. I don't understand yeah. why they didn't charge her with that. I mean, yeah, they got her for murder and keeping him confined and all that. But me personally, I would have put every single charge I could stack on there. Murder's going to do it all, though. Yeah, I mean, because she's, you know what I'm saying? She's going to It's hard to go through. Forever. The, re look, the reason they don't do that sometimes is because of these reasons. Because now they have to prove each one of those elements beyond a reasonable doubt. And that can be confusing to a jury because... For example, if I think, well, she's probably not guilty on that subject, what they're talking about there, but she's probably committed the rest of the crimes, technically your verdict would be not guilty, right? Because you would say, well, you know, she's not guilty of all those crimes, so I'm going to say no, not guilty on these, these ones and these ones. Instead of having to prove all those elements and, and confuse anybody and make them think like she's not guilty of these, 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 because that's what a defense attorney will do sometimes is try to make them, yeah, they may be guilty of the big charge, but... Be like, look, they're not guilty of these charges right here and prove that they're not guilty of the smaller ones to the jury. And then that could influence the final decision. If they think they can prove murder, which it sounds like it, I would stick. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, the jury and, convicted and actually, her on all charges and there was quite a few charges. I mean, there was murder. Um, CA charges. But look, actually, yeah. that's a good point. She's in neglect falls under the will. abuse charges. So that would... I mean, that makes sense. You guys, I'm going to go get some coffee. Is anybody going to come up on panel soon where I could add you before Ashley I go? wanted to. Ashley wanted to. She's in a chat. But Do you need you, me to she's get not off? backstage. So she can no, get on? No, no. We could, we could fit 10 people at a time, but oh, I'm going to be a minute. Okay. Oh, I won't be that long. I just want to grab Cause a coffee. Because right, so, right now, right now, the Supreme Court is listening to a double, a, double, <laughs> a, double, a, double, a double jeopardy case that's falling out, that's coming up. That just came up on split what? verdicts. What is it? It's another case. It's a case that I was listening to. Um, wow. Basically, a guy was convicted, and it, there was a split verdict. And um, and it was. I don't remember. I will have to look it up again. Oh, okay. Oh, and basically, okay. And basically, the question is: Can a jury come up with a compromise on a split verdict? And basically, uh, okay. one oh, person, one person was the person was convicted on basically saying that the person was insane and not insane at the same time. Oh, okay. Hold on. You have to tell me so, the name of that case. So basically, know. it's confusing. So basically, it's confusing, and it's basically saying, "I'm gonna look it up and I'll tell you about it right now." And like when yeah. you come back. Okay. Hey, Tammy. Hey there. How are you? Thanks for coming up. So you didn't know that you could just come up without a, a, a video. Yeah, I had no idea. Oh. I had asked in the chat, but I've never done that before. So I was like, I'm not camera ready. Well, you can't, you I don't see the other people? Comment. You, don't, yeah. you don't see well, the other no. people on here? Before that, I Anthony, that's like, why oh, she came up. Camera. Before that, I asked her because she's been, she's on this case. So I was like, you gotcha. should come up. And then she's like, I should have caught that comment about camera ready. I just thought you meant in general everything. <laughs> but most people don't actually be on camera. Most people just do audio when you, uh, when I do open panels. Now, Anthony, since you have a channel, and me and you are always usually on camera. But even there's a lot of people that have channels that, that don't even get on camera that much, really. I'm, yeah, I'm always camera ready. I got to be. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I it's more channel. engaging. It's not popular, but I have one, but I still ain't getting on camera. Why not? You yeah. know what? I have found these AI things that will just take a take a picture of you and actually make it move. That's and I just did it. I did it. I sent it to you the other day. No, I saw that. That's just crazy. Isn't but it weird? I feel. But the thing is, is though, but you could tell it's not you though. But it, it is, is cool. Me. But it is me. But I think. Well, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. People you that don't tell. know you probably might not be able to tell. I don't know. Do you think if somebody didn't know you and then that's all that they saw, do you think they'd be able to tell? Probably. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think they would know. Okay. Yeah, yeah I probably. think yeah, I would know. When I, when I look at it, I can tell because it's like I move like a robot. The okay, way it links. Yeah. So it's do like, you think? Hi. 
But do you think that then? I'm trying to think. You can't do like a whole live stream like that, could you? Though, yes. How would you? Yes. But how? Let me show you. Yeah. What do you mean? You can. Sure. Go. Ahead. Well, go so, ahead and. What are you showing me right now? Go ahead. I, what? I can. I mean, I was. What just do you going, mean, show me? I don't understand what you mean by that. I can though. show you a clip of it. I made a couple clips of of me of thing, that thing, and you can make a live stream out of it. You can literally. But you make can't a, be live, and you can't interact live, though, right? No, no, okay. you can't do that. You can't. So do it'd just that. be pre-recorded. Yeah. No, I believe. So how long can you do one though? Um, as long as you want, but so you have to pay for it. So I put one up for you. So there's multiple kinds. You can take any picture of you. I just took a, a selfie of me real quick and just threw it into this program. But you can actually use your own voice by just recording yourself and then uploading the voice to it and it'll automatically do it. Or you can type text and it you can pick a voice. So like I could pick a chick's voice, an English oh, dude, a Spanish, funny. whatever, and it'll do it. But I took this picture and then I took another one uh, of an AI picture of myself and tried them both to see what they look like. Check out this one first. Okay. On YouTube, Facebook, X, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or wherever the hell you're watching from, I'm Anthony Greeno. Well, I'm the AI version of Anthony Greeno. Can you tell I'm, that's not me? You can tell, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I could tell. But Unless I just act like that all the time. Yeah. I could, I could just like act like that. <laughs> here, I'm going to if... This is the better one here. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, then hit that like button, share it on social media, subscribe for updates, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of the action. What do you think about that? That's more realistic. Yeah. You can do a whole but live stream, but you have to pay for it. So 15 seconds is a credit. I paid... Uh... $30 and got 60 credits. So you only got. I got about 53 six. left. Wow. Man. Huh. I think it's cool for like an intro or something, but not oh, to yeah. watch all the time. That's what I was no. saying an intro or an exit, but I wouldn't do a whole live stream. That would cost too that much. Oh my gosh. It would cost oh, so much. I'm just using yeah. it for commercials and outros and intros. Like, thanks for watching. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I could see that. I. What, well, you can what? do anything. You make a cartoon out of it. You can take a picture of you, make a cartoon in Canva, and then throw it in that, and you can have a whole TV show if you had enough money. <laughs> yeah, if you were, yeah, that's true. Some people would have enough money to just like make hours of it. You had a, um, a many, a many, a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Zab, you better go get. I am going to go get coffee, but Tammy. I want to hear what you think about the case. <laughs> I know you, we've been in chat, but you. Yeah, you I'm just, I, I'm completely, I, I almost, when it first started, I was just dumbfounded when I, I just caught it like right after she had had her first panic attack and I just happened to catch it. I live in Michigan and on the other side of the state and I it was on court TV and I was like, what in the world is this? So I'm, I told my girlfriend in Florida, I'm like, oh my God, you got to tune into this. And I said, but I seriously don't know if I'm going to be able to listen to it because it was just so horrific and something just different. I mean, it was just the craziest, horrible thing I've ever heard. And the, something about those pizza rolls that she did with, it just haunts me. And that's just wrong. Yeah, I mean, it was just like to try and explain to someone, but when you listen to the whole story yeah. and then they get to the pizza rolls, I'm just like, are you kidding me? Okay, Anthony, to fill you in on the pizza roll thing, what she would do is she would have Paul go get a pizza roll if Timothy wasn't responding to him, put it in front of his face and in front of it, you know, like under his nose and see if he responded and then take it away from him. Wouldn't let him have it, but would like tease him with it. And the day that they left him in the bathtub in the ice bath for like nine hours or plus, she said, since he wasn't responsive, that Paul, the son, could give Timothy, the 15-year-old, the one that passed away, 
two pizza rolls, but not to cook them. They had to be frozen. That's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Right. They should, they should do that to her every time they feed her, give her frozen food in, in prison. Put, put yeah. her tray in her room and then take it away real quick and don't let her eat. Give her a piece of bread. Yeah. Well, hot, so- well, hot sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's the right hot sauce at that. And after everything he had been through, to hear her then get to that level where he's just like wanting something so bad and then to be that close, I just was like, oh my God. I don't know. That was the torture part of it. Oh, terrible. I mean, I can't imagine somebody putting food, starving me. And then putting food in front of my face and taking it away from me and laughing about it, no. you know, and acting like it's funny. I Horrible. I, I don't know. My heart just, it's sickening. And her panic attack was so fake. And I, mm-hmm. I was a medic for eight years. That was the fakest panic attack I've ever seen. Yeah. And yeah. the throwing up, I immediately was like, that is total fake. And if anything... Oh, yeah. She gave herself away because they had already talked about how she told Paul to stick his fingers down his throat to make him throw up since he ate part of a little crust of her leftover hamburger. So it basically told everybody who was watching that they knew that, you know, the thought in her mind is to put your hands down your throat to choke and she bent over no one could tell you know she, if she did throw up she was yeah. shoving her fingers down her throat i don't think she really she, threw up though yeah i, I just wonder, and, you know, I mean, like I only... the prosecutor said she had already seen those pictures it wasn't yeah. like it was the first time she'd seen the pictures and all i wanted to do and i was yelling at my computer i'm like of course she didn't need to see the picture she watched it in real life and got satisfaction right. out of it yeah, there was no way that the if she was going to throw up, then it. she would have been throwing up while she was doing it to him, not why she's sitting on the stand. That's that was pure yeah. wanting sympathy. Yeah, it was. And horrible. she's trying to play the victim, and she's trying to blame everybody else except for herself for her, her bad actions and the way she treated that poor child. But do you think that I think we were my girlfriend and I in Florida were talking about? Um, I think she really did lose her something happened when he died that triggered her to turn into like yeah i think it was her loss of control of everything because her world turned upside down and that that that's maybe where she took everything out on to timothy or something i mean well i kind of wondered that similar to what you're saying i almost wonder if she doesn't blame timothy somehow for whatever sick reasons in her head and um, that's not that because died. like you were saying it didn't start until then so does she somehow blame him and that's why yeah not that there's any excuse but right right we're trying to make sense out of nonsense and it just doesn't work yeah yeah it's true but yeah i just keep wondering and i paul is just uh... I he seems like so childish in all those videos that I definitely think all he wanted was his mom's approval <laughs> and he was doing anything he could mama to love him and yeah she treated the G with you know kid gloves because it was the mom's like pride and joy and so he treated him so well and then if mama doesn't like Timothy then he doesn't like Timothy Mm-hmm. because that's how he'll get her love and also i feel like she maybe she did something with paul where she turned she he took on um adam's role of the house like because adam wasn't there so now paul was it seems you know, like out he working did at, mm-hmm, out working at applebee's and yep. and making some money and the way she talked to him she how about, she said, please, about four million times in her text, please, will you do this? Please, will you do that? Please, will you, like, who says please when you're telling, could you go abuse this? Please go torture brother? your brother. Yeah, please. Please, please, could you do that? That makes yes, it all better. I said, please. Yeah. I was like, who says please? What's this please? Who, who texts please? Like, 
you're really going to type out, please go do this. Please, please. Oh, thank you. I'm like, what? That's the weirdest thing. Like, yeah. I, who's polite in text messaging? <laughs> but did she not, you know, there's things you don't want to put in writing, you know, like when you're planning, <laughs> I don't know, a murder. <laughs> right. You know, it's like, yeah. why, why were you texting all this? Like, you knew. It that it wrong. wasn't going to end well for him. You had to have known that. She couldn't have thought that she was going to have this boy survive on bread and hot sauce and torture him and no sleep. You will die faster with no sleep than you will without food and water. So she she had to know that it wasn't going to end well. You would think, I mean, I feel like she would know, but I also feel like she didn't want him to die. She wanted to keep torturing him. Like, I feel she like. She got pleasure out of it. Yeah, I feel like she was, she really didn't want him to be, to die. Like, I don't think that was her goal. I think she would have liked this, this to have gone on as long as possible, which is horrific and horrible. And I'm, you know, Timothy's at peace, at least. I mean, it's horrible to think, but I can't even imagine him going on any longer with that type of treatment. No, so, I just, I don't, yeah. There's times I haven't gone out with, gone out on with sleep, but, cause, but I have food, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have, he didn't have both, which is bad. When you don't have both, that makes it even worse. Well, like I said a while ago, she's put, they're putting him in these ice baths. The poor boy ain't got no fat on his daggum body. He was 96 pounds and 5'8". Yeah. My left leg weighs that. <laughs> so he was 69 pounds. Yeah. 69. Oh, sorry. So, well, you know, the boy had no fat. The boy, oh. welcome back, Greeno. The boy had no fat. He had no muscles, basically. And you put him in an ice bath for nine plus hours. What the hell did she think was going to happen? He's going to die eventually. I mean, that's common sense. If you, you know. Yeah. And, and she she's, had to she's know. Smart. Yeah. She had she, to yeah, know. Yeah, she's but... smart. She had to know what she was doing was going to result in his death. Period. Yeah. And for her yeah. to take pleasure out of what she was doing to him, I I cannot wrap my head around. And then when she got in court and tried to play the victim, yeah, screw you, bitch. Sorry, Zav. But, no. I just feel like because she didn't, for it to, the way it ended was that she really didn't have, you know, she didn't hide him. She didn't do anything in the end that I feel like she didn't have this plan very well. So, so that's where, you know, for the end, because in order for, you know, when he died, there was no plan for him to die. Once he died, her plan was pretty bad. There was no, I mean, even cover. Paul said when he died, his first words were, do we need to call 911? And she said, no, and waited 18 minutes. No. Right, because she really didn't think, I think she really thought she could keep making him suffer. Oh, terrible. And what she did right before he died, when when she pulled him from the bath into the closet, that was horrific. Saying, yeah, don't breathe with your mouth open and hold his mouth shut. Oh, and he was near death. I mean, like, yeah. oh, my God. What? Oh. And I tell you what, when they were reading the transcript of the text between Shonda and Paul, oh, I, that officer, I tell you what, oh. you could see it on his face. I mean, yeah, he, was, he was spoiling. If he, he could have got to her over. legally, I think he would have. He, You could just see it in his face. Yeah, I felt bad for both of them having to read it. I was just like, oh, my God. You could tell he would just stop and just like, like just oh, yeah. breathe through his nose and be like, oh. Yeah, he was taking several deep breaths while he was trying to read that. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. And the one judge, thing I noticed the is... Judge, the judge was horrified. I mean, you could just tell he was just... I can't wait. For, oh, yeah. the, for the sentencing, I feel like um, the judge... I just want to hear the judge 
what the judge has to say about it. I hope he gives, you know, some harsh words of what he thought of this case because, and it's only like two hours from me. I'm tempted to drive to it because. Uh, oh, I would. If I was that close, I sure would. But the only thing is I keep thinking she's going to pull some stunt and it isn't going to happen. <laughs> she deserved the death penalty. I, I know, just don't, don't understand how she doesn't. I mean, people are psychotic and people do stupid stuff and kill people. And I get that. But we don't have how do you New unalive a 15-year-old boy? We don't have that in New York either. But and not take so any accountability for what you did the last year of his life. How do you do that as a mother? They introduce a bill to bring it back to death penalty. Yeah. Because too much crime in New York City in New York State. Where's mine, Anthony? You know what? If you have whipped cream, <laughs> I would gladly make some. This case is kind but of. But what do you I, think I can't about that? I've never, Greeno, heard, I've never heard about the this. Whole this is crazy. The whole what? I mean, with her waiting 18 minutes and telling him, no, don't call 911 and a nine plus hour ice bath for a 69 pound 15 year old that's 5'8". Mm, well, I think that, um, I don't know. She's, I don't know how to describe it. She's a horrible person, I think, uh, anybody who does that to somebody, I mean, puts them in a nice ice bath. I mean, gosh, dude, I don't even like the cold weather, let alone, I mean, someone put me in an ice bath. I mean, I would be miserable. That was just, I couldn't imagine. I mean, I've walked through freezing cold water covering the Delphi murders in like the middle of winter, just shallow water. And my feet were frozen. You know what I mean? Like so frozen to the point. Well, like, that's basically what she did. Feel. Like what you did yeah. for Delphi only nine plus hours. Yeah. Now that's okay. I couldn't do that, dude. I would probably think I was going to die. Honestly, if I was in water cold like that, I mean, I would really think I was going to die at that point. So you live in hot weather? I don't live in hot weather. I would love to live in hot weather. I have lived in hot weather. Um, I, I'm actually in the cold weather up in Seattle, Washington right now, but I would prefer to be in Miami, Florida. Oh, I like the hot, I like okay, the cold weather. Anthony, what do you think about just how do I want to put it? the torture part of it? I guess I is think, the way to put it. What do I think about how it? much sympathy do you give the brother that was torturing the other brother at the behest of his mother? I think he's responsible for his actions, but I do think that it seems as though he was also a victim of this that is not really come out, or maybe he's scared to say anything about it. Uh, I think that if they're trying to do some sort of an agreement like that, where he pleads guilty to child abuse charges, not the actual murder, I could see why, because I think that if they are looking at him in any like res respectful psychological you know like evaluation of him i can clearly see that he has been brainwashed into this is what you do this is why or i hurt you or you know you either hurt him or i hurt you and i don't know if he fully understands the severity of what was going on you know what i mean that's what i think when he was on the stand it was right at the end. I don't know who all caught it, but he said something about basically he had Stockholm syndrome and he knows that now. And what is that? And went on to say, you know, what is Stockholm syndrome? Stockholm syndrome is when you're in basically an abusive situation, you rely on your abuser for everything, your food, everything. And you begin to have an attachment to that abuser to where you will defend that abuser. It's kind of like the lady of the night defending the man that takes her money. 
Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I think that he's possibly, yeah, has that. I mean, just what it oh, sounds like. Oh, I definitely like. think he has Stockholm. Yeah, I think he, 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 does. he probably better have some PTSD. And I'm sure he didn't come up with that. I'm sure an attorney came up with that. I'm sure he didn't think of that himself. Oh, I got Stockholm syndrome. Because if he did, no, his attorney that was, was there when he was on more. the stand, and that was the agreement. You know, if he testified yeah. truthfully and everything. Well, but he had to. That he said he was on. Okay, no, what I'm saying is he never came out his on his own accord with his own mind and, and said, "I have Stockholm syndrome," because he didn't. Know oh that. no, that was totally put in his head by somebody else. Put, put, put in his head by someone else, and that's why he said that. So, like, I seen someone say that he claimed that. If he claimed that, it's because his attorney told him to say that. That's my opinion. But I do think that he does. I think the attorneys see it, and I see it too. I think he suffers from that. I think that is the situation. Um, I don't think he should get his whole life in prison because he doesn't even show any remorse in that video. He doesn't even understand what's going on in that video. It doesn't seem to me. My mom's in custody of something, and you know, my brother died. and It's almost like he doesn't even have any empathy or emotion at all he's least empty that's crazy um <clears throat> i just look i just uh, brought up some of the symptoms so uh yeah i mean it does like on paper it does seem like he might have, yeah he might that's see that was the issue i was having because if he does have it he wouldn't be aware of it so soon you know but that's a good point anthony he was probably just told that and he just probably related it because otherwise that would take years to unpack all that and to to come to terms with you know that all because i mean that would be years of manipulation and abuse and for him to have that you know what i'm saying so for him to have said it like he was almost cured though that's what kind of confused me you know why you know? yeah because he has this syndrome the attorneys are easily able to influence him your mom's mean to you right yeah she is she did she make you do these things yeah yeah do, do you know that that's not right and oh it's not no it's not right you know what i mean like i could see how you can just easily manipulate him into saying you know what you, what you suffer from is called is stockholm syndrome and it's because of these reasons and you have those i do yeah you have those. and convince him that he has this he be he believes his mom so much that he's used to being in that position as a submissive oh, person okay <clears throat> that's a good point yeah huh and he, so and he i just trauma. looked up what the ca penalty would be in michigan oh yeah and it rates a person is guilty of ca in the first degree if the person knowingly intentionally causes serious physical harm or serious mental harm to a child ca is a first is um, ca in the first degree is a felony punished up to life in prison oh. so if they're offering him oh. 10 years instead of life because he can get life for the CA abuse that he's charged with. Yeah, if they're offering him 10 years, he better freaking take that. That's a really good deal. Really. What is CA? Uh, we can't really Child. say the word because of, yeah, because it's of monetization. Sick. But the second oh. word is abuse, and the first word is another word for kid. <laughs> <laughs> but if you say it together, it could. It's, yeah. You two yeah, together. they're like, no, don't you um, do that again. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was the other one. Yeah, there was a comment oh. someone just made saying the difference in in Paul's reaction and how he acted between the defense and the prosecution, and how which made me realize, yeah, he was very. As soon as the prosecution was talking with him, him he was much more. Oh yes, and oh, and then he just got when he was getting like belittled and stuff by the defense. Then he was, you know, dark eyes and just like. You know, I'm a bad boy. And he like, kept looking over there. And every it. time he looked over towards her direction, you could yeah, see the fear scared. in his face of, I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah he was scared. I don't want, I, I'm going to be punished for this. I mean, it was not a fear that he wasn't doing the right thing, but you could see it in his face of, what are the retaliations of me saying this and answering this honestly mm -hmm. going to be? He just wanted love from his mom. I mean, 
anything he could do to get the and he buffalo. never got it none of them did mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> that's pretty oh. sad and i don't see why the stepmom brought g since we can't say his name i can't to well, court I why would you I do that to a grandma. child that makes no sense Grandma, the grandma brought G, I think, and the stepmom came up from Florida and they said in that he visited Paul or the stepmom visited Paul in, in jail. Wait a minute. There were step parents and stuff like that. Where were the rest of the family G? members? Of this? Yeah, there was. step. His yeah, there step was grandparents. There was aunts, uncles. Um, step okay, parents. Now, well, how come none of these people said, what the hell is they going didn't on? know they, they were with him. And then it's really <clears throat> it's really kind of confusing the whole life. But before that. They were with him. We don't know okay. why he gave them to the mom. I we don't. I don't know why did he? He should never have. Uh, well, Paul was an adult by the time, so he probably maybe wanted to. I don't know what that situation was, but why did they bring Timothy? To, he, she wasn't even supposed to have him. And I mean, if she didn't want him and it was annoyed so much by him, why didn't the dad keep him? I know the dad supposedly said, you know, he was having trouble with him too um because he was just like a hard kid i get i mean he had autism and it takes sometimes you know patience and a but lot that's of work part of you being know, a but, parent to a special yeah. needs child yeah but the stepmom and the dad were married so the stepmom obviously had a somewhat of a say in having this kid go ship backed up to the mom and now the yeah. mom comes to the the stepmom comes to the trial it seems like and the dad didn't and it seems like she if i were her i would be scared to come up there as well because she has i feel like some culpability with letting oh, him be i'm shocked that the stepmom would come up there and she went and saw paul in jail like that is what the prosecutor said but legally i don't think she would have any i think it was him because i don't think she legally adopted any of them so i don't th right. i think legally she would be good it would be the dad i think that could possibly get some charges yeah. because but he could play dumb and be like i didn't understand the documents i thought she told me that he, she was allowed to have him i thought I, he was fine he could play that card and i'm not 100 yeah, percent. but like the part of me thinks maybe he didn't yeah. know ignorance of the but law Zav, even if he says <laughs> i thought that what is the reason he doesn't call and check on his son you don't talk to your son you Do don't get know a that he of your son. you don't do anything <laughs> to check on your son for over a year but do we know that he didn't call and talk to him? I don't think we know that for sure. But it in like and it was, it's only five months though that really he, you yeah. know, went through this. So it's not that long of a time frame considering he's in Florida, yeah. she's in Michigan, and you know maybe he tried a couple of times and that was about it. Who knows? But I did mean, you find the court order. Ignorance um, of the law is not a defense. She could have made stuff up. Well, he's not here. He's at a friend's house. She's the law expert. And if she maybe he's, she, she told him that. I don't know. We don't know because he won't give an interview. He won't respond. He, yeah, he's been silent. Um, but yeah, right, Anthony? I mean, maybe he she did have Timothy talk to him, too. Timothy could have talked to him and she, you better not say a word. And he could have just been like, hi, dad. And just, you know what I'm saying? Because he okay. sounds like he does kind of have a speech impediment or something a little bit slow with the way he talks because we heard him in the background that one day it does but i don't know if it was enough to tell that what do you think tammy what do you think i'll ask you first did it sound like you think he has some kind of like his speech is off a little bit or no oh she just fell off what about you melissa did you hear it right when we listened to it the other yeah, day Yeah, i mean i think his speech was off but as a mother and i'm sure fathers are the same way but you can tell when your child oh. is tired or you know whatever by the sound of their voice and he had to be weak he had to hear if he was talking to him he had to be able to hear Whoa, that oh he was God. weak i don't see how he could did you guys hear that or is it just me i think i flinched what was that i jumped back i don't know it scared me i don't know it it's i weak. have no idea <laughs> um I don't know though, almost I could see them fooling him for like at least maybe not the last couple months, but I could see the least the first few months. Hey, talk to your dad, just say hi. And maybe Timothy, it would be normal for him to say, Hi dad, okay, bye. And like her threaten him, you better not say anything. I could see that. I really can. And maybe I not do, the last I'm couple sorry, weeks or months. But, but go ahead. Well, you asked me that question. Okay, <laughs> but as a parent, done. wouldn't well, you expect to see him yeah. outside or see pictures of him or I, I no, would. because go look. She doesn't have pictures of him at, at all. 
I would expect like even, to see pictures of my kids somewhere. Yeah, I mean, you would, but she didn't on well, at least. On uh, Facebook, let me let me so WhatsApp you. Yeah. I'll be what? let's WhatsApp. Huh? What's that mean? WhatsApp the app. What's up? Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's WhatsApp see how you look. Make sure like you eating. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, oh, but I mean, gotcha, gotcha. Tammy. Yeah, you didn't get to answer. Uh, let me hear your answer though about. I'm sorry, I hit done instead of I don't know what, and so I had to. I know as it. soon as I asked you, you just. Bowed. I know. Like, I don't what? know what I. I was like, oh, geez, I look like I'm trying to avoid the question. No, um, I mean, I figured you. <laughs> Tammy said, "Not me," and ducked out. <laughs> but yes, I think he has a sp speech impediment and stuff. Yes, yeah, so I definitely think that something was like that. But I think that the, if the dad was going to give him up to like foster care or something, then. He obviously wasn't probably jumping to be like, hey, let me check in on him and make sure he's probably like, I'm one less kid to worry about. I got, you know, That's it true. doesn't sound like it was going to be his main concern. If you're giving your kid up to, you know, foster care, you're not checking in on him a lot. Yeah, uh, you got a point there. <laughs> so were these foster parents? No, no this was his um, real parents, but the before, dad called the yeah. mom and said, either you take him. Or I'm turning him over to the state. <laughs> so he didn't. Why? Yeah. Why though? Why was because he, why he want to get rid of him? He couldn't handle him. Why was he aggressive? <clears throat> we don't know. He was like, I don't know. We don't know exactly. I think he got into things like at night or he would get into things. At least, I don't know. Do we believe Sean? As she said, he turned off the gas. He oh, turned no. off. Uh, what else so did he, she say he did? So what? He know. did these things because he has a disability, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he did these things, and it's a medical issue that he can't help. So that he's supposed to be on medicine for, that. but she took him off yeah. of. She took him off. Okay, but the dad had him on the medicine, and still couldn't handle it. Is what yeah. it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like sounds like the dad right. didn't know how to um, deal with him as an as the issue. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they got in like physical or altercations. You know, maybe I don't know. I could see how that would happen, and maybe he's like, you know what, man, I'm not going to deal with this shit no more, and I'm I'm sending him back to his mom. Yeah. That he felt overwhelmed, uh, and the mom was like, you know what, we're not going to take, we're not going to do that, and discipline him the whole time to get him under control. Like I could see that how maybe that's that was her thought process was like, you know what, I'm going to teach him that he's not going to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I can see that that may be her mindset, and she just got, like, demented with yes. it. Like, it's one thing to punish someone, but, like, get, like, you know what? Like, really crazy with it is a whole different... And I, I think know. it was because he her was husband stern. had just died, and that yeah. she was trying to have control. And I think it was a serious control thing that she all of a sudden was, like... I mean, her house was in chaos. The her abuse started. Crazy. I don't know what her house was like before that, but... I don't know. But just to see, like, they would go to, you know, see the family, the grandparents, and, you know, go over. It seemed like things were relatively normal before this the man died. Yeah. Well, he didn't die. Remember, he had a stroke. And then, so the first thing was the, the stroke he had. Right. But, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's that's when house, he left so. the house, but, I think, is when it really. Yeah, yeah that's true. He didn't yeah. die. He had the stroke, yeah. left the house, and then he died this year. Or no, yeah, yeah after, this year, the beginning after, of the year, they got arrested and stuff. Yeah, but um, okay, so, so why? Yeah, but no, why would you leave your house after having a stroke and move in with your parents instead of letting your wife take care of you? I don't understand that either. Yeah, well, she was working probably. She couldn't maybe give him the need the help that he needed because she was working. Maybe I don't know. And when I you mean, disable, and when you disable like that, she couldn't afford the medication. You get Medicaid. So when you like when you have when you have autism, you get Medicaid. So there's no yeah. excuse that she couldn't afford. That's what I would. She couldn't afford the medication. The medication is free. No, you're right. But here's the thing: I'm thinking maybe because she wasn't supposed to have them. So how was she going to apply for Medicaid in that state? Because he would have had Medicaid probably in Florida, but now he's in Michigan. If she wasn't supposed to have him, how is she going to apply for Medicaid for him? Because they're going to be like, why is he in Michigan? Because it's state yeah, by she state. You know what I'm saying? Be able to have any kind of help. Man. Yeah, so that her no, thing was, oh, I couldn't afford it. We no, know nothing. that she could because she could have got help, but it's because she's lying about knowing that she wasn't supposed to have them. She knew she wasn't supposed to have them. She's lying. 
Um, that was the reason, probably. So here, somebody, or who sent this to me? Somebody sent me this. I forgot to look, but thank you. Um, they got divorced in 2010, June, exactly when she said the guy walking out and going through a horrible thing is because she was going through a divorce. We were right. Okay. So 2010. So she Didn't lived. Didn't he marry the other one? Did, for 2011. Two, maybe she. The other one got married in 2011. I just got to find out who he. If it was him. But wait, do we know for sure she was living with him to 2012? Do we know that for sure? Or are we just assuming that? I think we're just assuming that. Does any? Because I don't think we know it for sure. Because would they get a divorce, live together for two years, and then maybe he got married and she was living with his new wife? That would be so weird. Oh, because then if they would have found us... So that or they got divorced but stayed in the same household for whatever reason, you know. If she was making too much money, they might have got a legal divorce so that he could get insurance or get help. But they're still married in their oh. eyes, just not legally. But Could no, possibly, remember I mean, she was she was complaining in June about something about him walk about somebody walking out of her life and wanting to find somebody better. That was in June, so that makes sense. I think it was they were done with. I mean, they weren't. No, that's what it was. It was a divorce. That's what was going on with her. That's what I thought, but I just couldn't understand because I thought she still lived there till 2012. So I'm like, did they, she divorce and stay with him for two years? But yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. Um. Hold on, let me see who sent this to me so I could thank them. Oh, Ariel! Where's Ariel? At? I haven't even seen her in here. The voice is doesn't cost here? that much money. It looks that cheap. Here, I'll pull it back up. But is Ariel even in here? She was Who's here Ariel? yesterday, but she was um in here yesterday following this case. But I she sent me, she's the one that sent me these court documents. But I do you guys see her? I haven't seen her in chat unless if she changed her name. Um okay, so now let me see does this show anything about uh the child's like where where the children are gonna be let's see i, I, I can't i, I don't mean where see they're it. gonna be well like who gets custody of them because they're getting a divorce so like well we're trying what do you mean between this lady that that that's on trial no no but before that i mean oh okay, okay. like because we don't know that would the, probably uh, be in sealed of... documents since they were minors uh, Okay. Yeah, any fam well, any family court documents should be in like yeah, should be sealed if it's a minor, if it's involving a minor. You okay. probably have to ask the clerk and they'll probably tell you that that's confidential information. You can't really get like child you know what I mean, like family detailed cases because I mean, that'd be an easy way for predators to go find out where all the kids live. Yep. Wolfpack has a good that comment just dawned on me someone was probably collecting an ssi check on him and if he if he was diagnosed with something and was getting paid then who was getting it you're the muted zav the father no, was I, getting it i, I wasn't saying anything. you weren't saying so anything your mouth was moving though so the father so even it was he, so he also the father was committing so fraud as I'm well sure. So the father's getting SSI while the child's living with the mother. But we don't know that, right? How do, where did that come up? Because that's, that's right. Because. We don't know that for sure. One one of the comments in chat was Is if because he was the getting SSI, who was getting it? Oh, it's most likely okay. the father's getting it because the father is the one getting custody. It just Correct. makes sense. He would be the payee. The well, we might have some kind of document. Let's see parent. what that say. If, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd like to know all that because I just want to know how clear it was that she was not supposed to have them. You know what I'm saying? I want to see those, but I guess we're not going to be able to see them. But it did save something. Let Are you able to it... click on that where it says PDF? Yeah, that's what I, I saved it. Hold on, I'm looking at it. He could probably get in trouble too. He could probably charge him a fraud and stuff. Wait, what? Hmm. They could charge him with fraud because you're messing with the federal government. Oh, yeah. If she had him and he was getting it, yeah. <clears throat> hey, where are you from, boss oh, baby? From New York City. I can tell. I recognize the act. I, I, I can tell. <laughs> I just know. But that's it. If he was getting a check, we don't know for sure that he was. 
Okay, well, here, I, it is letting me get the documents. Let me get them all, and then we'll look through them. Hold on one second. I just want to see. There might not be any anything interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he definitely, there shouldn't have been no problem and no excuse. Oh, we can afford it. Yeah, he should have had help with the government. He would have, if they couldn't afford it, they would have been able to get that paid for for him since he was a kid with autism. Yes, but were they doing that i don't know did he cut it off no but if he cut it off if he didn't cut it off then why couldn't she no because yeah she would have to get the medicine in that state and i don't you know wait can you go to another state have medicaid from another state but go to a pharmacy in another state or no you're not supposed to okay. well i don't know you're not supposed frowned to upon you can get maybe one month out of that before they okay. come get you and say what the hell's going on here yeah. Okay, so I don't you know, know guys. Supposed... I really don't. Because it'll seem like you're trying to double up on your prescriptions. Oh, be yeah. You, you they know what will... I mean? Okay. Yep. Like I could see people who want need the pills or something like that to try to get them here, especially, and then try to go to another state and get it. Especially physical control substance. Yeah. Yeah. People will do that at any time. If there's the relevant medication, it wouldn't kill him. If, he was, if they had him as ADHD or something like that, chances are he was on Ritalin or some other controlled substance. And yeah, she could do it for one month. But like I said, after that, they're going to come looking for her and say, hey, why are you, why do you have him here and getting medicine here when he's got insurance in this state? Yeah, so she'd have children. One, one month. This is Ferguson Children versus Shonda. Comes now, Department of Human Services, Child Support Services, and certifies that the above styled reference order is an administrative order dated 217 2015. What? Entered by the Oklahoma uh, Department. Oklahoma Human Service Child Support. Let's see something. Let's see what this so is. So, how about. much child support did she owe? I wonder because that's what this is. Yeah. So, city. Uh, now on this seventeenth day, matters comes to hearing at the request of Shonda. Child support. Okay. Uh, in, in person and through counsel. In person pro se. So the custodian in person. The obligation now is she the, the realtor or is she the is she the defendant in this which way is it worded i don't know hold on let me see here past due here we go so judgment past due is uh whoa Holy nineteen thousand um for the time period of november 1st 2011 through the including january 31st 2015. so for some reason, they got, but see, they filed in 2010, right? It was 2010 uh, in June. So for some reason, this didn't start till November 1st, 2011. I don't know. He probably just didn't file for it till then. And then um, January, maybe that's so what does she, that, maybe whatever that's down she there, moved that $4,645 stack on top of that 19 to make it like $23,000, $24,000? I don't know, but do you think maybe that's when she moved out? That maybe that is, because that's almost, I mean, November 1st, 2000, you would think. 2011 is almost 2012. So through the including January, so 2015. Double trade owes 46,000. Judgment for set amount is hereby determined and awarded to the Oklahoma Department. It's a civil judgment, is what it is. I would pro. I don't know. I have, I've had this same thing, judgment against me. Uh, so when I first got child support ordered, they immediately <laughs> accreted it to $25,000 in the hole Whoa. from day one. So um, did, you, did they stack, child support. Anthony, huh? would they stack that 4000 on top of the nineteen to make so, it almost $24,000? So, so let me, let me, let me look through this. Uh, so current support, the obligers uh, can, current and continuing monthly support obligation of what does that say nine hundred and sixty eight dollars and eighty six cents a month Dang, which a is month. yeah a month that is a lot that's a whole lot um 
So break that down. So 900, break that down, Zev, uh, on a calculator or whatever. How much, so for how many years? So we're going to start doing some math here. Uh, so take 968 and 86 cents and divide that by four. And I don't have a pen. I need to start writing this down. Oh, you're saying <laughs> approximately you $242 a week. a week. $242 a week. Okay. Which they can take up to 40% of the income. So it says payments or statutory limits, which would be that. Okay. Then it says payment of past due support. So this is here by order to satisfy. So this is the arrearage is being paid an additional $48. So you got 968 plus 4844. That begins on the first month of the, that's just to catch it up. Okay. Oh, okay. So you know yeah. what I mean? Um, yeah. So then it says, Oh, I can make this bigger. Uh, Sorry. Are the sum of making the operator's total monthly payment and the sum of, yeah, $1,017 and 30 cents is what she has to pay a month. And it says the amount previously applied to the current support should be applied to the past due child support shall continue to pay the amount of 48 per month or until in full until it's satisfied, basically until it's all caught back up. Uh, so scroll down. Is that it? So the way yeah, a I'm reading oh, that, she's paying just over a thousand dollars a month, right? Probably pretty, yeah, probably pretty close to eleven to twelve hundred with the stupid fees that they have for what processing. She so, yeah, so she looks like Oklahoma at the time, state of Oklahoma, uh, wherever this is filed at. What's the county? Oklahoma. Oh, I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Or is Oklahoma the county? I guess. No, right there. Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is where this is out of. But that's the central case registry. So there should be like a local case on a timestamp. It is OKC. Yep, it's OKC. What does that mean? Uh, oh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, um, so okay, so hold on. There's a couple more documents. I want to see if they give any details about. So that's that. So, wow. She did talk about the child support. Remember on the stand, she was talking about how it was a lot of money. I remember. So how much um, did she, so she owed 19,000. Is that what it was? Well, she owed 19,000. Yeah, no, 19,000 plus 4,000. And then another 4,000 something too for something. So about $1,300. So anywhere about 1,500 bucks or 15, uh, Oh, this is this. Oh, Let's here see. we go. There, there it is. $23,988.44. Okay, so there it tells you the time periods right there. On the 16th day that they said that, let's see, entered a judgment against Shanda for past due child support in the amount of 19000 from the period of November 1st, 2011 until January 3rd, 31st, 2015. Plus any interest, they charged interest in the amount of 4000 Yeah, so... Oh, that's the interest. Dang yep. it. Oh, my e. God. Oh, this is the same document. Oh, this looks like the same ones, huh? Hold on. It's basically, yeah. Or no, yeah. I guess see, they can't. Different. Why would they charge interest on child support? But see, that's the court scam, dude. I totally disagree with child support, everybody. People get mad at but it all the time. But if you move to another state, that other state's not going to force another state to pay interest. Like, they, other states right. don't fund other states. They, they don't enforce child support orders on other states. Yeah. You're right, but and they will issue an income they withholding won't order. Extradite you. Huh? They won't extradite you. They won't extradite they you. Won't but they will issue an income withholding if you order. You owe back support. Yeah, they don't Wait, arrest who you. Who gets that the anymore. interest? Do the kids the get it? No, the, the, state. State. Oh. the The city. The, the, yeah, the city. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. The courts get basically that. what they're saying is we're paying this out, so you have to pay us back. But because yes. we had to take it out of our pocket to begin with, you now owe us interest. Yep. I see. Mm -hmm. Now, look, here's the, the, so here's all the kids. So it's for four, for all four of them. Well, yeah, duh. Um, all three of them. Four. Three. Yes. No, there's four of them. I wonder why all the kids have the same attorney except for the oldest boy. I don't know. Who's the oldest? Wouldn't they all have the same attorney? Who's the oldest? Is he an, is he an adult? Um, I don't but know. Why would he get child support if he was an adult, though? He well, be, if it was back right? support. 
You can, oh, yeah, you can. Oh, if it was back support. Okay. Well, you can also get, you can also, I mean, you have to pay child support until my kids graduate college. That's a 23. Oh, are you serious? Okay, yeah. then maybe he was. He is the oldest. Wow, 23. I didn't know that. Yeah. So the, so the kid could Dang. be going to college this is the age of 23. If they're still going to college since 23 years old, after 23 years old, there's no more child support, even if they're going to college. Correct. Here we go. Look, placement reports from the Oklahoma City Department of Human Services dated or created recommending placement with the father. Paul and Eric Nolan, February 9th, 2011. Timothy, April 8th, 2011. And Millie, t- April 29th, 2011. So, yeah. Um, wonder why they were placed on different days. That seems weird, too. You would think if they took them away all together, that they would all be placed back in the father's care on the same day. Or am I, know, I I don't get that. That's weird. I have no idea. I mean, you're Anybody? talking February, and then you go all the way to mid-April. It makes no I don't. sense. Supervised set four. There's so visitation mothers, rights. Yeah, yeah. So we got... She even had to have uh, supervised visitation. Oh, here's all their birth. She couldn't just see them. She had to be supervised. Yeah. Fathers, yeah, he only got him. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that's kind of. Just the child support stuff. Oh, that's all the kids signing. Did Timothy sign it? Wait, that's Eric. Oh no, just the. Uh, it's not the kids. I was thinking Eric because their their son's name's Eric. Duh. So Eric, Shonda, who's this? I don't know. Probably the lawyers or whatever. Okay. Um, let's see. Visitation supervised by either PSC or Safe Exchange at the mother's choice at mother's expense for any supervision costs. Mother's allowed to visit the children three hours per month. Mother may choose to exercise visitation in one three-hour visit or two one-in-one-half-hour visits. That's not that much she got. Wow. So yeah. That's three hours a month. Wrong. On- yeah. Wow. I was a foster mom, and the foster child I had, both of them were removed because the parents were on drugs. And they had to have supervised visitation. They got three hours a week. So what the hell did she do to get three hours a month? Yeah. Something bad. That's crazy. I I think I, so there's no way we can find out what it was. It's because it's private. We'll see. I don't know. If there's in these um, documents, we have a couple more to go through. I don't think it'll be in there, but we'll see. It'll be in there. If it says if this is the child support visitation order, it'll say in there why. Oh, well, and okay. money, it, it should say in there why the court has to find a reason as to why she's ordered that. Or there may have been an agreement between the parties orally or an oral agreement that the court would say that by agreement of the parties or by order of the court, a finding of the court. That's how you'd know. So okay. let's find an order from the judge at the very top. It should start saying it. Okay. Look, so if, wait, I want to see what this is. In the event that one or more children returns to physical custody of her, it would be the, she shall pay child support in the following. So it breaks it down if she only had three, two, or one. Okay, so it's basically, it would be 464 per child if it was Okay, one, she's paying then... to the court her child support. She then gets custody of the kids. Timothy gets turned over to her. Is she still paying support? Technically, yeah, until there's another order of the court. Yeah. That makes no sense. Why would it you doesn't, do it? Here's what they do, okay? I did the same thing. I got my daughter first, then filed the paperwork to switch to custody, okay? That took a month for them to set up to get a hearing, okay? So I had her for over two months. When I went in there, I, I still had to pay that. It still came automatically out. 
the money did every week until I went to court and the judge ordered it. And she said, this won't take effect until the next Friday. So one more payment is going to come out. So five payments or it would have been four, five, six, seven, nine payments came out while I had physical custody. And when I told them about it, all they said was, oh, we'll credit it to you because they won't reimburse it. They're just credit towards it. So whatever you either back owe or will owe, it just goes towards that. Wow. Oh. Oh. Isn't that Every crazy? In New York, they reimburse you. Oh. It's just not fair. See, when my ex has it, it split up, there. we didn't have to do this whole thing because I was working and we had an agreement, you know, as far as custody went. You know, when I was working, he'd have them. When he was working, I'd have them. So I never had to go through all this. I'm oh, here's not sure how that all works, like child support and all that. Is this her income, like total gross monthly? Is this for her? Yeah, right. So she was making. That should be the child support. Oh, she... both. So she was making yeah. three thousand nine hundred a month, and he was making two thousand eight hundred eighteen a month. And that's why she pays so much. Yeah. But still, wow, even if you she's make making a lot back then, what twelve hundred dollars she off that, then? you can live comfortably. But, dude, she, this was before she even finished law school and stuff. What the heck job was she doing? That's a pretty good freaking job. That's yeah, when well, she was working for the Hold judge. No. Okay, yeah. She would have been making pretty good money. doing that when she was in school. Or this would have been before she was in school, I think, right? Or before she graduated. Yo, oh, I keep thinking this? this could be this Isn't could this be after she moved. You're right. This might not be 2011. They fought, well... Is it though? Because the papers, it seems like no, it's seven one two thousand nine. That's so what the paper says. There should says. be something that shows. Oh, okay. there should so be something the, on there that uh, says right there in the left yeah, right bottom here. corner. It so, gives you the date. So she didn't graduate from law school until twenty twenty one. Um, remember, it was right. When she got Timothy, I thought she was graduating from for that's from law school, and then before that she had a paralegal. I forget there is a date where she got her undergrad, but I don't think it was. I think it was like way later. So I don't know. Maybe that's what but she before was doing. that. I remember, was she was training after. dogs, and then she started clerking for the court. So I mean, how much does she, she get to train a service she dog? Was in school though is what i'm saying after she was in some kind of schooling where she learned about it i don't see her doing that before that that's my whole point i don't know but maybe how much so. was maybe she you getting could do that for training without... the dogs i have no idea but that's some good money for training dogs i don't know i'm gonna money. go look at her education you make like twenty five thousand dollars. what's that service dogs are not cheap to train oh okay well, then maybe she was making a lot of money from that. I get one for myself, and that they cost they wanted twenty five thousand dollars for a three months course. Well, is chat saying anything about what? Um, did they know what she did by any chance? Mm -mm. There's a couple more uh, documents. So this one says. Um, one seven eleven is the day to terminate child support. Oh, application to terminate support alimony, maybe. Petitioner Eric Ferguson appears in person with counsel James. Blah blah blah. Respondent Shonda Ferguson appears. Something not. I don't know. Application to terminate petition. Petitioner application to terminate support alimony is granted, and the support alimony. Contained in the degree of divorce entered in September 2010, his mother. What does he to the what? Some Who judge just that? wrote this down on a piece of paper and signed it like that. What this is it even is like saying? the most I'm unprofessional confused. thing I've ever seen, <laughs> dude? I could do that and be like, hey man, this is a judge, and then just. <laughs> Throw it on some printer paper. Legal, I mean, legal, you can do that. Anything. It's like a contract. People even do this on a napkin. But right, who's terminating? But you wouldn't support, think though. that a court would do mm -hmm. that. It would be all nice with lines and stuff, and a, a spot for the judge's name, and at least a name bar and a date bar at the bottom. Legally, is legal. Is this document. something that 
Eric wrote or something that the judge wrote? Well, it says because well, did Eric's attorney write it or I don't know. Look, look at don't... the bottom. It's signed judge. It starts yeah. out with him. The judge is the signature. The, ju signature. the judge is writing it, and it's reading like petitioner Eric Ferguson appears yeah. in person yeah. and with counsel. The counsel's name, you know, and then this is the judge's order. Is what this is. True. But who's term? Worded, Can somebody you know? explain? What so basically, saying? the dude Eric came before the court and asked the court to terminate the child support, and they uh, granted it. Terminate for who? I'm confused. Why would she terminate for her or him? Support yeah, they terminated online. her having to pay support. They. But why would he off. do she that? No has to but she Probably did because she, because she owed custody. it. Then she took what? custody. That's why. She took custody. No, but this is a 2011 though. So if she did she terminated, then why was all that back pay of her owing it? I mean, they just do that. They civil judgment, so they can say that that's where the money goes. But the person can go forward and say, "This is that's uh -huh. it. We're done with it. We don't want to terminate it." Well, I would so think. I don't know for sure, but I would think that if they had already ordered her to pay that back support, she would still have to pay that even if they terminated support going forward i would think that she would still have to pay what they ordered her to pay the first time wouldn't she anthony no no, no. um actually it's not it's not something that can be enforced by the court it's just a civil judgment the only thing they can do is maybe charge you with contempt at some point it's nothing uh they they wouldn't do that there's the thing called forgiveness and it's up to the other parent they can say you know what I don't care because they're not going to give it to me anyway and just say, screw it. I'm, I forgive it. And if they forgive it, it washes it. I have all these things. I want to see which one's going to be. <laughs> Look at how little you get. I have to make a couple other ones. Zab's right. got us playing musical okay, chairs how over here. How little you get. <laughs> yeah. I want to see which one's best because Something never a dude ever wants to hear somebody say, Oh my God. That's true. Oh my god. Yeah, what are you drinking? That's so funny. I don't know. Hot cocoa. So where did that go now? Chris now in the chat said it that was to terminate the alimony, not the child support. It can. Oh, alimony. It does yeah. say support I alimony. Thinking, I was thinking the wrong thing. I was thinking child support. It's alimony. You're right. Thank you. I was the like difference not between alimony and child support. Alimony, no, no, is, alimony is you pay your marriage. wife. Yeah. Yeah. So like some states, if you divorce, you have to still pay for that person's living expenses and stuff. So they got a uh, degree of divorce and disillusion of marriage by signing and approving the entry of said degree. So, <laughs> so somebody so who, that had a good point. Why wasn't that stamped? Wouldn't that have had to be stamped? I thought it was. So who, I'll go back so to who it. Ever, so whoever makes the most has to pay the other party. No, it's it's not necessarily that. It's um, it's it depends on who's moving out. You know what I mean? Zab, like you're giving me who's getting ring what? around the rosy vibes here. What? Oh, so like for example, if like let's say I'm married to someone, and I and I'm moving out, that person would have to pay me. Yeah, kind of. Um, I mean, if if they if you it's didn't get anything out of that, like if you didn't take anything from like your guys's marriage and you've have stuff and in your house and stuff like that, then yeah, they would have to kind of help you out, really, because they obligated to do that. Alimony is, from what I understand, a lot of times, not all the time, but say you're married and the woman doesn't work because the husband's bringing home the money he wants her to take care of the house and they're married for five years and then they get divorced because it was the husband's choice for her to stay home he now has to pay her out money alimony to keep the same lifestyle for however long from what i understand until you get remarried yeah or until she's able to get back on her feet because she's not been in a position to where she can really just leave and have thing you know stuff to Take care of herself. She didn't or have she that. Gets or she gets remarried, yeah, and finds someone else to help take care of her like that. You know what I mean? In that sense. 
But it can work the other way around too. You know what I mean? It's not just a woman. It's a man too. It can go the opposite way. You know, I want people to, to know that that's, that's is also a, an, oppor an opportunity to, you know, pe people can take something that you say and turn it around sometimes. And I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying that's just women that do that. It's men too. And it's a whole bunch of other people in different types of ways to do this. Oh yeah, I would that assume there, both ways. There is stay at home. Um, there are stay at home dads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there is, especially you know more so now. And that's um, like a lot of people don't realize look. if you're married for ten years in one day, and say, oh, it's after 10 one of you gets yeah. a pension. If you're married 10 years in one day, you can legally take half of that pension or half of that 401k or whatever. Wow. And they can't stop in you New because York. you were married at least 10 years. And New York yeah. is different. And New York is different. I think in New York is it, it goes after five years is 25%. You take you put you take half 25 percent mm -hmm. and after 15 years it becomes half. Wow. So something is better than nothing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, how do you guys feel? And the only reason I know that is because I took out revenge against my ex-husband because I told his first wife and she filed. But how do you guys feel about that whole alimony thing? Do you think it I think it depends on the situation because some people do give up what they were gonna do for you what? know what I'm saying? So like maybe they were gonna go to college and have a career, but they give it up. To make a home, you know what I'm saying? For okay, those, but that's their choice. They that's gave true. that he up make for that. That's more true. money than that's him. True. I have you know mixed feelings about it, but no. If she's she was making money, hella more money than him. She don't need alimony. I'm not. Oh, I'm just talking about in general. I'm not talking about this case. I was just talking about in general, actually. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I do think it's. I would probably. Would you accept it? Well. <sighs> hmm. I think it. I do. I do think it depends on the situation because if you're the one benefiting from it and getting the money or the the help, sure, why not? But if I'm the one paying it, absolutely not. I'm not okay with it. But what if you don't want to? You want to do your thing, but you're forced to like let's say stay home and raise the kids or whatever, and you really you're doing it for a sacrifice and then he just ups and leaves you or whatever or cheats on you or whatever and then you're too old to really start a career and then you're screwed because you can't support yourself because you have nothing to to rely on don't you think they should get something depending on the situation because mm -mm. they helped like no no really yeah that's what I mean, prenups totally, are I'm, for I'm, I'm, I'm totally again i look here's the way i look at it I don't agree with child support things. I don't agree with the alimony because I think this. People should think harder about who they sleep with, who they have kids with, who they marry, because that decision can impact the rest of their life. And it does. So I think that it's on both parties. They chose to sleep together. And you know what? If you sleep with me and we have a baby and I decide I'm out of here. You made that choice to sleep with me, not knowing me or whatever the case may be. You just see what I'm saying? So I think it takes two people. And I think that no matter which way it goes, whoever leaves or whoever does the other person dirty, I think that that's just a chance you took in life and yeah. you rolled the dice and lost. No, I mean, I don't, th I think it's sometimes it's an extreme, like you shouldn't get that much, but maybe some, some, something so you could actually survive for a minute, right? Because well, if you're left with I'm nothing, you have money, nothing, you have no job, support. you have no house because it's under his name and you're just left on the streets. I mean, hey, I've been there. I, I, I would say, yeah. That's what 20, that's I what the 20 people do. It 20 Ashley, do you want me to add you? Hold on one. Let me ask you, Ashley, because she has her camera on. I just want to make sure she's okay. Are you okay having your camera? Okay. All right, so, that's, so yeah, is better that's why I said 25% is better than nothing. If you're I don't feel like really strongly about it. I feel like kind of new. I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> Sorry. I'm like kind of in the middle. I could see that's why, why, that's why that's he's why, somewhat. That's why they like, in New York is five fair, years, 25%. Ten, 10 years, it, it goes up a little bit. And after 15 years, it becomes 50%. Because the Wait, I thought 10 years was the first I, one. 
I guess here's what I don't oh. like. I guess I'm I'm being I'm saying it wrong. I don't like the fact that the tenure is the court wrong. takes money. Okay, so the court orders child support between two different people or alimony, and then the court wants to take fees on top of that for doing all this. And it's like, now hold on, why do you have to get paid for something that's not has nothing to do with you that goes from me <laughs> to this person? Why do you? It's a middleman. Basically, yeah, and, and they punish you for not doing that. I don't like that. I think that the families, the courts divide people when they do that, Yeah, I think. And I Agreed. think that it, it should be up to the families to be able to, if the mom says, you know what, dude, you can be $25 a week cover for diapers and stuff. That's cool. And that's the dude does it. Here. But the court goes in there and says, you know what, dude, we're taking all this money mm -hmm. over to the chick and says, you know, we're taking all this. And now you're going to be ordered to see them on these days. It kind of screws a family up. Because what gets me is when they do that and they make the dad pay child support, but yet mom is calling dad, oh, they need clothes, they need shoes, they need diapers, they need formula, they need whatever. Dad buys it, but that doesn't come off the child support. He still owes what he, you know. Correct, it's a gift. And I don't think that the court should be making money off of it. I don't agree with the interest. I agree with child support. I do not agree with the interest. But I don't think they do child support right. I think That's that I mean. not only should it be based on who has the kids for whatever amount of time, but what you do for the kid. If you carry insurance for your child, then a little bit of money should come off of your child support. If you're buying food and diapers, you should be able to take that off of what you owe every month. You know, keep the receipts and turn it in. But that's how it works. Alimony, I don't agree with, but child support, they're doing it wrong, but I agree with it. In New York, if you yeah. pay insurance, well, that is. Um, boss, we are, poor boss, we keeps getting cut off. Boss, we, I think you have a really low voice. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I don't want to talk loud because then I sound like I'm screaming. No, you're fine. I, I always feel bad because I even do it to you, <laughs> but. Go ahead. Like, no. You're right. We let's, all do. Just me, like, let's say your insurance is like 250 a, a, a month in New York State. That 250 is subtracted if the if the child supports a thousand. I think it should be. Yeah. Are you saying you think it should be? And you have, and the mother has to allow the the father to see the parent. If the mother does not doesn't allow the father to see the parent, the father does not have to pay child support. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah, I didn't know. Is that other parents see the child? There shouldn't be child support. I agree. Right. Well, okay. So my situation, my son's father doesn't see him, and he pays child. Well, he, he's on child support. So for we were together for years before my son was born. Um, basically, it was a classic case of uh, he pulled the mask off, right? Um, and so he just left out of pretty much nowhere one day after putting us both through a v abuse, which I wanted him gone, but you know, it was hard. And anyway, yeah. that's besides the point. Um, so it took me two and a half years to think about whether or not I wanted to actually put him on child support or what. But, uh, finally, once he agreed to pay me money, cause he told me he would give me $200 every week. And I was like, that's a little steep. I don't even spend that much, you know? But, um, yeah, I was like, you know, whatever. We came to a verbal agreement. Um, and you know, that was what it was, but then he didn't do it. <laughs> um, so, oh, you know, and he God. never gave me a penny before. I never bought a pack of diapers, never bought, um, uh, so much as a toy, like a from the Dollar Tree, like nothing. And um, and he he didn't Sorry, see him anything. So and by his own choice, he, the door has always been open, so you could at least you know see him supervised by me. Um, you know, because I don't really trust him. But yeah, so uh, so I put him on child support finally, and he's paid religiously up until this last like six months. And he's like over 500, almost 600 in the hole now. So there's that. But yeah, um, most under most circumstances, I'm not for child support at all. But when the mother is basically drowning, like you said, Anthony, it takes two people. And I'm forking like every penny I can up to make sure he has a good Christmas. What's his dad doing? Nothing. So I do believe if that if you have to have the court intervene to help, 
you know, then I, I need, but you know. The, you father's, need. the father wants to see the child. No, and my son's father does not. He's had the option, but no, he chooses no, not to. See, that's what I said. You know, if they're seeing the child and they're buying clothes or they're buying diapers or formula I totally or whatever, we should, or toys, you know, you know, you should be able to keep that receipt and take that off no. what, you know. But I don't no, think the court should make two, three, four hundred dollars a week is right. That's a lot. I mean, that's crazy. That's maybe too a much. Month, I'm sorry. But a week, you can't, you can't. The other parent I had to pay that three. is paying the child support has to be able to live after they pay that support. Exactly. And I just if you're charging somebody two, three, four hundred dollars a week, that it's just crazy. seems excessive to me. It seems excessive. And then they charge them extra fifty dollars yeah. insurance. Yeah, my <laughs> my son's fees. dad only pays one hundred and thirty six dollars a month. The two dollars is for the the fees, the court fees, and um. The, I get, I see 134 of it because of the two dollar court fee <laughs> that they're making off everybody that they hit with yeah, that. Yeah, every single payment. I rather. And it out. seems like everybody I've ever talked to that has been ordered to pay support, they are automatically in the arrears. They're automatically assigned five thousand, yep. six thousand, four thousand, whatever in arrears. Yes. When you weren't even ordered to pay it, but they want to make you pay it and charge for you to pay it. So I had and custody. If they, if they take that out of your taxes. Um, if you owe child support, when you get your taxes, they take it out of your taxes. Or your stimulus check or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anything. So this is what they did. They did to me. Hit me with, I was in the hole immediately from day one. And I had custody. See what happened was my ex left me. For somebody else and left me with a one-year-old and a two-week-old and i had to take care of them for, for yeah. two years two years by myself and i didn't know how and i was single um and i worked at caterpillar in lafayette indiana um and i just worked all the time and my neighbor had a couple kids that were little and she just watched them for me but they ordered me when she got that guy left or whatever happened and she decided that she wanted them back in the state of Indiana. If you're not married to someone and you have a child with them, the woman automatically takes custody period. And that's just what they did. So when we went to court, she took me to court for child support or for custody and they granted her back custody and ordered me to pay the child support mm -hmm. and immediately put me 20, plus thousand dollars in the hole and i'm like well wait a minute i had them for all these time and they're like oh that's just a, those are that's considered a gift and i'm like what? I, yeah. I, yeah yeah okay so wait a a gift. Minute. i that's... gifted i gifted them with life by feeding them and changing them it was a gift i didn't that's have to do that <laughs> i mean See, that's, like, the part I know. that's the ridiculous I, part for me is you know if you are taking care of that child ridiculous. and you have that child why are they, you know, like, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that doesn't mean, that's ridiculous. I would have been so mad, man. Did you want to keep them? Did they, was yeah, it your choice? Like, yeah. you would have rather just kept them, right? I, I told the judge that she left, and she said that, too. She left. I said, she left, not me. They should, they Usually, it's the other way around. I said, I understand, but she left this time. They should have some I, federal laws to protect the men. Yeah, they should. they should have had that. They should, um, yeah. But especially in these mother states years later we've eventually you know wiped it and figured it out but it was just the fact that they did that from the get-go yeah. and told me that anything that you give them outside of doesn't go through the court like yeah. if i like ashley right so yeah. like if i owed it to her if i sent it and but it, but Zav is the court. If I didn't send it to Zav and gave it straight to Ashley because she happened to come over and the kid was there and they needed stuff, it doesn't count, right? At all, and that doesn't. Yeah, so that's you got to keep receipt. Yeah, it's, but see, it's that's not, what it's I'm not saying. Fair. You should be able to turn in the receipts to the court and be like, "This is what I did." Yeah, I owe two hundred dollars a month, but this month I've bought three hundred dollars worth of clothes and books, and you know. Here's what what formula, well, whatever. Where's the court fees? How come we didn't get a cut of that? 
How about oh, you bring in ten dollars when you bring in your receipts, and we'll take it. A laugh at you said that story doesn't make sense. If she left the kids, it's abandonment. That's not true. It depends on how long you're gone for. Like in Ohio, my son no, was abandoned me. by his dad. It, after 90 days in Ohio of no contact, even if contact is regained after those 90 days, like if he just said hi to Kaiden, then it would he wouldn't have been. But um, it's legal abandonment after 90 days in Ohio. I don't know how it is in other states, but yeah, that's even if contact is regained. So if she just up and left for like, yeah. I don't know, 60 days here, she it's not abandonment. It is. Yeah, well, horrible. here's the thing also. Yeah. I mean, I mean, so it's, is it, I don't know. Are, are you saying abandonment like a crime abandonment? Like it's the a The child crime? can get deemed abandoned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say that that's totally abandonment. If you leave your spouse or whoever you're yeah. with. Absolutely. But they said, that, they said that your story didn't make sense. That it, oh, it makes perfect she sense. Left she kids, left and left me with two kids. Abandoned them. But that's and not. She left them with their dad. It wouldn't technically be abandonment in Indiana. Yeah, I think you, if yeah. I remember correctly, it has to be like a year or something like that. And if you leave them with a parental figure or a guardian then it's not considered abandoned yeah, right now, in now Indiana, and Indiana is it. backwards as all get out. They have, um, That's weird. now they have safe boxes. Have you seen those? I Randomly did. I saw video on one of those We earlier. just had a kid turned over in a safe box. Wait, Maybe what? Ago. Randomly, randomly throughout. Look up a safe box, Av, and pull one up a picture. So they have you know, like fire departments, police departments, churches, and stuff like that. So, you know for that. example, if some if someone wants to just get rid of their kid or their baby or something like that, instead of tossing them in the trash or killing yeah. them or something like that, they um put them in this box, and as soon as the box is opened, it activates an alarm within the police and fire and rescue, and people will know that that someone's there they'll be able to see him on camera they but can drop the baby in the box somebody gets that someone baby will be there. someone with the baby usually real outside of firehouses like and you usually know. and also in indiana you'll see i don't know if it's in other places in indiana you'll go around like hospitals and stuff some schools some you know grocery stores or whatever and it'll say safe space and what that means is the safe boxes are for the babies but there it is. There's a video. Those, if you have a three year old that you just can't handle, or you just don't want anymore, or you just whatever for some reason you need to let go of that child, you can take that child in Indiana to any to hospital, go. doctor's office, um, a lot of different well, places have that play. have that sign. And it's a no questions asked. They take the child, there's yeah. no charges on you, they won't so ask you who you are, anything up. like it's, that. It's, it's, because so they sick. say it keeps them from. I'm gonna have to bring it up on my own. Hold on one second. Let's, we'll Go ahead, that. Bossy. It says here if you feel that your state has violated your, your, uh, your U.S. you the United oh, States. Yeah. Like if you your U.S. custody uh, child rights, you can take this into the United States federal laws. So basically, like you can take this into federal court. So there is federal. There's there's also federal laws that can help you. Um, that top one oh, have is what you want to play. That will help that's you fight. That's an Indiana news station. Oh wow! So is this a good, you, okay, to play this one though? You think? Yeah, no? yeah, that's an yeah, Indiana. I mean, it's that. just came, ironic. It came up as Indiana. Even baby box in Carmel. First responders at Fire Station 345 quickly help the newborn. These baby boxes provide a resource for mothers in crisis. Tonight, Haley Minogue is talking with the organization's founder about her effort to give these women a place to surrender their child safely and do it anonymously. With over 100 locations across the country. We don't know what some of these women would have done had there not, not been a box there. Safe Haven baby boxes have become a fixture in several communities. It's reality. You know, it's not ideal, but it's reality. Whenever there's news of a surrender, founder Monica Kelsey travels to the location. Most recently, she sat down with WHS 11 to talk about some of the questions we hear about the services her organization provides. Nobody's crisis is the same. You know, your younger kids are scared to go home and tell their parents. But an older person, their crisis is completely different. 
Out of 166 total infants saved, 33 were placed in boxes and 133 were surrendered through a handoff coordinated via hotline. When a baby surrendered anonymously in the box, it's truly anonymous. They are very intelligent. They, they research everything and they're doing it on their own. And this is, a, this is an option that they're choosing and we should respect that. Some state laws prevent women from giving their children up for adoption, giving them no option but to surrender. In the state of Indiana, if you are married, whether you're separated, whether you haven't been with this person for 20 years, but you are married, if you place a child for adoption, whether it is that father's baby or not, you know, it, whether it's that mm -hmm. husband's baby or not, mm -hmm. The adoption record has to have dad's name on it. And the dad is classified as the husband. We've had a parent in see? that situation before. You see how that works? Parents what have 30 a woman days. With SA, dude, that's right. crazy. But after that 30. Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. I don't understand. This is what happens. So okay. if, if you so live in Indiana and you get someone pregnant, if she's married, that guy that she's married to, doesn't matter if you haven't been with that guy for 20, 30, 40 years. He is now the dad legally. So if I get That's a, how it a is married in Ohio woman too, pregnant, yeah. yeah, if I get he's, a married woman pregnant, not... she, yeah, he's the dad. And he has pay child yeah. support in, legally. Yeah, so so in Indiana, support. you cannot put your child up for adoption unless you have both parents' signatures. So it yeah. doesn't matter whether or not you're married because in the state's eyes, you are because the child is half yours, half, you know. Correct. But you could challenge, like, you could challenge, that, challenge that federal. But you could challenge is, that federal court. And the federal court is different. As soon as the box is open, an alarm is sounded. Yeah. Inside, wherever, and you then they that? come and get the child, and they can do that anonymously, even if they know who the, the dad is. Whereas opposed to the baby boxes or the safe boxes or the surrender places, the safe havens, the safe places. In Indiana, you can do that without the father's permission. Okay, yeah. Okay, but if you just say, no, I want to put my baby up for adoption, which is basically the same thing as what you're doing with this because you're surrendering your rights. It's anonymous. Then yeah. when yeah. you try to do it just to give legally. the baby up for adoption, legally the dad has to sign off in Indiana. Yeah. So I have a question. And that's actually um, how it is in most states. I was so, adopted, uh, and before I could be adopted, my parents had to take out, my adopted parents had to take out in the newspaper a legal notice stating that they were going to adopt a child. And, you know, you had so many days to get a hold. I mean, that's yeah. just how it is. So I have a question, though. What, when they said yeah. that they, it could be illegal in some states to give it up for adoption, I don't understand that. What if both parents, if, if they're because both, both there, parents have to sign off. Oh, then it's not illegal. It's just yeah, no, it's not. A, it's illegal if a woman take. Okay. No, I get it. No, I get if, it. I don't. Yeah, I got one yeah. I get it. I, I just, I just didn't understand that. I get that now. Um, yeah. I just, I wow. So, go ahead. Go ahead. What? Uh, oh, I, I just think it's crazy that, like, even here in Ohio. So, if I oh, was still married man. to my my son's dad. Then, uh, and if I were to get pregnant while still married to him, but separated, that father, like, he would presumably be the father of my child. Even though there's no blood or anything, like, he would still be in but the But what if he of, let the like, other guy? The he, but what if he's like, no, what if he let the other guy? Yeah. Oh, right. dude, there's like, a video that yeah, you need to watch would, on this, guys. Do that. Yeah. Hold on. There's a video that you guys need to watch. So there's a guy, right? So it's it's a guy that I saw on here, and I'll find the news article, but it's about a child support case, and it's about a paternity as well. So this guy was ordered to pay child support because of some reason, you know, like I think it was similar circumstance. Either he used to be married to a chick or she put his name on the birth certificate or something like that because you can just write it in. Yeah, right? it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just write some dude's – yeah, you can put somebody's name on there, right, and then they have to be required to pay. So – there's certain time limits to challenge it. If they don't challenge it within that time limit and the court says this is the time limit, they technically have to pay it and it's never reversible. There's a guy that's going through a court case right now. He has to pay all this child support. They keep putting him in jail over it. 
because the kid's not biologically his. He had a DNA test. It's not his. He just got yeah. put on the birth certificate. And they're like, sorry, you missed your window to uh, uh, to debate paternity. with it, you know? Yeah, to to object. And he's screwed on that. That's crazy. Yeah, here in Ohio, you have to, uh, if the father, like, knows he's not the dad or whatever, uh, or if he doesn't know, then either way, there's a paternity test. Unless the father just knows and he agrees. Then, like, my son's dad, he obviously knew it was his kid. So he was just like, yeah, I don't even have to have a paternity test. But they usually do that, yeah. I think that a paternity test should be done at the hospital for whoever gets put on that birth certificate. I think that if you say that this dude wants to be on the birth certificate. So. Yeah. Imagine I think they should do it right down there. would be in that room. <laughs> you know what? That would prevent people from doing a lot more crazy stuff. Well, I guess it wouldn't. You're right, though. Because I mean, they know that it's going to be coming out that day. When they yeah, have right. Even if he's the father, just to make sure that he's the dad, well, just do it. You can do get it. paternity tests while you're still pregnant as well, before the baby ever comes along. Hmm. Just oh. to be sure, you know. I think most oh, people you're... are pretty sure, <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Oh, hey, Becky Boo, this ain't Becky Boo in the house. Yeah. Else? yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody will tell you to end Just divorce. To See, I don't think that's right. You know, if you, you go to a DNA test and you're proven not to be the father, I think that the state should take you off the birth certificate. You've proved you're not the father. Yeah. yeah. You, can, exactly. you can always. They do, usually. You, you can always challenge it. If you don't feel like your right, the rights are being valid, you can challenge it in federal court. Oh, you sent it. Do you want me to. Share this that you put in the chat. Is that what that is? We don't know that video people. about that dude. Oh. It's just it's it's just shows you kind of what it what it happened. People There's a bunch of cases. All I did was type in Google pay child support for a kid that's not his. That's it. <laughs> and then it shows up all these news articles. But one of these just shows us how crazy it is can be. Yeah, I'm glad Ohio it? does it the way they do just it. Now. Imagine being yeah, told pay child support for a kid that is not yours or go to jail. That was the order the state handed down to a Detroit man. So today he turned himself in. But here's what happened when Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell went with him to court. Carnell Alexander walked into the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice knowing in moments he could lose his freedom. I stayed up all night, couldn't sleep, thinking about it. Carnell is a wanted man because he refuses to do what the state orders and to pay child support for a child that DNA tests prove isn't his. A child he doesn't even know. I haven't even had a chance to really speak to him except for one time when we took the DNA test. Nonetheless, right now, under the law, he's a deadbeat dad. Today, he turned himself into the judge's order. I'm scared because I've been before this judge before. But this time, he had attorney Cherica Harris, who volunteered to help after seeing his story on 7 Action News. The judge said he will not go to jail for today. Thank you. Thank Ms. Harris. I hope that we can resolve this soon. I'm just trying to help him with his future. Though the threat of jail is on hold, it is not over. Carnell Alexander still owes more than $30,000 to the state for a child that's not his because the mom wrote his name down because she needed to name someone in order to get welfare benefits. And I had to put him down as the father. That was the only way I can get the system. Now, I'm almost homeless. I'm almost in jail. I'm out of work. My money is being threatened to be taken. Carnell isn't just worried about how this is impacting him. He says the law needs to be changed. So when this happens, as it often does, other men don't become dad by default. We can be defaulted into being a father of a child that is not ours. I don't understand that law, but it, it is a law in place. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action. Do you think he's going to get that? He's going to get reversed or he's not going to owe it? Or are they going to really no. stick to that? No, they're not going to reverse it. They'll stick to that watching the government. It. I, this, I'm this a is firm ongoing. believer in God. if you're going to put a guy's a, name on the birth certificate, you should have to prove that that is the father. Yeah. So he crap like that him. don't happen. He's he 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 crazy here. He he could sue them in federal court and win. Yeah, but it's not going to take away the time he's spent in jail. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's nothing that will take that away. Time, but it's not going to take away the time, but he's going to teach the state that they got to change the laws. And they got to. That's a hard way to teach the state. <laughs> that sucks. You I know. Make the but... state go through it. <laughs> and and I cry, man. <laughs> he's going to teach the state. 
that the, that the federal government don't mess. <laughs> Dang it. So that lady was saying basically is violating, she, is violating you, his civil rights as well. For in order to get welfare for your kid, you have to name a father. What if you don't know who the father is, though? I don't that's think what that happened. should be a law. That's what that happened. She just wrote some news down. States, yeah, yeah, but they should. That yeah, sucks because the states, child is the one hurting. The father. So they can't True, afford yeah. stuff for the child. You're going to hurt the child because they don't know the father, the father's name, and they're just going to That's what happened to somebody? my friend, her daughter. Uh, so she knows who the dad is, but the dad uh, R worded her. And that's how oh, she man. had the baby. And uh, so she didn't want to give the state, like, that, you know, his name or anything like that. She just, he's not even on the birth certificate, like, rightfully so, you know. And so she couldn't get cash assistance because she wouldn't put his name down. In and Indiana, if you want to get paternity tested, so... If you want to get Medicaid or you want to get food stamps in Indiana and you have a small child, they will not give it to you unless you name somebody. And they'll even tell you, we don't care who you name, but we have to put a name down. It's a good thing it doesn't work like that in New York. You, and I think if, you have, that you, if you're going to do you, that, whether it be for support or whether it be... For whatever, I think that it should be proven that it's your child before you can be added to a birth certificate. In my opinion, in, in New York, the father actually has to sign his own signature. Oh, yeah, so I think that. So yeah. what, sure. what if? What if? Okay. Here, here's a question on that. What if I'm your friend and I'm there and you're like, "Hey, sign this as dude." Okay, and I'll just say I'm dude. Do I have to oh, present an ID? True. That's true. Yes, yeah. you do. You do? Okay. Oh, okay. My son's dad didn't. He just signed it. There, <laughs> there was a case. I don't yep, remember what state York. it That's was out thing. of. But there Another was a case thing. several years ago that two women went to a friend of theirs because they wanted a baby. And he was nice enough to help out. And through oh. the lab they got pregnant Which i had friends that did that they turned around and charged him with <laughs> child support him he had she to pay set it. his ass up <laughs> he should have to pay child support that's if these two women want kids that i mean that's like going to the you know what bank and you know are you gonna come back back on <laughs> the father and they don't even know that they've got a kid just because they wanted fifteen dollars in college to go buy alcohol oral Wait, oral agreements no what pun bank? intended are that mm, they're not gonna hold up in court unless there's proof of it and you have to have that crap like notarized like okay so you better not charge me for child support and all this other stuff like you know That's there would be a long list of things that, that, that I would have writing. to write down before I would ever <laughs> Who puts that much thought into man. that? Like, okay, I'm gonna have yeah. this certified and notarized that you're gonna bust a, exactly. in a cup and <laughs> it's ready to go I, in I, case, you know. I, I want to lose my my, my parental rights. Crazy. Oh wow. my god, this is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> man, hmm. what do you guys think in chat? <laughs> yeah. No, because. Which technically, when you are given when you are given a baby, and you are like when you, you when you are donating sperm, you are losing those parental rights. Well, you're they losing that. What do you say? What? Yeah. When I you feel awkward. A, oh, like, when you donate, I thought you just <laughs> hurt like me in donate, something else. Never mind. You mean when they actually real? Okay. <laughs> Describe your donating here. You yeah. have to pay I'm trying to determine if I've done that or not. Like, why would you have to pay child support to women that you don't know? That would be awkward. Like, you go You're to right. a sperm bank, you know what? And then they right. call you like five years later. Oh, you owe you owe five hundred women <laughs> child support. <laughs> yeah, they will. Yeah, my um. You would go like crazy. Yeah. Do they take There's checks? Dude, they take I got an idea. This is a way that we can resolve points? this whole issue. We can resolve this whole issue. There's dudes out there with a bunch of money, okay? And there's chicks out there with a bunch of money. And so we 
the people who don't ha- know who the dad is, um, they should just select like a, a lottery for one of these rich people and they'll pay the child support at whatever rate that other person would have paid it. <laughs> so you got a billionaire out there that can yeah. just pay this dude's child support or this chick's child support at the rate that they would have got it anyway. And it doesn't hurt anybody. You got to take bitcoins. You take bitcoin. <laughs> I can't lose that side. What the heck is going on with these lights? Yes, Carly. I remember hearing about the fertility doctor that used his own specimen. He was in Indiana. Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, what like, happened? So a dude, There was a there doctor was in Indiana that used his there own a- swimmers. <laughs> and he was a fertility doctor. And he yeah, used he his could- own swimmers instead of the partner swimmers to impregnate the women and he had lots of babies like that were his 70 or something 500 i thought 500 i mean there it was, was a guy, old, well, not it was a lot of kids one that had like hundreds yeah hundreds yeah 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 so he basically when girls went in and tried to get pregnant from the bank uh he gave them his stuff instead of the ones that they wanted and has all these kids they I found out why like Which he had this actually really bad because they were all in the same area so that they uh, with each other they were worried I mean, can about you imagine yeah, going to high school and being like oh by the way that's your sister and that's your sister that's your sister and <laughs> your and whole your class is your sisters your... and brothers and you're yeah. just the whole wow. grade yeah. you could never date because you'd be you'd never know i would have such a fear that that that's was going to be my sibling oh my <laughs> God. that's what i thought when the case came out i'd be terrified to date or marry anybody for fear of you know, it being a sibling. Accidental <laughs> insect. It's horrible. Like, Wait, well, where, we just ain't going to kill nobody. In, in Indiana? Yeah. Is this in, so, well, I don't know. Yeah, okay. there was an Indiana doctor that did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They gave him life. But wait, you would probably, oh no, you wouldn't know because you're saying people go in there, fertility doctors, they're thinking that it's going to be their, their husband, someone they husband can pick. right? Or it's someone they yeah, can pick, or, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they don't pick a, a person; they pick husbands. a type. Yeah. Yeah. Lots well, they of were husbands. married. Women went in there who were married, oh, and yeah. they just, you know, she couldn't get pregnant or something, and yeah. for whatever reason, and they would go to take their husband's sperm and come to find out he wasn't even the dad. Like that's crazy. It was the doctor. Okay. That's how and they found out. Here it is. It, his yeah. name was Doctor Donald Klein. Line. Um, he was active until 2009. He started being a doctor in 1979. He was, very active. he was a fertility doctor. He is known for inseminating his own swimmers into unwitting patients and fathering at least 94 children. Keegan Klein's grandpa. Yeah, which is sex assault. <laughs> Technically, that's SA <laughs> as well because you're entering your bodily fluids into somody unwilling. So Would that's that technically. Be- you know, yeah, but you're not yeah, touching. It well, but he would matter. have to you're be touching them. Really okay, put it this way. Put it this way. Put it this way. You SA is anything, it, any unwanted like touch or anything like, like that. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's, what the I don't even know how to say this without being weird or sounding weird. Well, they have to touch you to you, intimidate you. Yeah. No, you I don't. know, no, but. You don't. Okay. Just imagine. Yeah. Well, either way. Yeah. You It'll, don't have to touch. Turkey baster. You wouldn't have to touch yeah. at all. I mean, even standing there, both You're people right. wouldn't have to even touch. Yeah, they gave him life. That's the same concept. Crazy. What do you think that dude was getting at? Where do you think he was getting at? You don't. You think that he was? He went back and them? he did it in a cup. <laughs> he did it in a cup. <laughs> then what? How? Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's the charge he got. Oh, I'm kidding. Can... But that's wait. What charge did he get? What mm-hmm. were you guys saying? Did I miss that? You said he got an SA chart. What did he get? Well, yeah, dude, okay. he was impregnating women. I don't know that he got an SA But it's an SA charge, though? Is that... I just said it. Oh, okay. They got him for fraud. They charged him saying. with fraud. Is it SA? I don't know In 2014, one of this... his daughters... I was saying that's technically what it would be. Is... Um, oh, charged okay. him I wasn't sure for what, fraud. what we were talking about. 94 counts of fraud. 94 Jeez. counts of fraud because he, defra- he defrauded Let's the see, he got... Yeah, I guess I can see how that's fraud, yeah. 
He admitted to getting a picture of level six on. felony. Yeah. Very it's a level six in. felony, the first one. Okay. And he took he a like plea Santa deal Claus. and got a suspended sentence and had to yeah. pay five hundred dollars. Okay, well let me look like him up. In the case uh, of him. his children, they filed civil tort claims in Marion County Court three and five in twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen. The date that it was decided was January 24th and 25th of 2022. And those were all dismissed with prejudice. Donald Klein versus the state of Indiana is the direct appeals. He went to the court of appeals in 2017. The case was decided in 2018 and was closed. There is currently a civil tort claim in Marion County Civil Court Division 4 that was filed. December 13th of 2016 and it is still a pending and active case. And he can no pro- he can no longer practice medicine. Wait, did there's somebody else? They did because take his. I just looked up a doctor who how did I type? His it? name's Donald Klein. Yeah, but Donald somebody Klein. else. Yeah, there's, there's another, another doctor. doctor. Yeah, and they, another guy there came is actually that did the same thing. It said here that he is the subject if you want to actually watch the story there he is the subject of the netflix documentary uh, called our father which that's, premiered that's how i know may it. of 2022 i see a do- documentary i wish i'd be able to play that but you can do it on rumble yeah we could is it any good <laughs> you said you saw i did see yes, it yes. the there's a whole bunch there's a whole bunch of them actually um there's a whole bunch of doctors that do that um, someone actually yeah, said, no, I was thinking of how someone like, said they should have hit him with the back child support. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, can just you imagine, imagine how much that support? would be for almost 100 kids? Are you going I to the bathroom, Ashley? That. It looks like you're sitting on yeah. a toilet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, was the, I know, but I was doesn't it the, the way her, like, she's angled? She's like, she's like, squatting on the there. toilet and still talking to us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. I would never. <laughs> you only get a minute, Ashley. No. Oh my god. Um, I actually like thought about that the other day. Like two minutes to poop, like really? That's crazy. Yeah. I take longer to pee, like, come on now. Yeah, so here oh wait, it just freaking yeah, this stupid <laughs> I have to do an account. Hold on. I just saw it the picture just came up and then it went right. I'll be right back though. <laughs> okay, so here this is him. Man, he looks like a mean man. Wonder what he looked like. <laughs> yeah, younger is like man. I feel bad for the kids, but no, I mean, I guess he's not like what I found disgusting. But I guess not really funny, but funny because I have a demented sense of humor. <laughs> is that on his fertility wall, he has all the kids that um, have been born that he's produced for these women. They were all his, though. At least he's proud. Wow. It was so just a like, family oh, photo. No, oh, wait. How, so how many again did you say? 96. Is this it? Look, their biological father is the fertility doctor who helped their... Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, wait, it would be. That'd be at least one of them. Is this Klein? It's at least eight of them. Wow. Carbate children, but I can't. Where's their name? Is it? I don't Dude, there's a, sh- there's a shit ton of them. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of doctors there's an article. that have done Hang it. On. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send a link Why are to. These doctors doing it? Hold on, yeah. There's a whole link that shows uh, all of look them. Look right like there. Brief... Go back down and click where it said Doctor Klein Children. What the hell is this? I don't. Hang on, I'm gonna send it. That. You said go down. Down. Down like this way or the no, other? No, the other way. Oh, right and here. keep going. Oh, no. Keep going. Okay, right it'll stop right there. Go, go up. It's it's not with a photo right there. It says Dr. Donald Klein, and you can click on, I guess, like the related things, and it oh. should pull up. One of them will pull up all of the kids, but oh, this. Yeah, I'm not sure which one you have to click on to do it, but yeah. 
that he wall behind him, him is the wall of his success stories that turns out just to be a family photo. When you do stuff like that, that's when you should pay child support. Dude, you just be... Right? Everybody just yeah. started putting his right, name down imagine, for the daddy. Can you imagine what that child support would be for 18 years for each kid? No, 22 back... years to go to college. Oh, okay, yeah. well, he's a what? doctor, so he probably would have to pay, what, oh, $500? No, no more. Let's say $500 a month. Let's just say a hundred dollars a month. That's still for mm -hmm. he paid a lot more than that. Yeah, he paid a lot more than that. I yeah. paid three hundred and ninety-three dollars a month and I and am he, broke. His income. <laughs> Could you imagine times that by almost a hundred? Let's say let's say like five hundred thousand a month. Wow. I could he don't say make enough money to pay the child support a month. I would say that he would at least have to pay at least twenty five thousand. I've seen celebrities have yeah. to pay twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a month or a week. Some of them. Per I child. can't believe that per child. Wow, that's crazy. Twenty five thousand dollars a week. Oh, you did. Oh, you sent me a link on message. So oh, okay, let's, hold let's, on. Do let's say twenty five thousand. Uh, let's say a hundred thousand a month per child. Depends if you're that rich. Dude, I think crazy. you'd have to make a shit ton of money. I mean, what? they take into account how many kids I mean, he had to wouldn't that figure into that somehow? that's what i was why i was saying it would be so much because like, all the kids you know if you have one that's kid it. you pay more if you know you pay like a hundred dollars if you have two kids you're gonna pay 150 you know well it also is based on the the mother's income too yeah so, so. but but he <laughs> makes he makes a lot of money because he's that he's a sperm doctor okay but what if the person he did the did the stuff to is a billionaire that's yeah. true. Yeah. So that would let's mean. Say they, let's say they don't, they, they don't make that much money. Right. Let's say they make like a, only 150000 More than 50 they... doctors across the United States. Yeah. Oh, hold on. So I would say he would have to pay like 900 Let's say $10 million. Let me see something. Or was that the. A month. That's a lot of money. I'll take. I would take just a fraction. 10% of that and be fine. Wow. That's I, mean, I can crazy. imagine having to pay. If he actually had to pay the support and the back support for all 96 children, that, that's Jesus, well. that's a lot of money. Look, that person did file a federal lawsuit. Yeah. 19, 1980. And it was supposed to come from, this one was supposed to come from an anonymous donor. She did not know. They didn't even put him in jail? Yeah, but all these people have been caught, it looks like. This is from Dr. Berger. This is a different doctor, alleging Dr. Berger. Because they're mm -hmm. saying, they're naming, like, examples of, like, because there's 50, over 50 doctors that did this. <laughs> Why? Isn't it weird? I'm, because they had the opportunity to do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but why would you want to? Like, I, I mean, know. okay, I get going to a sperm bank. I I get that why women would want to do that, but why would you, as a doctor, want to impregnate? As you know, let's. Mm -hmm. You're a doctor. Why not? Why would you want to impregnate a bunch of women in one space, knowing that those children might eventually connect? Mm, and I don't get married or that whatever, thing. and then their brother and sister. So now you've created this big There's, epidemic, I guess is the way to put it. Of inbred, yeah, because they have a lot of they can have a lot of because yeah. Well, I don't know. It's crazy. But he could have asked. He could have gave. He could have asked permission. He didn't have to use. You know, he couldn't have done it on his own. Wait, so would ask he well, it did say anonymous donor. And I guess he could be. He is an anonymous, an anonymous donor. donor. So that would I mean, fall, kind of fall. I mean, those, how is that illegal? He would be the anonymous donor, right? Though? Yeah, but he can't just, I mean, if that was the case, then he should, then it's like me opening up a clinic saying, you know what? I'll get you pregnant. Yeah. That's yeah true. Some that. kind of ethics. Yeah. But I mean, for <laughs> the, the mother, would you, I mean, she shouldn't feel too. He, he could have asked because she wanted an anonymous donor anyway that she didn't know. But well, I know it's wrong. It's no, ethics. I, and it's wrong. He could have still asked. He could have said, "Can you? I use my sperm." 
I know, but it was going to be anonymous <laughs> anyway. I'm not saying what he did was okay, but I'm just trying to like see through every aspect that that's what she'd be getting anyway. She would have no idea who the father that? is, but he Can maybe you see one time. That? But what's that? I mean, could you see him doing that? So like all of a sudden he's like he's got his doctor outfit on, right? And he turns around and he opens up the cabinet and he turns back around. He's got a bottle of wine and a wine glass, and he's like, "So, do you mind?" If I'm the daddy today, you know, and I, you know what? Like, how do you ask somebody yeah. that? Like, Wonder actually, what they would have said. I mean, technically, he like, would be anonymous if he didn't tell them. But still, there's got to be an ethics violation oh, there yeah. somewhere. No, it is. Oh, for sure there is. But I'm just <laughs> saying, like, if you look I at I mean, it, I can understand, like, you know, it's supposed to be anonymous flaws. and all that. No, it's definitely ethic. There's some ethical situation. But so, wait, Carly says it was because his new, wait, he knew his work this upping his stats why don't i get what you're saying carly Thus what upping is his stats i don't know what does that mean he knew his because wood would i think what she work. means is this up in his she knew, he knew that he would get them pregnant and a lot of fertility doctors when you're going through fertility issues you check to see what their success rate is how many they've oh. you know been able to how many babies they've been able to produce so therefore oh, okay. by him doing this he has then upped his stats you know he went from oh i've produced four to i've produced a hundred guaranteed i'm the best doctor around yeah wow <laughs> therefore he can charge like, more uh, and all that this weird kind of uh i don't even know what you would call it but something was he was satisfying some kind of need of his you know what i'm saying <laughs> repopulating the earth yeah so it probably gave him like this felt like he was powerful and like more of a man <laughs> i don't know just something i'm a man right. man <laughs> that he could impregnate all these women he, <laughs> two I mean, guys it, listen in that doesn't make you a man dude getting women uh, okay impregnating them doesn't, doesn't make you a man but he thought it probably did. All money. the action. Okay. Now, if he, if he came out and be like, dude, I screwed 96 women. I'd be like, congratulations, dude. Uh, you know, but the other way around, like, he's like, Oh, I got 90 women pregnant. They didn't know about it. <laughs> a little bit of problem. There's two that. guys yeah. in Southern I mean, Indiana. They literally had a contest to see which their cousins. And they had a contest to see which one could wow. have the most children. They each have what? over 20 children. Wow. And they kept having them with each other, and neither one of them kept. They couldn't figure out why they weren't winning. Wait, what? Well, no, I'm not. Wait, maybe I didn't understand. What... <laughs> you said oh my god! Two cousins that are having a competition on who can have the most kids, and I said, and the problem is they keep having them with each other, and they can't figure out why neither one of them is going to win. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, because they cousins. This is his newest <laughs> juice. Yeah. Yeah. But it's actually I mean, two male cousins, but yeah. Oh, that's one of them my... has 27 and one of them has 26 children. Well, wow. it would have to be two cousins. I mean, what do you, because you're, how could they be giving him a sperm if it wasn't a male, though? Oh, because if it was female, it's different. No, I know, but for her to, never mind. It's, it's for fine. her to get him pregnant. <laughs> Yeah. Him and her, you know, together. <laughs> oh, so do you really think though it wasn't something like like this weird feeling, like some kind of weird? I'm gonna say power. I don't know how to label, but do, don't you think it's something like mental than primal. that, rather than just primal. yeah, yeah rather primal. than what do you think, rather than this, just because a lot some people are saying, oh, the success rates are higher, and then they won't have to pay for as many donors. But I think it's more than that because. But they're getting wrong. the donors anyway they just well they when you go and so you're looking at those clinics get. you look for the one that has the most success rate because in your mind that's going to be the better doctor so when these doctors do this they're oh. running their success rate up which then when a true person comes in there to have a baby or get inseminated whatever you look at their success rate. Oh, they've got a high success rate that, you know, are you going to go to the doctor that has, you know, done one surgery or are you going to go to the doctor that's done a thousand of those surgeries? So, yeah, you know, true. it's the success rate yeah. that is going to 
bring in the clients, which is going to bring in the money. Okay. Hey, you know what? I got a question for Zav. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you remember how we, we were talking on the phone earlier before live streams? Yeah. yeah. And um, <clears throat> we were asking each other how long, you know, how long are you going to be on a live stream? Because I may jump over to your live stream. And uh -huh. you said, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not going to be very long. And what did <laughs> I say? I said six hours later. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just looked you're up at six the hours time when you were started. Oh my God. This always happens. Even on, here's the thing, even on my pre records, I've been called out because I'll be like, start my pre records. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a quick video. And they'll be like 45 minutes later, and people will be like, wait, we thought this was quick. <laughs> and all my, like, I could have controlled it. And I still don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lordy. Yep. You're six good. Six hours. I didn't expect this long, but I probably wouldn't have been if I didn't. Yeah, do sad. This, but. <laughs> You've done a great well, job. You guys have all done a great job. Well, I'm going to jump yeah. off here and listen to you guys. Okay. Well, thanks for coming up. Hey, no problem. Hit me up later. And uh, you, uh, this is yeah. your this is your Twitter. Can you put it in the chat so I can follow you on X? Me? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. I'll put um, it in the chat for you. At TC, um, and I also have a channel. Well, I just realized that. that it is almost 2.30 a.m. my I time, channel and, and I have a doctor's appointment today, so I'm going to um, have to oh, shoot, back yeah. up out of this live because okay. I have to be up in like four or five hours to drive. Ooh. Whoa, okay. Yeah, go for so, it. Have, well, thanks yeah. for coming up. What's your channel name? It's my, it's my, it's my, it's my, um, it's my first and last name, um, on my original, um, um, my first and last name, Brian Pabay, B-R-I-N-P-A-B-E-Y. Wait, I didn't know. I said it was just going to be under Boss Baby. You got to send that to me then too. Did you start it at, already? Drop yeah, it's, just, a it's, a, it's a, and it's a playing game. It's like Fortnite. Oh, drop okay. the, uh, drop the link in the uh, private thing here. Yeah. I was well, just thinking it was it's... Boss Baby. Okay. Wow. Because uh, technically, Boss Baby is already uh, copyrighted. Ah, uh, uh, it's already used, used so you it. can't. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, it's all... Cool. All right. Yeah, put it in there, and then I'll have it, too. Check out our father documentary. Hey, Chris. Copyrighted. Oh, copyrighted of Boss Baby expires pretty soon. So when that expires, I'm going to um, use Wait. it. I'm how do you know? I'm confused. Because I'm looking at I, every month. I look at it and see when it expires. What? Now I'm when confused. It, now I don't understand what you mean. Then I thought you just meant somebody else had it. The, the trademark it, it expires every couple of years. So I'm looking at the trademark. I'm looking to trademark it myself. Oh, you want to do it and have it all? Okay, I see. Cool. All right. Well then. So when it expires. I'm gonna purchase the trademark. That's awesome. Okay. Wow, Boss Baby. Yeah, that's a good name, too. <laughs> it is cool. That's yeah. a good one. All right, y'all. I got to jump out of here. All I'll right. See, later. see ya. Thank you. Yep. Keep it Southern style, y'all. Yeah. Peace out. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, see ya. Um, what is... Uh, Chris, what is our father documentary? And what did you say, Boss Baby? No, I'm saying once the trademark expires for Boss Baby, I'm gonna purchase it. How wait, how much is it to do something like that? A couple, like about two, three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, it's definitely worth it. What? Um. So basically, how long can you keep the trademark forever? But you no, have to pay. Years. This is like seven years. Oh, and then you could do it again. Yeah. But wait, what if those people do it again? They have it. I don't think they are because they haven't made a movie. Oh, it's the movie. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Yeah, they won't do it again. Then I don't. Well, I don't know. Unless if they're planning on making another movie. Ah, now it's making sense. Okay. Um. Well, so you just have your ga your game so far. Your gaming yeah, on it. So yeah. So. Wait, you didn't put it in chat. Yeah, I'm putting it right now. If anybody uh, got some good other names that I could come up with, let me know. That's oh, not she, my first and last name. Yeah, you don't want that. I mean, you can, I guess. I mean, I don't. It's up to you, but I would think of something. But maybe. If somebody got yeah. some other good ideas, let me know. What's up, Sheepbuilder? I meant to say hi to you earlier when you came in, and I just 
we were talking and I uh, forgot, but hey, um, I don't know. Yeah. Does anybody have any, uh, tips or not tips, any, um, uh, ideas? So wait, question, do you want it to be kind of about your channel or like, so you're going to be gaming or are you going to do true crime? One that, I'm going to be actually both. Okay. So gaming and true crime. You know what you could do is you could game as you're talking about cases while you're gaming. Yeah. Cause I'm 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 gonna have two separate channels. That's the thing. One is gaming. Oh, one is that's what you mean. Okay, but why don't you do something? I don't think I've ever seen anybody have a channel that is gaming as they're just talking about cases. Cause you know how people game and they just talk. That might be. Yeah. I don't know. That could be maybe a, a a way to do it. Has anybody ever seen anybody do yeah, that? I need, to, so I need to focus on one thing at a time. You know. Oh, okay. Why do I have this up? I didn't even realize I had this page up. Hold on, let me remove <laughs> that up. Um, oh, it's about a doctor that... Oh, is that the documentary then? That was the one on Netflix? They found over 100 siblings. Several of his kids are genetic. Yeah, that might be the one they were talking about. Oh, Boss Baby, did you see Anthony's message? He said he'll make your intro and videos. He's really good at making like intros and stuff yeah uh, all right i mean i don't um, know if you're wanting an intro but and you should you should have a discord sad i do i think it's still up but i just haven't used it in years i don't did they end up just going away i have to figure I out i don't remember you how to get into it what's discord? that you haven't asked anybody to join us the thing well, no, there was people in it, but this was like probably three years ago, so I don't know. Somebody was running it when we were doing it, but I haven't been on it, and so I don't know if anybody's even in there. But I guess I'll have to see. I just I got rid of the app because I was out of data on my phone at the time, like years ago. But I did have one. Maybe I'll get it back up running. But I don't know. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, that's why I'm still waiting for, to, for you to put in chat. So, okay. So what about, since I never did get around to, uh, or maybe I could do it tomorrow, actually. Never mind, I'll wait. Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll do it. Um, I'm going to talk about it now. So did anybody watch the Ruby stuff going on? Did you guys see how Ruby, Frank, Frankie pled uh, guilty? And, and then there's a plea agreement that, I haven't read it, but I guess it basically said that she's going to uh, basically talk, um, like testify against, uh, what's her name? My God, I haven't looked in this case in forever. I forget her name. Dang it. What's the other lady's name? I can't think, but she's going to testify against her. Uh, and she pled guilty to all counts. And... um. I don't know what else. I haven't got to read it, but I was going to, I was debating today if I should do it on that or do it my part two on this. And I just decided to do the part two, but uh, we could possibly watch it tomorrow together if you want, but I don't know. It's interesting though. So I don't know how long she'll get Jody. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. So yeah. Um, yeah. She built her. She pled guilty. We could watch it, right? Well, actually, we could watch it now if you want. It's not that long. Her court. You guys want to watch it real quick? And then I probably should. I probably should get going soon. It's so late and I still have to edit. I wanted to edit a couple videos still too that I never got around to. Um, Let me see. Let me get it real quick. Have you followed that boss baby? Um, what? The jo Where Did you follow the Jody and Ruby stuff at all? Jody Aries? No, 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 but I understand why you would think that. Um, no, it's a case. It's like a CA case. She was like a big, uh, well, she had a YouTube channel, had like over, what, almost 2 million subs, but she had actually quit that. And she did this thing with this Jody. Um, eight Passenger was her channel. Eight Passengers was her channel. Um, and then her son end up, ended up breaking out she had him like uh tied up and so basically she pled guilty today which we thought she she tried to like 
originally say that they had to tie him up because he was abusing the other children but hey now she's i guess pled guilty there's some agreement where she's gonna testify against the other lady which i do think the other lady was the like the one that was more to blame even though it was ruby's kids but it was her that i feel like doing it more so but yeah so i don't know it's interesting i was covering it so but i was waiting for an, there hasn't been an update but now there's an update so let me look it up i'll show you how many knew about that yeah okay hold on we'll watch it we'll watch it real quick on law and crime so that is i i, I, I put my channel up oh okay cool all right i'll i'll put it in the uh chat too but let me start this so people i'm going to live stream at probably eight o'clock for like two hours on gaming yeah the fortnite okay do you talk for it yeah i do talk you'll see me i'm not I, I, i'll talk i don't use i don't show my face though okay all right, let me press play and then I'm going to click on it real quick. And sorrow for my family and my children. Oh, I face you. Ruby Frankie has pled guilty in court to the abuse of her own children. Her plea agreement goes into detail about what she did to her kids, and it is horrifying. Also, what does this mean for a potential sentence? We break it all. What do you guys, because I thought I was clicking on the court hearing, so there is a the court hearing you could just watch but i accidentally clicked on this do you want to watch the court hearing or watch this where he might just play clips of it no there you go what it will. hold on let me see what i don't know because hold on let me just kind of see if it looks like he's gonna i want you guys just what yeah, is the you... what state is this in uh utah what's the mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Why am I like having doubts? I don't know. Hold on. This is what I'll do. Well, I'll play this first, I guess, and then if he doesn't play it, then Hold down for you now. Watch it. Welcome to sidebar. I Presented hope he by plays Long it. Time. So I'm just here. But this might be all the way after Frankie. Frankie oh, it's the music. Guilty. Stop. This is okay. a major development in a case that we have been following since august this case out of utah ruby frankie has pled guilty now ruby frankie is the former youtuber who alongside her husband kevin created a now defunct channel on the platform called eight passengers this was a very popular channel it documented the lives of the couple along with their six children it had over two million subscribers but it didn't come without controversy no viewers took major issues with how ruby was parenting or maybe i should say disciplining her kids so in our house, we when we take something away, it's because they have shown that they are not responsible enough to manage it. And so we don't just turn around and give it back as soon as they start acting good. It has to be consistent. It has to be consistent over a minimum, minimum of six months. I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch and it would ease her discomfort if I came to the school with lunch. Um, but I, I responded and just said, Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning. And she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. Now, at one point, Ruby ended up partnering up with a woman named Jody Hildebrandt, who was offering these life coaching services through an organization known as Connections. In fact, Ruby was listed as a certified mental fitness trainer on the Connections website. But in August, she and Hildebrandt were each arrested and each charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse of Frankie's two young children who were staying at Hildebrandt's place. Her 12-year-old son managed to escape Hildebrandt's home, ran to a neighbor who called 911. Nine, I'm on the address of your emergency. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. We know there's been problems at this neighbor's house. He's emaciated, he's got tape around his legs, he's hungry, and he's thirsty. 
Now, the boy was reportedly emaciated with wounds, and there was evidence that he'd been tied up. His then nine-year-old sister, we believe that she's 10 now, uh, her Ruby's daughter, was reportedly found in the house in similar condition. She was taken to the hospital to be treated for malnourishment. Ruby, Jody, they were each arrested. They were charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse. Chris, I don't, I don't know how detailed it is. I think it does get information. I'm going to look for it because I know they're out there. I picked this. I was like, let's just watch this because in my head I was thinking maybe, just maybe they'll actually talk about, like maybe he'll show some of the agreement in it, I'm hoping. Um, and then we could, if he doesn't play the court appearance, then we'll just uh, we'll watch it all. Or not all, but the part where she talks. Um, I'm going to look for the documents though real quick abuse our understanding that each count could be a max of 15 years in prison and by the way kevin ended up filing for divorce from ruby and according to his lawyer he had been living separately from her for over a year before her arrest okay so then right before the weekend started we learned from frankie's law firm woodward law that ruby was going to enter a plea on monday december 18th there were apparently negotiations happening behind the scenes with the prosecutor's office. There was supposed to be a waiver hearing on December 18th. We had speculated, well, what could this be? A waiver. Boss, baby, I know what you look like now. It's so weird when you finally see somebody. I went through your channel and you, you do show your face in one of your videos. That has to be, I didn't get to hear the audio because this was playing. But it was like the one on Gabby. It looked like the thumbnail was. That's you, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I went through it a little bit and watched, you know, just kind of like skim through your videos and stuff. So the gaming, yeah, the gaming looks good. Um, I mean, it looks like good quality and stuff. So, uh, it lets, um, so it lets me do it to, um, to, um, PlayStation. So PlayStation lets you do it to, um, lets you go to YouTube as soon as I go to, as soon as I go to, I, I, I press the the game. I go to the YouTube and and I press record, and then I could start um live streaming. Well, that's cool that they do it right there. That it has that if they're they're compatible with YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is. And then I just start talking. Oh, cool! I don't have a camera on. I don't have a camera on, on PlayStation. I could get a camera, but that would cost me like seventy five bucks. Oh, wait, so you have to get a specific camera for PlayStation? Yeah, PlayStation 5. But wait, what kind of camera, though? I'm confused what kind of camera that you would need. Camera, so you can connect to PlayStation 5 to, like, so they can see my face. But no, it could be any camera, though, is what I'm asking. Does I, it I think it be a specific camera. Oh, so it can't just be, is it like a webcam type, or what kind do you need? Camera. Dude, I think I have an extra one, but it it only goes to the the resolution, isn't? I think so. I'm not really sure. I will have to find out. I have to call PlayStation. No, what I'm saying is, I might I have an extra one I don't use that I could probably send you. Um, but it's not quite as good a quality as this one that I'm using. But I have to find it. I don't know what I did with it though. I will have to ask PlayStation. Find out. I will have to call Sony to see if it were if you could work for it. You mean? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So let's see what they're hearing. Of course, is where the defendant in Utah can waive a preliminary hearing, a hearing where prosecutor will present all their evidence to a judge to determine if there is enough evidence to go forward. A number of reasons why you'd want a waiver hearing. One of them is if you end up entering into a plea and you no longer need a trial. And what was particularly interesting in the statement that was released by her law firm in anticipation of this plea deal was who she was blaming. I'm going to highlight one interesting part. She says, quote, Ruby Frankie is a devoted mother and is also a woman committed to constant improvement. Initially, Miss Frankie believed that Jody Hildebrand had the insight to offer a path to continual improvement. Miss Hildebrand took advantage of this quest and twisted it into something heinous. Over an extended period, Miss Hildebrand systematically isolated Ruby Frankie from her extended family, older children, and her husband, Kevin Frankie. This prolonged isolation resulted in Miss Frankie being subjected to a distorted sense of morality shaped by Miss Hildebrandt's influence. So really putting the blame in a way on Jody. Very, very interesting. Now, with all that in mind, let's get into what happened. Ruby Frankie officially pled guilty in the fifth 
district court in Washington County, Utah, in front of Judge John J. Walton. She pled guilty to four of the six charges, four counts of aggravated child abuse, each one a second degree felony. Ms. Frankie, how do you plead to count one aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony? Guilty. To count three aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony? Guilty. To count five aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony? Guilty. And to count six aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony? With my deepest regret and sorrow for my family and my children, guilty. Now, two of the charges were dropped. Counts two and four in the original information. Remember, I said she was originally charged with six counts. Well, two were dropped. And these counts were about abuse of both of the kids, where the physical injuries resulted in starvation or failure to thrive or malnutrition that jeopardized the child's life. Now, I wonder if since this was a plea deal, the prosecution just agreed to drop something. And maybe these two charges were duplicative of the other counts. Doesn't seem to me that they were tough to prove, as you will see in a minute. But either way, what Frankie pled guilty to is incredibly serious, as you're about to hear. We all know how much these cases really emphasize how scary the world can be and how unsafe it can be. That's why I wanted to take a minute to talk about our sponsor of this video, Morgan & Morgan. They have just been an incredible partner of ours. And the reason that I want to talk about them now is because one of the and Morgan have so much to this. I'm trying to find the documents now, guys. In Washington County, Utah, the defendant, Ruby Frankie, intentionally or knowingly inflicted and allowed another adult to inflict serious physical injuries upon her children that were ages 9, EF, and 11 to 12, RF, as more fully described below. So she didn't just do it herself, but she seemingly allowed Jody to do it too. Now, again, it's important when you look at the ages here, uh, seemingly nine years old for the daughter, 11 to 12 for the son, seems to me like this might have happened before and through his own birthday. Let's get into it. Count one is the longest. And I warn you right now, this is incredibly difficult to hear. And count one is aggravated child abuse of RF, her 11, 12 year old. Real quick, what a city, a city and state is this? And why am I like having a mic? I thought it was Utah, right? And what you city? Is it? it is Utah. Okay, what county? Does anybody know? Because I'm trying. I want to look up the records. Um, it, sh it should tell you in the bottom, no? The bottom of what? This the it doesn't oh, sign oh, it might. You're right. Hold on, let's see. Like the description. Hmm. Is that what you mean? Hmm. Or that's not what you meant? That's what I meant, yeah. I should oh, tell you, man. Okay. If not, I, I, I'll be able to Google it, but I know that the people in here know. <laughs> they, like a lot of people from, oh, Washington County. She built it from the area. Okay. I'm going to continue, so I'm going to look on um, in the court. Her old son. And it's about physical injury that includes physical torture. This is what it says. Count one. The defendant's actions involve the physical torture of RF. Initially, RF was forced to do physical tasks for hours and days at a time. These included wall sits, carrying boxes full of books up and down stairs, and working outside. Eventually, RF was forced to do outside labor without shoes and in the summer heat. He was forced to stand in the direct sunlight for several days. He was forced to remain outside at all hours of the day and night for extended periods of time. These actions resulted in repeated and serious sunburns with blistered and sloughing skin. RF was denied adequate water for several of the days he was required to remain in the summer heat, and he was punished when he secretly consumed water. He was denied sufficient food, and when given food, he was given very plain meals, example, rice and chicken, while others in the house ate regular and more flavorful meals. He was isolated from other people and denied all forms of entertainment, including books, notebooks, and electronics. In addition, after RF attempted to run away in July, his hands and feet were regularly bound. Binding included being tied to the defendant and to weights. 
Many times, the binding included using two sets of handcuffs, one on RF's wrists and one on his ankles. Again, very consistent with what we've heard so far about his injuries. At times, with RF lying on his stomach, ropes were used to tie the two sets of handcuffs together so that his arms and lower legs were lifted off the ground. The bindings resulted oh, in Russell. And the ankles where the handcuffs cut through the skin and damaged the muscle tissue. These injuries were treated with homeopathic remedies and covered with duct tape. That's when we heard about the cayenne pepper being used. Then the bindings were placed on top as if that wasn't horrifying enough, it goes on to say, again, all part of count one, physical torture. Specific instances of abuse committed by the defendant include one, kicking RF while wearing boots, two, holding his head under water, and three, cutting off oxygen by placing her hands over his mouth and nose. I tell you right now, I'm not going to lie to you, that is actually worse than what I thought we were dealing with. I didn't know. That's what I freaking messaged in the uh, chat. This is worse, dude. I didn't think it was. You heard that she Holy played guilty, cow. right, Ashley? Now, when um, yeah. I, I missed at the beginning, is she saying that's what Jody did to her? Or is she saying she did it? I missed the beginning because I was looking at the court and I didn't think he was right. I wasn't and I realized, oh, Shoot. Does anybody... I wasn't back yet, so I don't know. For so she basically took a plea because she's going to testify against Jody. So... Yeah. Um, but, so I don't know. Is she... I don't know if she's saying this is what Jody did or this is what we did. How did they word that? Yeah, worse than I freaking thought, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Me too. Oh, there's more. Hold on. I might rewind <sighs> it's it. so hard after. to hear. I kind of want to... Oh. We'll be right back in. I'm going to refresh. Right. Okay. I kind of want to rewind it so I could hear. Do you guys mind? Because I missed some of it because I was looking for the documents. Torture. This is what it says. Count one. Oh, wait, hold the on. defendant's actions involve the physical torture of RF. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to see how that leads into that. What he should say. Birthday? Let's get into it. Count one is the longer. Hold on, Ruby second. Frankie intentionally or knowingly inflicted and allowed another adult to inflict okay. Okay. serious That's physical good. injuries on her children yeah. that were ages 9 EF and 11 to 12 RF as more fully described below. So she didn't just do it herself, but she seemingly allowed Jody to do it too. Now, again, it's important when you look at the ages here, uh, seemingly 9 years old for the daughter, 11 to 12 for the son seems to me like this might have happened before and through his own birthday let's get into it count one is the longest and i warn you right now this is incredibly difficult to hear and count one is aggravated child abuse of rf her 11 12 year old son and it's about physical injury that includes physical torture this is what it says count one the defendant's actions involve the physical torture of rf initially rf was forced to do physical tasks for hours and days at a time. These included wall sits, carrying boxes full of books up and down stairs, and working outside. Eventually, RF was forced to do outside labor without shoes and in the summer heat. He was forced to stand in the direct sunlight for several days. He was forced to remain outside at all hours of the day and night for extended periods of time. These actions resulted in repeated and serious sunburns with blistered and sloughing skin. RF was denied adequate water for several of the days he was required to remain in the summer heat, and he was punished when he secretly consumed water. He was denied sufficient food, and when given food, he was given very plain meals, example, rice and chicken, while others in the house ate regular and more flavorful meals. He was isolated from other people and denied all forms of entertainment, including books, notebooks, and electronics. In addition, after RF attempted to run away in July, his hands and feet were regularly bound. Binding included being tied to the defendant and to weights. Many times, the binding included using two sets of handcuffs, one on RF's wrists and one on his ankles. Again, very consistent with what we've heard so far about his injuries. At times, with RF lying on his stomach, ropes were used to tie the two sets of handcuffs together 
so that his arms and lower legs were lifted off the ground. The bindings resulted in injuries to RF's wrists and ankles, where the handcuffs cut through the skin and damaged the muscle tissue. These injuries were treated with homeopathic remedies and covered with duct tape. That's when we heard about the cayenne pepper being used. Then the bindings were placed on top of the duct tape. As if that wasn't horrifying enough, it goes on to say, again, all part of count one, physical torture. Specific instances of abuse committed by the defendant include one, kicking RF while wearing boots, two, holding his head under water, and three, cutting off oxygen by placing her hands over his mouth and nose. I tell you right now, I'm not going to lie to you, that is actually worse than what I thought we were dealing with. I didn't know any of that. I don't think any of us really knew any of that. You know, it seems to me one of the reasons the starvation charges were dropped is because it was duplicative of this conduct. You might not have needed that after everything we just heard. And it does make me wonder if that account, everything that we just heard, was not only determined from the physical evidence, the physical examinations of the kids, what the kids ended up saying to law enforcement and medical professionals, but maybe Ruby Frankie herself, which she admitted to doing. Wait, can I just, I'm going to go, I'm not going to, I'll fast forward it back up, but I just want to see that last one. So 1141, I'll go right back to it, but let me just read this real quick. I missed that last one about the draft or the stuff. Okay. So she would committed by defendant, including kicking him while wearing boots holding his head under water, cutting off oxygen by placing her hands over his mouth and nose. Ah, okay. Oh my God, this is horrible. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? I write it down 1141. Oh my God, I just can't. I can't. I mean, again, this is her admitting to what she did personally and what she allowed to happen. We're going to talk about punishment a little later, but just keep all that in mind, that description. And keep in mind, too, when we talk about her putting the blame on Jody. There's the second count, which actually was count three in the original information document. But this is the second count that she's pleading guilty to. And this count is about aggravated child abuse on RF, her son. But it's about physical injury causing emotional harm. Count two. The actions described above cause severe emotional harm to RF due to the fact that they began in May and escalated through the summer months. Fairly understandable. Additionally, the defendant and another adult, presumably Jody, regularly sought to indoctrinate RF and convince him that he was evil and possessed, and that he needed to willingly be obedient to avoid punishments, and that the punishments were necessary to repent. He was also told that everything that was being done to him were acts of love. Yeah. That wow. level of manipulation, that again, is so consistent with what we've heard about from alleged victims of Jody Hildebrandt, including her niece, Jessie, who we interviewed in October. So she strips you of identity, she strips you of credibility, and she isolates. And so she's saying, everything that you say is a lie. Everything that you say is, is manipulation. You're manipulating everyone around you. You're lying and destroying everyone's life. I can't and she would tell me all the time, if you crazy. confess, I will stop. You confess, I will stop, which is torture. Again, it's almost verbatim to what this description was about what these kids had to endure. And I said kids because now let's move on to the third count. We talked about the son. Now let's talk about the daughter. So this was the third count that Ruby is pleading guilty to, but this was actually count five in the original information. And this is about the abuse of EF, Ruby's then nine-year-old daughter. And this is injury resulting in emotional harm. Count three, the defendant's actions also caused severe emotional harm to EF. Other than binding and the specific instances of abuse RF was subjected to, EF was subjected to the same treatment as her brother. She was isolated and forced to do the physical tasks, remain outside, and denied food and water. She was also repeatedly told she was evil and possessed. The punishments were necessary for her to be obedient and to repent. And these things were being done to her in order to help her. EF was convinced that she was evil and needed to go through these things in order to repent. Can we just understand for a minute what these kids psychologically now have to go through to not accept what happened to them. I mean, that is a clear 
example of what we've talked about with other victims of abuse that they think they did something wrong. Think about what these kids went through. I just have to stop a little bit, you know, to give some commentary. Wow. I I don't even know what to say. I, yeah, definitely worse than I freaking yeah. thought. This reminds me, me of the too. case we just, finished, we just watched, finished watching a similar case. Yeah. The wall sits, uh, similar stuff, and it almost... At least nobody, in this case, nobody died. True. I wonder how long they did this. How long were they doing this for? This could Ever have since been like Timothy. You know, yeah. it could have ended up like Timothy yeah, if he didn't I mean. escape and get out. It yeah. probably would have ended in death. Wow, that's why the neighbors said they were so scared that the kids were going to come out in body bags. Yeah, but when? Oh. How long do you think this was going on? Do you think ever since she met Jody had started? Because that was a couple. Wasn't that a few years? No, no. I think yeah. maybe. About six months to a year, probably before. Was Jody doing time too? Yeah, Jody. Yeah, they both they got arrested. Gone. But wait, so I forget what I was gonna say now, man. I'm. I think she I'm always abused those kids, but I don't. Yeah, think her, but not her stupid. mechanisms were as intense until no. after she met Jody. And well, then why I think do you think triggered got worse? But what do you um, think triggered this, taking it up to this extreme? Because, you know what I'm Jody, saying? I wonder if, like, but that's what then, then I'm saying, how long ago did she meet Jody? That would have been a couple years at least, wouldn't it? Yeah, 2020 is when she met Jody. So, like, that means they were going through, like, this extreme stuff for that long, do you think? No, like I said, uh, I think it was just six months to a year that it's been this extreme, but. Wait, when did she meet Jody? What did you say? 2020. 2020 man it's been long, actually, so long since I... sorry no go ahead she was her older or jody hildebrandt was her older son's um therapist that's yeah, how they I knew. first met, oh that's yeah. how they met i just thought that she had yeah. to be with her oh i didn't realize that's how they met okay no. um wow i'm just like oh, what the heck and though yeah. so she's pleading guilty because she knows she i mean how is she so she's going to turn on Jody, but wonder what Jody's going to do. Jody's going to put the blame on her, probably. Probably, is, yeah. What is, what is the punishment in this state for the crime? I don't know. I'm going to look it up, but I want to make sure I get the exact charges so I could see what the punishment. I heard, no, I'm not going to say because the person that told me, I don't know if they ever looked it up because they said 10 years, but I want to make sure before I go quoting that, that it is actually... um. Does anybody know the exact charges? Well, I'll look it up. Okay, I'm going to continue playing, and then we'll see what the maximum she could get. Yeah, is it just that? But isn't there certain, like, type? Oh, let me, hold on, let me. Look. We don't know if it's effective yeah. as well. Ask, we'll be frank. What? We don't know if the, if, if the punishment is consecutive. It is. They said consecutive. Um, yeah, they did. He, I remember hearing that on the uh, court. So we, we could just go to the court uh, hearing and listen. But yeah, he said they said consecutive. So they got to serve time together then. This is actually number six in the original information. And this was about abuse of EF that constituted physical injury that includes multiple injuries. Count four. The defendant's actions caused two or more physical injuries to EF. She was forced to work outside in the heat barefoot. She was also forced to run barefoot on dirt roads for an extended period of time. Remember, this was during the summer. EF's feet were repeatedly injured by, and she was repeatedly sunburned. When examined on August 30th, these wounds were apparent by scabs, blisters, and sloughing skin. I don't know if there's even more I have to say here, but so what we have here is repeated physical abuse and injuries, not isolated incidents. They both suffer. They both suffered tremendously. It is horrifying stuff, which leads me to an important part of this plea agreement document. So as part of this deal, Ruby Frankie agrees to give up her constitutional rights, her rights to a jury trial, to call witnesses, to testify at her trial, to appeal. But now let's get into the consequences for entering a plea. Now, there's nothing in here that prosecutors and attorneys worked out regarding a determinate sentence. Like, and in light of this, you're now going to, we agree to six months in prison. 
Instead, let me read this to you. I know the maximum sentence that may be imposed for each crime to which I am pleading guilty. I know that by pleading guilty to a crime that carries a mandatory penalty, I will be subjecting myself to serving a mandatory penalty for that crime. I know my sentence may include a prison term, fine, or both. I know that in addition to a 90% surcharge will be imposed. I also know that I may be ordered to make restitution to any victim, victims of my crimes, including any restitution that may be owed on charges that are dismissed as part of a plea agreement. I know that if there is more than one crime involved, the sentences may be imposed one after another consecutively, or they may run at the same time concurrently. So it is up to the judge to determine what the sentence will be. And theoretically, it could be the maximum of 15 years in prison on each to run consecutively one after the other. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but in light of what she pled guilty to and what she admitted, my opinion, there is no way she isn't getting prison time in my mind. No way. She's so let me just correct myself. Maybe it wasn't consecutive. I remember hearing him say consecutively in court, but maybe he was saying that. And then he said, uh, he said them both maybe now that I'm thinking. I don't know because the way he read that, he, they, he didn't decide yet, right? It sounded like the judge didn't decide if it's consecutively. Consecutive, he hasn't even gave the sentence yet, but go ahead. What? Because if it's consecutive, it's 15 years. That's like 60 years. That'd be a lot if he does that, but he might, maybe he didn't say that yet. Um, I thought they just said originally, like I said, I thought they said whatever the sentence, whatever the, the sentence for each of was. This is going to die in prison. Yeah, I mean, that would be a lot. But for some reason, I don't know. I'm not sure what he's going to do. I want to look at the max for each. Is he saying that the max is 15 for each? Or is he just guessing right there? No, when he just... That's what he said. So 15, so there's three, right? So four. Oh, it's four? No, four charges. I thought there was five total, but it was three that she no, was doing. Six charges. Oh, and she's, she's doing. She How many charges okay, is you're there right. for real? You're right. You're right. He was right, yeah, boss baby, yeah. So he said it's six okay. charges, and he pled. She to do it four, so okay. four okay. times fifteen, sixty. Wow, so she could potentially yeah. get sixty, but we don't know. He might, uh, he might not run them consecutively. I was, I was wrong about that. I misunderstood. He it concurrent. Oh, I thought they did. He might, means, he might. If she he runs it concurrent, she would have to stay out of trouble. And if she gets into trouble, she would she would get. She would, she, if she gets into trouble, that means she would have, to, she would, have, concurrent means she would have, to, she would get out of jail on probation for like the next 45 years. And if she gets into trouble, she would have to do the 45 years plus the extra, whatever the time she gets. Yeah. Wow. I mean, so yeah, so maybe he will because therefore, he, he she screws up, you know. Nobody, nobody wants to be on probation in 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be yeah, but it's better than being in prison, right? Yeah, yeah so probably. Probably. <laughs> I mean, wait. wait. <laughs> uh, I don't know, eyes on your ass. So... Yeah, I yeah. think I'd rather be out with on probation. Yeah, so would I. Uh, I mean, maybe there's some people. But wonder about but... Jody. Do you so? Do you think since? But what if Joe? Okay, so is it basically whoever acted first? So she already got the deal, right? Now Jody can't get a deal. She probably get a deal too. She probably could. Oh, but can she get the same deal? Hey, I'll testify against no, Jody. I get, is... but that'd be the. How can you do no, that? She, if she's guilty, she probably gets a lesser, uh, better deal. If she just like, pleads guilty, saves the court uh, trial money and trial yeah, time, and, like, and whatever. Let's let's see how much she gets. If she get, yeah. let's say, let's say for example, she got like fifteen years. Jody might get get maybe five years. No, Jody's gonna get more. I think. I think. But That's who was the I, mastermind? Jody, I think Jody was the mastermind, I but. Think so too. Ruby's was the mom to the kids. It was her kids, but Jody so was the mastermind. I, yeah. I well, more. The mastermind might get the consecutive then. Yeah, I think Jody will get more. I really do. They were at her her house when it happened. I do. I, I do. Really I do. But what what Ashley? I think they'll both get their time consecutively, but 
But who do you think will get more? Yeah. Consecutive, that means 60 years. But then they, I think yeah. they'll appeal in and then they'll get. But boss, so, maybe they might not get the max for each one, though. They could get five no, for think, each one. This is what I think. They get a, she'll get the 60 years, then they're going to appeal it, and then, then they're going to get 15 years. Okay. Then the Court of Appeals is going to give her 15 years. Ashley, so what did you say? Who do you think should get worse? You never answered because you've been. Oh, Jody for sure. Yeah. yeah okay. I think, be Jody, yeah. I think they should get yeah. equal, but Jody, I feel, will get the most time. And I think they'll both get it consecutively. Like, whatever do? time they have to do, I think they'll get it all at once. So let's watch what's going on. Wait, what do you mean? All yeah. at once? No, consecutively would be they'd have to serve on them each on top of each other. That'd be longer. Do you think that? Like, if they get 15 years consecutively for four counts, oh, 60 that, years. That would be 60. Good. Concurrent is all together at the same time. Potentially. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, no. I I think it'll be all at the same time. Okay. Concurrent. Okay. Let's watch the. I think we only have a co not that much longer. Let's see. Is, what would you do if you the judge? And as much as she put, uh, I don't know because I I'm not I. That's why I would never want to be a judge, dude. I don't know, yeah. man. Technically, anybody could be a judge. You do not have to have a law degree. Wait, say that again. You do not have to have a law degree to be a judge. Yeah, you. What do you mean? I think yeah, you. you I mean, you're. Yeah, I thought you did, and then and then no, you'll you never. I mean, I mixed it up. You can. Oh. You can anybody can be a judge. I don't. I mean, I. They probably be really hard to to get to be able to be one if you're not because if, if you have to apply for it. Yeah, but you probably would never get it really. But I didn't know that. Okay, huh? That's interesting. Is it per state though? Could other states have different? They per state, you don't have. You don't have hmm. to be a. You do huh. not have to be a law degree. Yeah, I just like, looked you it need, up. It says like, if, like if you like if you have a law degree, it helps. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yep, yeah, you worded that better. Yeah, if you have a law degree, it would definitely help. Um, yeah, I just I just looked it up, and it says not every type of judgeship requires that you get a law degree. Uh, to and do become uh, a lawyer, or a judge. Hold on. Uh, but if you do want to qualify to become a judge in a higher court. You must attend an American Bar Association accredited law school and get a Juris Doctorate JD degree. A full-time JD degree program takes three years to complete, so you do have to. But if the governor, oh, wait, you if do? the governor of the state appoints yeah. you to be a judge, but yeah, but you still have to have some. But let's say you have a friend as a governor. And the governor uh, picks you to be a judge, would you automatically become a judge? Hmm. Well, what is the three years that you're saying? Yeah, it says all it? justices have been trained in the law, so they have to. They have to have some kind of training. Or yeah, or yeah, something. Education, but yeah, because that would be like maybe how not that judge exact without thing. like you'd be lost. You would have to know yeah. your stuff. Well, I could not yeah. go in there and be a judge. <laughs> no, no way. I know the law, I, like I, like I'm not really 100 percent trained, but I know, I know most of the stuff because I, like I've studied, like I've done studying and stuff in my in a high school. In the high school I was at, they, they taught that type of stuff. Uh -huh. But like, it, and most likely, if I took the bar exam, I most likely I'll pass it. What? Ooh. Wow! Wow! You should take it that's then. Cool. You, yeah, if you take it, it, you got to go to law school. And I don't. That's too much work. Wait, do you have to go to law school to take the bar? Okay. Like, if you were able to pass it, wouldn't they? You'd be like, oh, you don't it's need law school. It's stupid. Certain states don't require you to take to go to law school, like California, I believe. You just have to do a, a judgment, a, like a judgment ship and stuff like that. But in New York, unfortunately, you have to go. To Most law people, it takes um, at least two or three tries to take the bar exam. I, I know, but, dude. Like, wow. the bar, oh, it's like a thirty-five fee. But, uh, yeah, I would fail. Uh, <laughs> Failed so bad, yeah. But if I studied, though, they I say, think I they say it's easier it. to become a doctor than I to become a lawyer. Oh, really? Easier to become a doctor? Yeah. Right. yeah. I guess it depends on what the person, though. Like, some people, under, you know, are better in different areas. Like, because you know what I'm laws, saying? 
laws you could compare. Laws can change. Yeah, people uh, are but so can medical stuff. Like medical things change all the time. I feel like what? Oh what yeah, that's mean? that's always changing. Probably more than the law. Because <laughs> uh-huh. like I don't know, you have to constantly learn something in the medical field. Yeah, like, there's so no point where depends. you finally know it all. You know. Yeah, it depends who it is and who. Like some people might think like a, somebody that's more doctor equipped would be like, man, law school is a lot harder because they that's not their what they are good at you know what i'm saying so no i think it depends but um but i'm sure law so yeah i'm sure law school's hard oh um, yeah let's put see the blame on jody she admitted to direct aging in this behavior and allowing this to happen to her kids and for a um, prolonged period of time three months in the hot summer in fact let me add this too it says in this agreement quote the defendant agrees to serve a prison term and the sentences for each count are to be served consecutive to each other. It seems to me that is something we may see. So even if it is one year in prison, that's a minimum of four years in prison. See, that's what I, that's maybe where I was seeing that. What? I don't understand. He, that's he what I was saying. Consecutive then. So it looks okay, because like- he said that, but then he's saying it almost like it might, that may be that. But it's up, that- the, it's up to the judge. So the judge says 15 years oh. each. He's going to serve 60. No, but what I'm saying is, is he saying in that agreement that it's consecutive? Yes. So that's what she's going to get, whatever it is, consecutive. Yeah. So I was right. Okay. Judge, I was going to say. Like- ass, if the judge is an asshole, huh. he could get 60 years. Potentially. Potentially. But I'm wondering why a part of the agreement it listed them both. It oh it could be both, and then all of a sudden it says it's consecutive. Yeah, I'm still not sure if he's saying. Let me see how that's worded. They're they're wording this weird because he's taking things right from the the plea, right? It says in this agreement, quote: the defendant agrees to serve a prison term, and the sentences for each count are to yeah. be served consecutive to each other it seems to me okay. that so is something we may see so even if it is one year, see? that's a minimum of four years in prison why is he saying it like that it's you- something we may see is it, are you reading from the freaking plea agreement or not if it is it's saying that it is but then before that it was like saying it was it could be either or so i'm just gonna not overthink it and just wait <laughs> i don't know i'll just somebody asks i just i don't know what the answer is what you guys how did you take that so so why they why does so why could why does that judge have to decide why the why can't the um the prosecutors can't say look each let's give a five years five years per you know like well, that's each, the judge's job you know what i'm I saying know, in certain states like where i live at in new york the judge doesn't determine that it's besides the prosecutor. So let's say oh. if it should have been in New York, the prosecutor be it's five years for each count consecutive. So that would be 15 years. They could have done the same thing. I always thought the judge decided the sentencing. No, but the judge has to agree to, to the terms. Oh, you're saying the yeah. prosecutor probably makes a recommendation. Hey, this is what we want. This is what we want to get. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they probably would, but well, I don't know. Um, let me think how that would be when they, okay, you don't go to trial. I guess it probably depends on the situation too, exactly. right? Like that. And the judge could also reject the plea agreement and said, no, I don't agree with this plea agreement. Yeah, the judge me. overrides everything. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like, no. I've yeah. seen it happen. I feel like the judge, because the judge says, oh, mm-hmm. I want y'all to go to trial because I think this person, I want this person locked up. Yeah. Um, and it could happen. The judge could say, I want you to go to trial. No, she took the plea. I guess it's, it's, not plea, official. it's not official. The judge could force her to go to trial. Well, no, because I think if he accepted the deal, if she, if he already accepted the deal, no. But I don't know. I'm sure it sounds like that. Even, the, even though the prosecutor said the deal is up to the judge to um, reject. or I um, thought. Oh, I know. thought the judge already accepted the... No, it didn't say that the judge accepted the deal. Well, we don't know what the deal is, but the judge accepted her guilty 
her guilt oh, and, yeah so he just has to sentence her what do you mean i didn't know that, that if you plead guilty you don't have to go to trial that they would you know what i'm saying that's the whole thing oh. to find out if you're guilty or not and she's pleading guilty so they're oh, good so it's, it's the baby the judge the judge already uh, um granted the so i, I mean i guess i'm trying to think i mean if you look at it is it i mean i guess it's not like it is a deal, but it's not. I mean, she's pleading guilty and she still could get the max, you know, I mean, she doesn't know what it's going to be, but probably hoping because she's pleading guilty. She's given information, being honest, that maybe they'll give her a better, you know, a better sentence than they would otherwise, you know. So I don't know when the sentencing is going to be. Does any she builder? Do you know? Or Ashley, do you know? You can look it up. I'll look it up. But yeah, I'm still looking up. Look it out. What was the question? What's that? What did you say, Ashley? Question. I can't hear you. <laughs> what? Right, I'm gonna press. Sorry. Play. I can't. I'm just reading the tea leaves from this agreement. We will. I didn't hear how you. Like, wait, I do want to move on to another okay. big point in this plea agreement. The defendant agrees to testify truthfully against Jody Hildebrand. And in return, the Washington County Attorney's Office agrees to remain neutral regarding future hearings before the Utah Board of Pardons and Parole. So, in other words, she will be a state's witness. She will testify against Jody Hildebrand in exchange. Uh, the prosecution will not seek to keep her in prison at a later parole hearing. I, I, that's what we were expecting to hear. That is a very, very big deal because you would Whoa. be Frankie a plea deal. And I imagine that's maybe why they dropped two of these counts. You want her to be the state's star witness against her co-defendant, Jody Hildebrand. So you drop two charges, maybe secure some sort of lenient sentence. That puts pressure on Jody, though, to maybe take a deal, too. Having Ruby testify against you is not great. And it also seems that you would want Ruby to testify so as maybe to not have the kids be forced to testify about what they endured. You always want to avoid minor witnesses testifying if you can. That is extremely painful for them. And from a credibility point of view, those who suffer abuse at such a young age, it can make it very difficult to remember certain details. So having Ruby be your star witness makes sense. Now, I will say, could this help Jody Hildebrand? Will she want to fight this? Could she say, hey, Ruby just admitted to everything she did. I had no part in this. It's going to be very, very hard to argue that given what we have just read and the evidence in this case so far, but something to think about. Now, there's a part that Ruby can withdraw the plea before the sentence. Her sentencing is set for February 20th. We will make sure to cover that here on Sidebar. But as for Jody Hildebrandt, she has a waiver hearing scheduled for December 27th. Will she plead guilty? Will that hearing be delayed? Will she merely waive her right to a preliminary hearing? We shall see. The game has changed, though. Now that Ruby did this. And by the way, here is the prosecutor, Eric Clark, after the hearing uh, where they held a presser talking about this. This morning, Ruby Franklin pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated child abuse. She will remain incarcerated awaiting sentencing, which will occur. And I, the, the date was February 20th, I, I believe. Why so long? Franky has oh, I missed it. Criminal actions and when did they say? February 20th. Oh, okay. Wait, that's when sentencing is. Yeah. Okay. So what happens if the lady's not con not convicted? She's acquitted. She's already pled guilty, so she can't. No, be the other lady, the other lady. She'd have to go to trial, and well, let's say I she don't goes think. Yeah. Guilty. With Ruby's test testifying against her, if she does, I don't know. I think she would mm -hmm. lose. But this is what I understand. They're saying, oh, she may I take a deal too. Yeah. How can they give her a deal because they don't need her anymore? What do they need her for? But let's say that she wins. Does this deal go away? No, no. She wouldn't lose. No. I, she's I'm not going to win, though. But but this makes no sense, though, because if they, oh, Rudy, I'm going to testify against Jody, but, or Ruby, let's say Jody says that for a deal, they don't need that because Ruby is already admitting to whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand how Jody could even have a deal. Yeah, true. It's a, it's a gamble that you take when you go to trial. No, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about whether she pleads guilty or not. I'm talking about if they actually give her some kind of, 
break in her sentencing for a deal because he mentioned we they don't know now she could just plead guilty and maybe yeah i guess never mind she could plead guilty not go to trial and they'll give her yeah they could give her a lighter sentence just for pleading guilty yeah never mind but as far as testifying right. against ruby i don't think that would be not like i don't know it should be i don't think she would get a, as good of a deal because they have ruby now to get the information from but who knows i don't know what do you guys think maybe but you, it's always a chance when you go to trial. Just because somebody testifies against you doesn't mean that person's gonna. Oh wait, you gonna lose? You know? Yeah, no, they, she could win. I'm just saying, I don't think she would, but she could definitely win. And if she I, and if you got a good lawyer like Jose Baez, when Jose Baez won against um, what do you call the Casey Anthony case? Who you know, is she, her she, lawyer? She, yeah, I don't. But, I don't like. If you got a good lawyer, she and, might. I mean, she, I think she has a lot of money, so she probably does. She have a good lawyer, Ashley. You know who? I don't know who her lawyer is. There's a chance, but I'm, I think it's a small chance that she'll win. Like, I'm gonna Google it. Like, okay. if she wins, I hope they don't take back the deal because that'd be messed up. No, they can't take. They wouldn't. That would be messed up. Why would they take back the deal? It's on Ruby's deal. No. Sometimes they do that. They say, upon conviction, you know, this is the deal. It depends if that's in the plea agreement, and I don't think it is. Okay. That would have to be in the agreement. Okay, so, so her I'm... lawyer's name. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Her lawyer's name is Lamar Windward. Wonder if he's any good. W-I-N-W-A-R-D. I'll look him up after. Let me play the rest yeah. of this so I can get this off the screen, and then I'm gonna see if I can find the plea. If he, got, if he wins all his cases. Yeah, we'll see. Hold on, let me look him up. The extent possible in this type of a situation. We're grateful for the law enforcement officers, caseworkers, Children's Justice Center staff, and others that have been instrumental in the fair and speedy resolution of this case. Because the alleged facts of the ongoing case involving Jody Hildebrand are intertwined with this case, our office will not be making additional statements to the media at this time. Definitely a win for the prosecution. And there you have it. Ruby Frankie has pled guilty. She will be sentenced, and we will see. What happens next with Jody Hildebrand? That is always okay. Looks like it said something. Hold on, I'll pull this up. It does look like he might have a pretty good record. I don't know how good. Where? Um. So it says has a reputation for creative litigation approaches, achieving exceptional results. This is the right one, right, Ashley? Is that the right? I think so, yeah. That's what I'm seeing, too. I want to see one if we could get, like, a track record, like, how many he won, how many he lost. Yeah, so that's what I was is. looking up, his statistics. Yeah, statistics. Oh, do you have them? Not yet. I'm looking, though. So, his practice has... Has, wait, let me just read this. Wrong. Lamar has considered himself a general practitioner of law and has handled a wide variety of cases on the local, state, federal, and international level. His practice has developed with a broad sense in family-related issues, including divorce, annulment, protective orders, support, child custody, etc., and a broad base in the criminal law, including DUI, drugs, and crimes against people. He understands many of his clients facing legal issues come to him perhaps the hardest of times in their lives um okay we gotta get his uh his record I have, yeah i might have to go a different site i don't know when would his general law practice handles personal family law let's see oh you can't even oh. click on yeah i'm gonna have to look up another website here this isn't gonna All right, one second. Let's see if we go. Reviews. He has a 4.4 .4 reviews. Did you look at did you find the statistics or no? No, I'm still trying to find it. I don't see anything that gives an exact number of statistics, like how many cases versus how many lost oh There's are you so sure that's jody's because it's saying ruby is that has him 
I was looking for Jody's. That's why I was looking up Ruby's lawyer. Oh, wait. What? Oh, okay. Hold on. Is this Jody's or Ruby? Hold on. Let me. I'm still confused because I don't think they would have the same lawyer. Some people. That's don't. Ruby's lawyer. You know, but it might be a no. I don't interest think if they did. Yeah. So let's do Jody. Jody, hold on. Man. This is Ruby's lawyer. Lawyer. I'm just curious because, um, I don't know where is it. You please guilty. I didn't see I it at first look either, up the but I, just, I think I just okay. found it. You found it? Surrendered. Hold on. No, not yet. Yeah. Well, you look for that. I'm going to look for the... I want to find the records. To, uh, the plea agreement records. Why am I in California? Where? How did I get to California? <laughs> Wait. I swear I put in Washington County. Where did it go? So Washington County, Utah court records. Let me see if... How's everybody in chat doing? Who do we got? Oh, you got oh, almost I, 80, 80 yeah, people. Yeah, not bad. I can't... For this late... Dang, I this just... Is, you know, bad. seven of oh. us. It's already 3.30. You guys, I might end up... If you see this coming up, I might end up um doing a, a pre-record and clipping this off the end. It'll still be on the live, but uploading it as a... Because a lot of creators do that. And I need to take advantage of it, but uploading it as just yeah. a pre-record. Because since this says Ruby and nobody's going to make it to the end to rewatch it, probably. So, All right. Um, you might. You think? You always, you always do a part three to this. Yeah. But it is so smart to do that. Well, I'm just saying, if, any, if you guys see this uploaded as a pre record, don't be like, wait, ooh, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I might. I might just call it a night and maybe I could find it and excuse me, we could do like a live and talk about it. Cause I would love to read through the whole agreement if I could get it. I should be able to get it. Yeah. I'm just it's hard when I'm on a live because I'm not totally focused on what I'm doing, you know. Right. Um court warrants, fingerprint and biography. Huh. Mm. I don't know why it's still out here. His like uh, Ruby's lawyer was super easy to find. It was just right there. Yeah, it's weird. Where is the freaking like news events to resources? Okay, let's see. That's why I'll have like other people when I'm doing like, hey, can you look it up? It's not that I can't, but it's like when I'm on a live, I'm trying to operate everything else and I just, I can't focus, you know, sometimes. There's All right, what'd you say? <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <my laughs> See what I mean? talking, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm talking about, I'm comparing because I'm saying it's, that's how it is on lives, how I can't. I'm not able to do it. No, it wasn't anything against you at all, Ashley. I was trying to I tell people, like, it's... It. No, when you're on a live, like, it's hard because you're doing other things, so it's hard to, like, focus on, like... That's why I ask other people to do stuff. And then when you said it, that's I was true. like, see? See, like, oh. you're on a live, and it's hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean... Accessor record search... Yeah, so I might, yeah, it's already been seven hours. I need to walk around and stuff, so I might end this, but I wish it right. wasn't so late and stuff because I'm having yeah. fun, but I know I should probably. I know. Get it is fun, though. Um, it is almost four in the morning, however. I know, that's what it, I wish it was <laughs> earlier. I don't want it to be four. Right. Right. Because I could, I, I could just, if I did a little walk around the house to get the blood flowing, I could probably go another few hours, but it's just like, ah, I shouldn't, you know? Um, <laughs> right. But it was fun, guys. It was a good live. Right. 
Um, what time you be on tonight? All right. Yeah. Well, I, not tonight, <laughs> right? Job. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll even <laughs> tonight <laughs> be on. Um, I gotta figure out. I still want to do a couple pre-records. I I keep not getting around to it. Um, so I don't know. I have no idea, boss baby. Mm. I know. I just gotta get a couple hours of sleep. You guys <laughs> should do the same. All right. Thing. Well, I'm off here. Have a good night. All right, That's Ashley. Good night. Good night. We're on a delay, so I'm gonna get I think my turn a... back to bed. Okay. All right. We'll have a good oh. night, and we'll um. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. <laughs> I don't know. We just gotta laugh about it because <laughs> we probably sound like people are probably like, "What are you guys?" Doing? Um. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Um. Boss baby. Now that I know your face, you should do. You should put. Oh no, because your name, boss baby. See, so, yeah, is that a picture of your baby picture, right? With the Barney. I, I look the same. <laughs> you do kind of. I could see that. Like you could see you do. I mean, you look like you could tell that's you and your baby. I don't know why I even asked. Um, just from watching that one video. Uh, yeah. So triggered by all my stories. Maybe I need to walk. Wait, what? Trigger myself by all the stories. What stories? Oh, I'm sorry. All right, guys. Well, I don't know. I never answered you, boss. But yeah, like I said, I don't know. I'm not 100% that I will. Um, but if you I do, have... I, I, I have you on um, the, the, the alert. I'll give me an alert. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for coming up. It's always a pleasure. And um, thank you, chat. You guys are awesome. Get some sleep, guys. Shadow Wolf. What's up? I'm trying to get sleep to like midday so I can yeah. do some Fortnite later tonight. Later yeah. this afternoon. Okay, yeah, get some good sleep. You're so you're in New York. Um what part of New York are you in? I'm in the Bronx. That's right, you're in the Bronx. Juliet's in the Bronx. Okay, I've been to the Bronx once. Or maybe I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get an apartment in Manhattan. What? Why? <laughs> Cause I like Manhattan. My family. I got my doctors in Manhattan, and I, and I got my and my family in Manhattan. Oh, so why are you in the Bronx then? Because this is where I could find an apartment, and my, and I get and I uh, my go I get government assistance and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. So wait, do you live by yourself? Yeah, I live by myself. Okay, and then so if you live if you move to Manhattan, isn't that going to be a lot more expensive, right? No, because the government helps me, so oh, oh. like I get a voucher. So depending on how much like the voucher is, you know. So you'll move by yourself to Manhattan. Yeah, but right now apartments are not available. They'll start getting okay. available around after the holidays. Wait, how old are you? In April, I'll be thirty-one. You're so young. Ashley, what's that? I won't do that, Ashley. That's true. That's true. You're true. That's true. Um, yeah. I keep forgetting. How wait. No. You're yeah. you said you're older than Ashley? Yeah. Ashley's in Ash what? Ashley's in her twenties. Late twenties. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Why was I thinking 38? Yeah. And then I, I got it mixed up. You're right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you are. Wow. So you're, tw wait, you're 30. You're going to be 31 when? April what? April 7th. It's April 7th. Okay. My sister's birthday was April 16th. I don't know why I told you that, but <laughs> um, so April 7th. And then. Okay, you look, you, you, look, you look pretty young too. Yeah, people tell me that a lot, but I don't. 
I feel like in person, like I look in the mirror and I feel like I look my age. I don't know. But you know how people see themselves yeah. like different than what they they are. But I don't know. I, but thanks. Yeah. Um, I have been told that like most of my life, like I, that I always look younger. Uh, but so what else did I want to ask about you now that I saw your face like I know what you look like now it's so interesting like I said when you like are talking to somebody on chat for so long and you have no idea what they look like really or you'll have a picture because you know you always you're gonna picture something as you're talking to them mm. oh wait your hair yeah I'm blonde oh my god so in the video I watched it was all short it looked like or did you have a hat no I think you had it shaved right yeah wow okay you grew a lot. it grew a yeah. lot no that's cool so you dyed hair. it yeah. and, rec and recently because i got i've been getting headaches i, I had botox oh so does it help with the headaches yeah so it so really I works i have wrinkles like here but they're gone oh so you grew it to cover the wrinkles yeah <laughs> okay yeah uh, little wrinkles there. Yeah. How often do you do the Botox? Every three months. And do you notice? It, so it's for headaches, but do you notice it makes it look different then too? But wait, yeah. wrinkles? Isn't yeah. it supposed to take away the wrinkles? Yeah, it takes away the wrinkles. It's gone. Oh, I thought okay, you were saying it. Help. Okay, but, but uh, uh, the headaches are also gone. That's awesome, dude. I guess it's a win-win there. Does it hurt, or do you have like when you first get it done? Does it leave a bruise or anything? You do have, get headaches afterwards. Oh, yeah, like a it lasts like four or five hours. So they tell you to take Tylenol. So that's why I do it. It's Tylenol. And then it helps the headaches for how many? Like a month? At, wait, how often do you get it again? Twelve weeks. Oh, so it helps that long. Okay. I, wow. I was taking nerve blockers, but the nerve blockers was only helping for about two months. Nerve blockers for your headache? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, in my oh, neck. Okay. I, have, I have a herniated disc in my neck. Ooh, I got one in my lower back, but I can't even imagine in your neck because it would create like a headache. I, I, I had it in my lower back, but it healed. It will it heal in your neck eventually or no? I don't know. Uh, but right now I have it in my upper back as well. It has oh. a in my upper back. I've been going to physical therapy for five years. Wow. I'm gonna have to go. You... I'm gonna have to go again. But man, I'm sorry. I know how much back. You know, I've had a my lower back problems for since in my twenties because I worked in a restaurant and didn't lifted heavy things, didn't do it properly, and I was yeah. So it, like, when my, and then my back will go out. It hasn't. In a while, knock on wood, because I'm not working in restaurants anymore. But it used to go out where I couldn't walk. It sucked. Nice good that you have that chair. Let me be sitting almost eight no, hours. This chair is not that comfortable, though. I asked for a new chair for Christmas from my mom. Don't get like a gaming get chair. Yeah, it is, but it wasn't. It's it was supposed to be. You know how they advertised it? This chair. I keep not my superstition. Um, the the um cadillac of chairs is supposed to be like real comfortable it's not though and then it has a recliner and the recliner is so uncomfortable it makes you like lean forward so i never use the recliner so i'm gonna give this to well if i could get it to ashley i mean i don't have any use for it so um i'm actually get... would be a good ashley would be a, a good um person so she would be a good youtuber if she ha if she does a channel yeah yeah if she but even just to have this chair regardless to sit on. But yeah, she, I mean, she could use it. She might. Maybe you might like it, Ashley. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not horrible. Look, I'm able to. Like right now, I haven't really started a YouTube channel because I have a small, very small apartment. And um, that's another reason that's stopping me to start, start a YouTube channel. But wait, it doesn't matter. Like you only need to look at this little cubicle. You could do it with just a small apartment, though. Yeah, I want, but I want like I want something like if one day when one day I'm gonna show you how small it is. Is it a studio? It's it's like a a studio, but it's like a I don't really have closet room. But couldn't you just do it? Put like a desk or something in a corner and just Not use really. it part of your room? No, oh, okay. Yeah, um, 
So, so I'm planning to move eventually. So once I'm looking at apartments now, I'm looking for one bedroom. So it'll be bigger. So will you? But will it be bigger? Um, so. Will it will it be affordable or whatever? And your must will be affordable. Yes. Like for what you how you get it from? Okay, good. Well, well yeah, that depends on my income. So oh, okay. My income is percent. Your income's what? You cut out what you said. I cut out thirty percent. Okay. And you'll so, and your and it'll be Manhattan. Well then cool. Then you'll that'll be a good goal. Manhattan or Queens. What's that? So Manhattan or Queens. Okay, Manhattan or Queens, cool. Um Yeah, that's exciting. Well, how soon do you think that'll be? I don't know, I'll keep looking because the go it's still holiday season, so they haven't gone back to me. After January, yeah. on January 2nd, I'm going to go to the place and tell them what's going on. Mm -hmm. I hope it all works out. Because, yeah, YouTube could be, pr I mean, I know I complain about it a lot, but I mean, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else, you know, so. I, I noticed that. It's usually more men are you if for men it's easier to do YouTube. Yeah, I mean then, that's true. And then for for women, Instagram is easier to do. And I don't even use my Instagram. I should <laughs> I should use it a little Instagram bit. But... The other like almost TikTok and stuff like that. Women make more money. Oh, does that for TikTok it's like more women? Yeah. Oh, okay. But you're right about men. People always, um, I've heard that throughout the years where people are like, men do so much better, but I haven't, I don't know, I didn't pay attention, but you're probably right. It is men that get the bigger channels. They get more views. People, I don't know, people, they do better on YouTube. I think you're right about that. Wonder why that is. Huh. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but that's how it is sometimes. I know. Dang it, then I'm in the wrong. I'm on the wrong platform. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Um, I think you'll get people... eventually. You, eventually, you'll get you'll get viewers, but it takes time. I used to do good. I had that whole autopsy controversy that really screwed me up. But before that, I was doing really good. I mean, but. Probably ever, I, ever since YouTube got bought by Google, it's been going down. Who they get bought by? Google. Oh Google. yeah! Oh, ever since I've had a YouTube channel, I, it's been with Google though. So when did that happen though? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's yeah. It's uh, before I didn't really care. Like if you. If you like before after before it got bought, they didn't care if you did uh, copyright and stuff like that. Really? Oh, like dang 10, it! I, I would have loved it. Was like, it, it was like ten years ago. I think they got bought out. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Ever since awesome. they got bought out, that's yeah. why uh, they go to other channels. I've I even seen I even seen on on OnlyFans like they do. Like you don't you don't have to do nudes or OnlyFans. You could do the same thing you're doing now. Oh yeah, I know. It has this stigma or this stereotype. Oh, it's gonna be like some kind of something else. But no, you're right. It does. They have like all kinds of different genres on OnlyFans. You're right. But it is a stigma that people, with men and women, are gonna be showing their bodies. Wonder how hard it would though to to do good with just doing what I do on OnlyFans. You know, I mean, I don't know. You can, but I don't. I, I feel like it's luck, and then a lot of it'll be a lot of work to try to build it up. But I don't. Know, I should try actually. I mean, so what? How is the copyright though? You know, is there not copyright rules over there? I wonder. You have to look it up. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Cause maybe, dude, if you're allowed to just. Play whatever, but then you might still have the copyright issue. Um, it used to be all ten dollars a month, we you know, whatever. Wait, probably every one of them tried to see. 
Oh, thanks. Thanks, Shannon. Hey, Juicy Lucy. Hey, Rap. For Ashley is my girlfriend. You got Michael Jackson. I Sometimes love Michael. I, I subscribe to some people just just for like the yoga. We feel like what? Like I watch people on OnlyFans, the people that do yoga. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never watched. I've I've done like a comedian I really like because she had a little sitcom or little series on there. So I got I was on her OnlyFans for a little oh, while. People that oh, people that cook. Okay, cool. Zav, go. What do you mean go? She sent your nudes. <laughs> what? No, I just, I wasn't with, I mean, I just watched her. I was a, a whatever, a member or a follower or whatever you do. Um, all right, guys, I better go because I got to go walk around a little bit. And... we we'll go walk around and we'll hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Thanks for coming up again. And it's nice to officially meet you <laughs> with your face. All right, bye. Stay safe. You too. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Wait, what is going on in chat? Rapper, what are you? I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, I see. Okay. Now it makes sense. I was like, where? Now that I went up to the chat, I, I understand what you're saying now. Um, Are you a Michael Jackson fan? I was just watching um some Michael Jackson videos. Dude, I always like I'll go and like every few years I'll like binge Michael Jackson videos, like whether it be like his interviews, uh those documentaries. This is it. Have you we just watched that when my last ship with Juliet, we just watched that um again or uh, me again. It was her first time watching it. But have you guys watched This Is It? It's pretty good. Uh Michael Jackson. He's like so interesting to me, like trying to figure it out. I remember back in Colorado doing like a deep dive on trying to figure out if he was guilty of, you know, those charges and how I felt. And I remember like going from one side to the other, like thinking yes, and then thinking no, and then thinking like just going back and forth and then thinking more like, variants of it and i don't know the conclusion i don't even know what my conclusion was um because i was just trying to figure it out like i don't know dude like you'll you'll watch some stuff and you'll be like oh you'll be convinced no he didn't do it and then you'll watch other stuff and you'll be like wait did he and then you'll watch some more and you'll be like no they you know no he didn't um it's it's more like i think either he was inappropriate but i feel like it his intention it wasn't like sexual i think is kind of how i feel right now <laughs> you know like i said i'll probably go back and forth but i feel like yeah he slept in bed with the younger boys in general you look at that a man sleeping in bed with younger boys that's not right it's kind of different it's not accepted in our in our society but i don't i don't think it was like anything sexual I, but it was just he was just like kind of it was just weird it was different you know what i'm saying and i think he hung out with kids because they didn't see him as a star and he didn't feel like they were using him or looking at him different he felt like it was just they could hang out together and, know, and they didn't even know who he was or they did you know what i'm saying but it, they did he didn't feel like the innocence and how he freaking didn't get a childhood so he's kind of trying to relive it plus the fact that they didn't treat him different they treat treated him like a human and just you know what i'm saying but i do think you know the fact that he's sitting there and you know having boys sleep in his bed is weird but i don't think the intention was bad i think it was just i don't think it was sexual i just think it was just but i mean you look at it now like think about like what you think of any situation when a man that's not your family he has young boys over and they're sleeping in the same bed it would be like wait that's not right that's inappropriate right just very uh what do you guys think
Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think not having a childhood and the abuse he put up with his dad, he definitely has some mental issues. But that's what, like, almost fascinates. The mystery of him is, like, and the talent. That guy is freaking talented. I remember growing up so, always so excited to see when he had a new music video on or there was an award show and he was going to perform. I was always, like, so mesmerized and amazed and like so in awe of his performances um because he was just like an entertainer it's just like amazing his his uh talent um but so yeah i don't think i think people took advantage of him and he just was yeah he had like a childlike uh brain mind you know so I don't know why I got into that. Oh, because we're up. We're see what you started. <laughs> no, because you your Michael Jackson picture. But the point is, is just recently I've been watching videos again of him. They've been popped. I don't know. Something must have popped up and then it brought up other recommended. So I've just been watching them. Um, and then Macaulay Culkin. You know. Um, yeah. Tanya. Yeah. I don't know. I like him. I don't, I don't, I, I think people just used them and I think, I don't think it was sexual. What do you guys think? Maybe we could do a rumble or something and watch some Michael Jackson and discuss how we feel about that on one of the next rumbles. Would you, anybody interested? Cause I mean, I'm, I feel like there'll be a lot of people interested, right? I would like to, I mean, that'd be interesting to get people's inputs. And if you do think he's guilty, that's, you know, that's fine. We could just discuss it and debate it because I'm sure there'll be people that do think that. That could be a good discussion for Rumble. Let's do it sometime. You want to? You guys, I could open up the panel. We could watch some documentary clips, interview clips, and just, you know, kind of discuss our thoughts on it. KDK, I don't know. I think, see, I think, KDK, you're probably watching it in the beginning sometime because it's going to be the same chat. I don't. Yeah. I don't either. I think he's just guilty of just not understanding that maybe that would look bad how he was and just you know what i'm saying not realizing that but no i i don't think anything was ever sexual that's the thing i think it was just all like maybe he did you know hug him or cuddle like i could see him cuddling with him but out of love and not even knowing any better just think you know this is i love them as a person they're my friend but not realizing like okay this is a a young kid so it could look bad you know what i'm saying just thinking just the innocence because his mind is like the innocence of his mind of a child like mine not even just thinking this is my friend you know okay she doesn't talk to them myself wait what ashley why she doesn't talk to them myself i don't understand who are you talking about Oh, the, the sisters. Okay, I'm going to go, guys. Thanks again, and we'll chat soon. Bye.